Do you think Woody Joe got banned for botting? I don't. You, you, you're saying that because of why? I don't, I don't, that, that is, I mean, it's, 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 I don't think it's weird. It's, I, I, I don't think saw so many posts of people saying they were banned for it. With, with no evidence, with no evidence, with no evidence. That when it's, but it's, you don't it's, have any evidence it's, either. That, no, 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 I do that. What do you mean I do? I do. There's little fan waves. There's, there's literal fan waves of hundreds of people. We just watched a video of people getting mass banned for botting. We just saw that happening. There's, there's a YouTube video of people getting banned live. Yo, yo. Hi. No. Your mic sounds a lot better on Discord than it does on stream. Somehow. Huh? Wait, what? No shot. Yeah. No. It's wait, wait, wait. wait that's no sh. Wait, my mic sound bad yeah, on stream? No, I don't know. It just sounds really... Maybe it's just no compressor. I don't know. It just sounds different. I don't have it. There's no compression. Well, okay. It goes through... The whole thing goes from EQ, which the only thing that's happened is the mid is turned down. But that happens in both mixes, so... Right. Okay, that's fair. It's just I was just surprised. It's just on a different. <clears throat> Wait, was it my? But that way, I want to know if my shit fucked up. Says I don't know. It sounds more clear on Discord. Maybe I'm cooked. Maybe it's not objectively better. Too shy. I need to actually. What I need to do is I need to. Oh, I was awake. I was awake. Is this what you want? Oh, he's got milk. Wait, is that <laughs> gross? That skim milk, dog. Wait, is that skim milk? It's semi skimmed. Oh no, that wouldn't. It would not cut off me. It's that's that's at least that. That's the thing is. Do you have you tried drinking black coffee and streaming? No, I don't drink coffee at all. But if you drink, do you drink soda pops which have caffeine in it? So it's the same. Thing. I'm at, I'm down to one Coke a day. I mostly drink water now. That's so fucking giga chat actually. That's actually based. Thank that's you. That's actually that's actually so good. Well, all right. to be fair, okay, I'm not I'm not completely good yet. I drink like flavored water, so there's still sugar in it, but it's like a sixth of the sugar in Coke. I mean that's fucking. That, I mean that is cracked. That it's is progress. Cracked. That's Thanks. fucking. I, my coffees probably have more lactose in them and like, which is basically sugar, <laughs> than your sh water. And yeah, like yeah, no, 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 no one there as much as your the, the soda pop. But yeah, okay, fuck. Um, I'm gonna quickly. So I don't. Know, I mean, you've heard me complaining about my milk this entire time, right? Yeah, yeah. It was Steel made his idea. He was like, "Quick, run your milk." <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. I have a cool idea. I feel like this... You can't hear me, right? Okay, how about... Okay, people don't usually do things like this to quit, I've seen, right? But how about we all give subs when he comes back and do like a nice thing. Then we start the podcast off to like a nice, nice way. Like, who's down? Like, I'll give 10, someone else give like 1. And do like a nice surprise because it's better than like pranking him when he goes AFK. Okay. No? There must be one person that'll join. Now he's a prick? Come on! I'll join, I guess. He steals down. It would be like a nice thing. I feel like not everyone's a hate watcher. Okay, here he comes. Let's do it. Wait, it didn't sit down yet. Oh no. I went too early. Brother. Good now chat. Yay! Some people are doing it. Wait, what the hell's happening right now? What the hell's happening? It's like a nice <laughs> prank. I got a bunch of people to give subs to you and I gifted subs to Steel Mage. Just so that instead of like something bad happening when you come back, something good happens when you come back. What the fuck? You farming subs there, bro? Wait, what the fuck? Yo, Steel Mage get to subs even. What the f Okay, Steel Mage, you need to calm down, bro. You need to calm down. What the fuck? Jesus but Christ. Are you Cause then, then it's off to such a nice start and something nice happens instead of like something bad. Well, we wouldn't have been bad. I would have been pleasant to just say Ziz back. No, I if mean, I... No, no, no. No, but like, okay, but you said don't say any slurs, right? So I could be here doing all kinds of fucked up shit, right? I could just whip out my cock, get you banned. But instead... <laughs> There's lots of subs. That's so much nicer than me whipping up my cock and eating a bun. Hey, yo. I mean, a lot of people are getting the horse mount, looks like. It looks like people are like, you've pushed them over the edge. You're like, you know what? Fuck it. it. They're like, all right, this is the point where we're like, we're just going to hold. I don't know. Yo. I, don't, I'm so, I don't know if Forsen has been streaming D4, but I feel like this is like the perfect game for him. Like, the amount of memes he could do would be great. Wait, Forsen playing D4. Oh, no, no, perfect. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, uh, wait he's. Uh, I don't, I mean, this isn't Minecraft, so I just don't see how it would work. He'd be, dude, he, probably would, he probably would be 100. Oh! <laughs> that took way too long. Oh, he's, he's, dude, he likes horse dick. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. All right, let me fix there this. There it is. Oh, there you go. Look at that. You get a full HD green screen scissor room. Nice. I'm in a green room. I kind of hate it. You hate it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have, I have big regrets. I wouldn't mind just that wall being green, but like the entire room and the ceiling being green is very annoying. Do you deal with green spill? Y yeah, well, just like when I leave my room, everything's a bit red. And yeah, like if I'm holding something up, then it looks kind of green. It's very annoying. Yeah, yeah. I mean, um, I had the same exact experience, which is whenever you were doing that, I, was like, I, I, I remember giving you some advice on the green. I remember thing. you said, you did. Yeah. I didn't listen. I should have listened. <sighs>
Yeah, no, it's 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 one thing. I think it's still good to have though. I think it's good to have. You just have it as a separate room that you, you know, if it's next door to another room, which is streaming room, say for example. Yeah. And then you just like yeah. you want to go on and do a meme or do a recording or do a video, then bang, you use it. So it's not yeah, like I was also I thought I was gonna do more VR. You will. You will. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. You will in the future here. I can guarantee you this. No, chat, so. VR is the future. Shut the fuck up. I'm talking to chat by the way. It's just, hard to just, stream though. Um yeah, right. it's hard to stream, but again, not not soon soon with the new technology. Have you seen like the new Apple shit? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Uh, they have all sorts of like uh, emotion expression, so you can actually see the the people's face th through the uh, th through the shit. Um, so, so you know you've got far more high resolution uh, sensors and shit, so you can read clearer text. Uh, you know the the technology is getting lighter. I mean, yeah, all around like it's is... getting better and better. I have an index, so it's just good. What did you play? What did you play? My favorite thing is like blade and sorcery, but it also makes you feel a little bit like a psychopath because you can like impale people on swords and just go like, oh, you're dying. It's fun. And yeah, beat saber. That, does that game? Yo, this, okay. Does that game, bro? Okay, this is some shit, bro. This is some shit. Okay, yo. Does that game, the blade and sorcery game, do you ever have a problem where you start getting an erection during that game? You just like no, what the fuck? You, I don't get an erection from killing people. <laughs> yeah, like, dude, I'm just saying, bro. I don't know what it's like about impaling like chick, bro. You're like impaling a chick, bro, and it fucking <laughs> shit like like up, the skirt like flies up and everything. It's like I, I remember. It's like this. This is wet. I'm just wondering. Oh no. Okay, you're saying you've never. That's never happened. No, from not even one people? time. No, oh, okay. not even one time. Not even a half job. Not Holy. even a half job. Oh, uh, I'm not psych. Chat. I looked this up because I was like, That's wait, a little psychotic. No, I looked it up saying, is there something wrong with me? And there was a whole, a bunch of people all posting the same thing saying, WTF? Question mark? Question mark? I had the same thing. It makes me feel uncomfortable. And to be fair. That's a problem that I have with that game. It makes me feel uncomfortable. Uh, you know, you're like, uh, what, what it is, is they put these, they, they spawn in like chick NPCs. And, you know, they're like got these skirts on and they're, they're flying up and their legs are opening and, you know, they're fucking, it's, uh, there's something, there's something there. There's a, there's a, it's a, there's a link. There's a link between a sex and violence and a, within and animals. You understand that, right? That's a, that's a literal thing. If you don't, uh, uh, okay, but let's not even get into this conversation, to be honest. Not, yeah, not there's so many better conversations we can have. Wait, not even one, not even like for two seconds, not even two seconds. Not even for two seconds, no. Wait, do you have any, do you have any problems? Like, what like, a mess! Like, I'm, I'm, I'm just, do you have any, do you, do you, do you like, you know, when, are you fully functional? I'm, I'm, well, I mean, I have a kid, I'm fully functional, I want more. I feel pretty oh. fully functional. Oh, shit, okay. Oh, I'm just asking, chat, this is going deep, chat, this is going deep. I did this play is... ED a lot, though, holy. I'm surprised you're <laughs> still fully functional. <laughs> Look at ED mains, brother. Holy. Uh, Thank you, that's no, a fair question. No, I mean, I, I just want I'm just trying to figure out. I'm just, I, I, I didn't do you know understand? we were going to go this deep. Holy oh. fuck. To be fair, I ask that question to literally anyone that says they played Blade and Sorcery because I'm just trying to find out if I am a fucking psycho. And I'm just trying to confirm that I'm not a psycho because... You might... No, 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 Like, look, Blade, like, Blade and Sorcery. No, I, uh, this, this is such a bad topic, Win. Erection. No, oh, no. I don't want to be on your last stream. Um, is it weird? Uh, is it weird I get raging boners during playing BNS? A bon okay. Yes, that um, is weird. Sometimes I get Steel a little played it too. He did not have. Did you ask Steel about this? He played it too. He did not. No, I, Steel. Hey, Steel Mage. <laughs> not for real. Not for real. Fucking Christ. No, Steel Mage. Hey. So you don't need to lie. We can all be honest here. I tried so hard to make this a good start. Oh, it's a good start, dude. Hey, yo, shout out to everyone who subbed, by the way. This, like, got you to sub. Yo, hey. It's like, shout out to all those guys. Big dick. Big dick. Gaming. I would try reading everyone out, but it would just be like cringe on a podcast. Steel said. What is Steel type? I have a massive boner, but it wasn't the game gauge. That's the real reason why I moved here. <laughs> what the fuck? I right, sound as well. Uh, hey, no, I just, I just, um, it's one of the things, chat. It's one of the things that says you have to just ask the questions. All right, and that's not, this is, this is normal. These are, you understand is what I found in life is that everything you think is like weird and that you think is unique to you that is weird. And you're like, man, I better not tell anyone about this. Like, is actually kind of normal. This would be one of those things for sure. <laughs> 
Well, no, it is. It is. And what is though, right? <laughs> Anything you think is weird. Okay, like for example, do you piss in the shower occasionally? Yeah, everyone does. Yeah, well, that's the thing, right? I didn't think that, right? When did you did you have that same experience of thinking that no one else pissed in the shower, and then no. you like, thought you. Wait, you really? No, I never wondered that. Of course, people pee in the shower. Everyone's wait, stomp it down. Uh, wait, you never. Okay, wait, no. Did you have I don't this experience? Shit in the shower. I mean, yeah, that's weird. Unless you, unless you have diarrhea. I mean, it is what it is. Um, but wait, what did you ask? Did I have? No, no, no. Did you have any experience like that where you thought that actually, wait, this is fucking weird, and I better not tell anyone about this ever. But then you actually found out that actually it's actually normal. You oh, have this. sure, but like on more normal things. Can you, like, can oh. you give me examples? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, you know, in movies, people have an inner monologue and stuff. Like, I barely ever use inner monologue. And, like, in movies, people do daydreaming. And I'm like, I can't daydream. That's not a thing. If I imagine something in my head, everything is dark. It's black. You can't literally imagine an apple, right? But things like that. Wait, you can imagine a flash of an apple, right? Like, a, like, a, like, a, like, a, like, a, like, a, like, if I say piccolo, you can, like, see, like, a, you can see, like, a Namekin guy with, like, a hat on. Right? Mm, no, not really. I kind of literally see something. No, like Wait, I can't. I, I can't see it either. But you can imagine it for like a, there's like a fraction of a second where you like piccolo and you're like, mm, mm, no, not really. Oh shit, dude. Oh shit. To be fair, I can't imagine mech. I'm thinking about piccolo right now. I'm closing my eyes. I just see black. I don't see anything. I can't see anything. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. But um, but I do for a second. Like um, when um, upon thinking about the thing, I kind of like. I know he's green and he's got a hat. That's cool. And they're saying you've got some sort of shit. Okay, well, that's you're talking about some weird. Okay, we're talking about some other shit though. Okay, oh, I'm talking rare. about like some. I'm talking about some weird shit. Yeah, yeah. I don't. I, I okay. I I'm, I'm sure I have, but I can't think of any like equally weird stuff that I've thought like, wow, do other people do this? Uh oh, actually there is, but I don't know if I should say it on stream. Yeah, do it, dude. What? Okay, I put mayo on steak. So what? That's literally nothing, bro. Mayo on steak? It's like, okay, I put tomato sauce on steak sometimes. It is what it is. What? Really? You put tomato, yeah, you even fucking tomato sauce on steak? Wait, <laughs> no. what? Uh, that's too weird. That's where I draw the line. Okay, dude. <laughs> uh, wait, what? Do, wait, everyone, why is everyone WT think of this? This is like so, like, bro, eat, eat steak I mean, both of those want. are pretty weird. I mean, okay, food stuff. Do you, how about like uh, getting cake? So you've got like banana cake or you get like chocolate cake and then instead of eating it, you put it in a cup and then you pour the entire cup up with milk and then you mix it around with a spoon and then you eat it with a spoon. I mean, I'm lactose intolerant, but sure, that sounds kind of nice other than that. <laughs> okay. What are you even on about? I mean, I'm just talking about fucking food stuff that people think is weird, but it's actually good as fuck, but people don't know. It's kind of like... To be fair, uh, though, there's a, lot of, there's a lot of things that are weird that are probably nice. Not like DS Lily weird, like she mixes like milk and Pepsi, but like, you know, more disgusting. normal stuff. That's fucking disgusting. Yeah. Well, there's, and, there's, and there's tons of stuff that's weird that we, you that people think is weird, but it's actually normal. Like, oh, okay. Go. I used to I used to eat flatbread with raspberry jam and mayo and remoulade. That was very weird. That was not very nice either. I don't know why I ate that. What about like in terms of weird stuff? What about just randomly thinking about killing significant others? Oh, that's just intrusive thoughts, though. Both yeah. me and my wife have that. Yeah, there yeah that's go. very normal. So there we go. But that's very there normal. We go. Yeah, but then I thought that was, I was a psycho as well, and then I found out, wait, everyone's got that. That's normal, like, you're holding a knife, and you're yeah. like, I could totally stab yeah, her in yeah. the neck right now, you know? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's he, very he, normal. That's like, more more people have that than don't. But not everyone has it, but more people have it than don't. Jeez. <laughs> that's why there's so many, like, YouTube shorts and stuff, where people, like, the comments will be like, they let the intrusive thoughts win. Yeah, I've seen those, right? Where they're like, there's like a chick standing at a thing, and then there's someone just fucking pushes them over or, or like does some shit. Yeah. Right there, like, you know, Every yeah. time I'm on a staircase, my wife will be like, I want to push you down right now. And I'm like, hi, I get that. I get that. What you do is this, though. You just, you do it. You actually just, you just act upon it, but then you grab onto them. So, you, so I do it to my kids no, and shit. No, they don't edge, do that. I, I like, I like pretend, like, oh, you got over the edge. Yeah, then you just, you bait them, right? And they think you're actually throwing them off the edge, dude. Classic. <laughs> no. Definitely don't do that. Oh, man. And you were a skydiving instructor, right? Okay, it's not an instructor. I was not a straight. Okay, so now I have a diploma in commercial skydiving. Okay, I simply... Right. Okay, professionally, I was packing <laughs> and recording. Okay, so that was... Right. So, so packing people's parachutes, right? Uh, packing tanners, and then I get to record people doing jumps. So, so, did you ever have intrusive thoughts when packing someone's parachute? Like, I could just not include the parachute here. That would be a great I factor. I mean... I, 
<laughs> That's not a no. Well, I don't know. I don't know about specific. That's kind of complicated, though, to think to, like, deliberately. I mean, I definitely have thoughts, like, I've been enough fuck this up, you know, or they could easily die. Like, imagine if that, you know, but then again, they have a reserve, so it's, that'd be fine, unless you deliberately fuck up their shit. But that's, like, in-depth planned sabotage, which I feel like is not really, like, an instinctive thing you can really think of. Like, it's right. not like a single action, right? Right. That's fair. Yeah. I would never skydive. How many skydives have you done? Uh, somewhere between 300 and 400, uh, which is not that's that many. That's crazy. That's not that many. Uh, the pe there's people with 10k. Like, my, the guy who taught me has like 10k plus. Now, don't get wrong, for that's NZ, crazy. it's a decent amount, but uh, for because because basically they have one plane, which goes up, takes people, drops, and then it, there's a big downtime, and then the plane goes back up again. They have to keep doing this over mm. and over again. Whereas in, uh, you know, US, they have like fucking big ass planes. And there's like, as you get down, there's another one already going up and you can just immediately hop back onto that if you have someone packing your parachute, right? So they can do like fucking crazy amounts of skydives in one day, like, you know, 20 skydives in one day, which in my, in my provision, in, in New Zealand, small scale, you're talking like uh, five a day, six a day, seven a day, um, you know, max. Crazy. With one little, oh, no, one little. I don't think I'd ever skydive. I'm too scared. Uh, but would you bungee jump? No. Wait, you, you, what, what about, okay, hear me out. What about if it was just the Sky Tower in Auckland, okay? And no. I no, thought wait. about it. I'm too scared. And, and no, wait, wait, wait. And it's the you actually don't even accelerate at full free fall. And it also, it does help that you decelerate like prop. You know, you don't. It's like you do like some big. It's not big irky motion. No, so I, I think I'm just too scared. It's more like you step off the building and then you get let down at like you know casually, maybe like 70 kilometers an hour for like a few seconds. You know, like, I think the most like high risk thing I've ever done is rappel down a mountain. Well, that probably is risky. -er. I mean, I mean. Thing is, it's not even. You don't understand that bungee jumping is extremely safe and not risky, right? And skydiving is also like you, you're. Just, I'm, I'm scared of heights. It's so scary. I mean, that's natural. That's programmed into us. But what you're going to understand logically is that actually, you, it's more dangerous driving for like an hour on a highway than it is to go for like ten skydives. Like you're more likely yeah. to die. Well, I don't like being in a car either. I don't like being outside. I like playing video games. Like I don't. I just don't get a lot out of it. Like I wouldn't get a lot out of it. What about the surreal feeling of like your your, your body thinking you're gonna die? Because your body, your brain knows you're well, that's good. That's why I play a Tarkov. But it's not the same. It's not the same. Well, it's enough for me. What would it take for you to do it? I, I would have to want to do it. So it's to compel you somehow. Like, what are we talking? Like a hostage situation? Um... Is this the intrusive thoughts winning again? Is that no, an um... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I I did think about it uh, at the Sky Tower. But I, I even went in, I like looked at the price and I was like, cause I was like, do I do this? Cause like the, the reason I went rappelling, um, it was actually in school, it was a mountain and, and nobody, nobody in my class wanted to do it. And I remember the teacher asked like the, the coolest kid in class. who was also like the guy that bullied me the most. And it was like, oh, what about you? You're always like brave and strong. And he was like, he said, no. And then I was like, I'll do it. So I said it just to fuck that guy. Oh, and then I did it. Oh, shit. And... Wait, what? These fucking baiters, bro. What the fuck? Yeah. And then um, I went up, I did it, and I was literally shaking like this. Too, and I'm so scared of height. So I was like literally shaking like this. And I, I will admit, it was actually quite fun. Um, and my teacher was like, I guess you won't be doing that again. And I was like, no, let's go. I'll do it right now. I went right back up again. And I went three more times. And on the third oh, time, shit. My, uh, my cable hooked around a little rock, right? It was hooked around a little rock and that part of the rock fell off. But so I, I only fell like maybe three centimeters, right? Maybe less than that. But all I hear is Psh, and I fall for three centimeters. So for that like point three, point wait, three wait, seconds, like for that point three, wait, three yeah, yeah, like a little like, uh. I just had like a little like, Pff. but for that like point three seconds, I died in my brain. I like, I died then. So after then I was like, okay, I'm not doing this anymore. Cause that was like, Point three seconds that I'm like I was I was gone. It was like it was just such a loud snap of the the rope snapping off the part of the mountain, and I thought the rope snapped. So I was like, How oh, far were you? How far were you falling at that point? It was like a thirty or forty meter ledge, so I would have died. Oh shit, thirty or forty meter ledge. Damn. Okay. Yeah. yeah, that's pretty. That's pretty high. Yeah, that's pretty fucking. That's pretty high. Yeah, fuck. Yeah. But we have a lot of mountains in Norway. That was a tide, but it was, I'm guessing you're rappelling down, so it's, you've obviously got uh, this, uh, the rope is not, you've got something anchoring at the top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it was point. super solidly Sounds, anchored. Then, I, don't, then, I don't think there was a very, very big chance of anything going wrong at all. It was just that I just thought something went wrong. Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> That's the way, basically, you, the equivalent of like a, after, like a car driving past you and like, um, it having a backfire. And you thought you were getting shot yeah. for a second. Yeah, basically. Yeah. It was just that like 0.3 seconds of like, oh, I've died. Bro. 
I, let me tell you, let me tell you, okay? If you think that 0 0.3 seconds was good, wait until you experience, like, you know, 40 seconds of free fall where your body is going into sensory overload because you think you're dying. Well, that's the thing. The, the main reason I wouldn't want to do skydiving, I know you'd be assisted and stuff your first time, but like, I would be pretty sure I would pass out. I've never passed out, but I'm pretty sure I would pass out. No, well, that's that's if you you placebo yourself into doing anything. I think I think if you just think you won't pass out, you'll be fine. Well, there are people who do basically they fully they fully go into sensory overload and they actually they well they kind of go zombie mode. Um, and sometimes they do pass out, and sometimes people will vomit, like to just fucking spew everywhere, right? Oh, that'd be um, disgusting. Yeah, it is. It's fucking vile, oh. uh, especially for the guy at your tanner master. That's not a good time. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. No, I don't know. I I won't say that I'll never do it, but I definitely don't like. I don't fancy it. Actually, that was actually one of the things I thought of having is a 10k sub goal, and I was like, nah. Bro, too much of a log, bitch. log in for the. Okay, Steel Mage is doing the sky jump. Okay. Is he? He is. He's already said he is. He's, Yo, he's that's badass. Steel Mage is doing it. Me? Gucci's doing it. Me and Steel are like very competitive. It's like, whenever we're climbing together, we'll be like, oh, I'll do that climb if you do it. Uh, you, you, you do it, I do it. That kind of thing. Well, Mathel's doing it as well. They have to... Okay. Like, I mean... Um, Mathel can, like, hold himself upside down on his, like, pinky. Ben's doing like, it. Mathel doesn't matter. Mathel's, like, ultra giga Chad. What about... Uh, what, okay, uh... Wait, who, okay, wait. Gassy TV's gonna do it. But I'm not gonna get baited into it. I, I mean, I care about Steel doing it. It's very, very competitive <laughs> and try to one-up each other. But, like, other people don't matter. Yo, Steel Mage is gonna do it twice. <laughs> I'll I'll think about it, but I'm like I'm just very scared. It's it's irrational, right? It's one of the, but it, no, it's irrational. But then it's, it's actually very, very rational it's natural. to be scared. It's natural. Well, no, well logically it's irrational, but yes, uh, uh, totally from like a from a you know monkey brain. Irrational POV. would be like being scared of spiders. That's irrational. No, that again, that's like logically, you know, if it's a non-poisonous spider and it literally can't harm you, okay. But I get I get I obviously humans there's a there's an innate built-in like um. You know, survival instinct that says height bad, right? Don't fall off high thing because you die. Yeah. Right. But one thing is logically, like if you're saying it's you saying it's risky, you're using the word risk. There is no risk. No one has ever died um, at the sky tower, right? Really? What are you? Th what kind of crack are you smoking? Sky tower in New Zealand. What are you Tragic kidding me? Accident. Oh. Sudden death at the Auckland Sky Tower, November second, two thousand sixteen. Yeah. To what? Like a heart attack? Uh, you might be right. I said sorry, not available, so I actually can't see. It, absolutely, dude. Okay, bungees are giga safe. They're giga safe. Unless you go into like some third world country and they just fucking forget to detach you and you jump off a bridge and then die. But you know, if you go into like a first world country, bungees, nobody ever dies. Yeah, you're probably right. I'll think about it. I, I thought about it last time. I reserved the right to bitch out. No, you got to commit. That's the thing, though, no, right? Fuck if you, no. If you don't, if you Holy need, no. If, if you don't, no. that's the thing, right? If you if you reserve the right, then you get locked in, basically. It's, lo it's locked in. That's not true. You should never be like, you should never feel bullied into doing something by other oh, yeah, people. No, no. But, but peer pressure is good, though, if it's something good. It's no, something it positive. isn't. It's, a good, it's good. No, it's, it isn't. It helps. It helps. No, 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 no. It no, helps. it doesn't. It helps. No, it doesn't. The most giga chat thing you can do is say no to peer pressure. Like, I never got peer pressured into, like, cigarettes, alcohol, drugs, anything. I was like, no, stop. Yeah, but if it's like someone's fat and someone's like, yo, you shouldn't be fat, right? That's good, right? You know, it's good. It depends you know, how fat, like, if it's like a problem. Should... Like, I saw, well, it depends, right? Because I saw like a YouTube short where there was this, uh, this girl who was saying like, oh, here are some things you can do to help out your fat friends. Like, call ahead to the restaurant, make sure that the door frame is large enough for them to get in, make sure that they have seats large enough to accommodate them, stuff, stuff like that. Clown and shit. sure, like... If I'm so large that my friends have to announce my arrival to a restaurant, then yeah, sure. I could probably do with some pointers that I am too large, right? Like, my arrival should not be heralded at a restaurant, right? Then it's probably too much. But, you know, for for most part, for most people, it's their own responsibility, right? Um, wait, 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 wait. No, you're saying you shouldn't encourage your obese friends to lose weight if they're only, like... Just like you know, mildly obese. Yeah. Nah, brother. If you, it's nah, nice if you, a if you like, problem. if you like, if this is one of your family members or one of your friends, you should hundred percent, hundred percent, you know, pos positively criticize. Positively you know, criticize. Do you think fat people don't know they're fat? No, but like, get, they get them tips as to how to not be fat. Help but them they out. probably know that. A lot of them don't. You'd be surprised how how little people really? understand. They 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 think like they they literally they, they, their logic is this: Oh, you have to exercise to, to lose weight, and you know I can't no, exercise. You just have to eat right, 
and well, not stuff my like like that's what I've done now, right? I've stopped drinking. I it's used to drink like five or six bottles of Coke, or sorry, cans of Coke a day. So now I'm like, I'm drinking less. Now I'm losing weight. You understand the majority of people think that to lose weight, that the main way to get that is to exercise, and that's because people like pushing this exercise, and because they don't want to like say, hey, fast food bad, McDonald's bad, soda pop bad. They're, they're, they're like, because these companies are saying, hey, guess what? You can do exercise. Which why, um, you know, Coke. And uh, various uh, sugary drink companies sponsor athletes, and they say like, it's basically, hey, look, you can be fit and you can do this. Well, no, it's like, bro, it's hundred percent. It's like ninety percent diet, ninety percent diet. I feel like most people know that. Most people don't, bro. People are so illiterate when it comes to uh, diet. I mean, bro, finance, so many things, so many things that you think most people know that it's not. It's just not the case. I'm telling you, bro. Yeah, I mean. I don't know. I feel like most people don't like getting backseated on anything. I, I just, I don't know. I don't think I care enough Back about other people to like backseat them in that way. Well, that's fucked up, bro. That's fucked up. That's fucked up. I would back, like, you saying, wait, you saying you wouldn't backseat your kid or something if the kid was getting fat? No, family is different. Okay, well, I said friends and family, and I consider close friends to be like family. Yeah, but they're adults. That's the difference, right? There's a big difference between a kid and an adult. Yeah, but a lot of adults were raised as kids with terrible... Like, they, don't, they don't understand anything about diet, and they were just raised in their place, and they don't understand why they're fat. They're like, oh, it's because I don't exercise, and they just literally, like, some basic shit can actually wake them the fuck up. Bro, you just see the amount of people... Let me tell you, bro. Let me tell you. Do you know how many... Don't get me started. Do you know how many success stories from my stream where people are like, yo, I was a fat cunt, and then you started talking about keto diets? And how poggers keto diets are, and I did it, and then they have like a boring after picture, and they're like, it's, "I'm telling you, bro, they like giga fat, ultra fat," and now they're not. Your chat's saying zero. Ah, uh, multiple. I mean, what do you mean? Can what you do you name what do you some? Mean? I could, I can show you some if you guys want. I mean, I, don't, I think I want to like, I don't want like specifically individually call out um, people. <laughs> but, I mean, Isn't even, that a good even, thing to call out though? Isn't that such a like good thing to praise? One guy, not one guy, not one guy, several, many, double. But digits. that's a good thing to call out, right? I would be proud of that. Link it. All right, keto guys, link it. Link it, shit. Even um, dude, even people who are in the stream, even like uh, some moderators, have taken upon themselves to pop off and, and lose a ton of weight. I'm just telling you. Just, cool. just what I, moderators? I, I, like I don't want to single them out. I don't want to single them out. But that's a good them. thing. That's so awesome for them. It's not like you're singling out a negative thing. Is. I don't want to make it weird, Zids, because a lot of these guys, it's like, my story. What are these linking here? This is not your story. What the fuck is, what YouTube video is this? <laughs> uh, I did keto 45 days and went from 220 to 185 LBS. Okay. Oh, fuck, I thought I was dying, bro. Holy shit. Is this, this, okay, it's just a clip of Dr. Disrespect saying, get life, you fat fuck. So I'm actually not going to click that. <laughs> my progress. Uh, so wait, are you still on a keto diet? No, no, I had like a bar of chocolate yesterday. Like an entire, like a full family size bar of chocolate yesterday. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, oh, no, absolutely not. No, 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 absolutely not. I'm the giga, not keto. I'm, I'm, I'm progressive every day. Like since the force come out, I went from like 78 kgs to like 85 kgs or something. So, wow. I'm fucking, I'm fucking, um, uh, I'm, I'm packing, homie. I'm fucking packing. Wait, how, how many kilos did you say were? 85. Huh. What about you? I went less than you. I'm 76. Bro, what the fuck? I was 85 and then I like quit drinking coke and then I'm 76. Yeah, you're fucking popping off. That's crazy. You're popping the fuck off, for real. Thanks. Yeah, no, it's great. I feel very good about it. The The best thing, the main reason I did it was I was having so much, like, it wasn't even sugar or caffeine. It was, um, I was having really bad, like, acid reflux when lying down. So I would, like, cough so much from the acid. Ugh. Like, so yeah. it's just the acidity That's... of the drink you're, you're having? Is, uh, is that what Yeah, yeah. Or... So I try not to drink, like, orange juice and shit like that, too. Oh, OJ is fucking trash, dog. Yeah, the fuck OJ. Yeah. Fuck OJ. <laughs> I just wanna, I wanna transition to like actual normal water. That's just the commit. goal. But it's just hard. Com commit, commit, brother. Just yeah, commit. but it's like when your your palate gets so fucked by like soda that you get like used to, you like kind of get addicted to sugar. So first, I was just getting like going low down on caffeine, and now I'm like I'm pretty okay without caffeine now. So now I'm like slowing down on sugar. But if you do like too much at the same time, it's like harder than just going down mm. over time. I mean, as long as you're ramping, as long as you're ramping, right? That's the yeah. main thing, right? Yeah, I'm improving. I've done, like, what... days without any Coke now. Well, do you know what's crazy, bro? So I used to have sugar in my coffees, like, t way back. I don't know, right. when I was a computer technician. Mm -hmm. And I was getting becoming fat as fuck, right? And I was going to join the army. I said, like, I need not be fat. I was like, what can I drink? Get rid of sugar. And I, I got, took this sugar out of my coffee, and it was just, like, heinous. Horrible. Horrible. It tasted absolutely disgusting. I was like, this is awful. It tastes like yuck, bro. Like, milky and fucking... You know, not that sweet sugary taste. Uh, but after, like, I want to say 
two weeks, the palate just completely shifted. And now when I have sugar and coffee, yeah. it's like sickly sweet. And the trick is to just keep yeah, the that. sugars down, right? That way, you, and, it just, yeah, and your like, sugar will adapt. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Like, I definitely noticed it's changing over time. Because, like, there used to be, like, this store in Belfast called American Candy. And they would sell, like, this thing called Marshmallow Fluff. I didn't actually know. Apparently, you're supposed to put it on stuff. I would just eat it with a spoon. So, like, people would come in and be like, what are you eating it with? And I was like, what, what do you mean? With a spoon? <laughs> Uh, oh, wait, marshmallow. Yeah, so wait, what I, was it? Was it like, was it like, you talking about like candy floss? Is it like a, or, or is it something else? No, it's just marshmallow, but like in a tub. I would just Jeez. eat like two tubs of this shit. It's delicious. Fucking hell. To be fair, Abby uh, buys this shit called cookie dough, and it's like what, basically what you're describing. Similar Love shit thing. like that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's so oh, bad. Apparently there's a patch. People are saying you reached out. Yeah, apparently there is. I don't know if I should do that. What the fuck? Oh shit. It's, what? It's been up even nerfs, bro. Wait, bar nerf? nerf again. Wait, what? They're saying Bawak nerf? They've been nerf Bawak. What, what are you saying? Bawak? Bawak. Bawak better be nerf, bro. I'm really pissed. Is he saying Bulwark? Yeah, Bulwark. Yeah, my Bulwark better not be nerfed. Okay, brother. That's all I'm gonna say. It's just bug fixes. Okay. Um, Diablo 4. I'm opening it up right now. Bug fixes. Blah, 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 blah. What is this? Fix an issue where players could not engage with Dead Man's Dredge boss. Fix an issue where certain whispers could not be completed. Fix an issue where those who called storm events would register as completed. And fuck, who cares, bro? It's all, is there any of this shit? Fix an issue where the level 100 pinnacle boss would appear again with no help bar if killed during a specific phase. <clears throat> I don't know, dude. G gameplay fixes? Holy shit. Do you reckon they fixed the fucking left click thing? What left click thing? The fucking thing where, like, you use force move. And it like fucking uses what's on your like are you using using force move, right? Yeah. Yeah, so whenever you Oh you mean while holding shift? When you hold down shift, it like uses the right. ability when it's like your core skill. Yeah. Yeah. Well right, it's not even a core skill, it's my bow I actually use it as bow work. Oh right, I have a core skill there. Yeah. And is it annoying as fuck? It doesn't really happen that much to me. It happens to me all the time. Like all the time. I don't know. Yeah, well, like, I mean, to be the point where I've literally put Barwak on there because it's like it's like an autocast. Oh. It's like, I, I put Barwak on there because well, what I do is I just hold down left click and then as I tap like four stand still uh, to then fucking do my ability, it uses Barwak. So it's like uh, it's like uh, Barwak, brother. What about it? Yeah, Barwak. It's it sounds like some sort of like bird chatter. It's like Bawak! Jesus <laughs> fucking Christ. Uh, that's fun. Okay, um, I'm not saying anything that's important. Oh, UI updates, bro. That's good. People said something about like Nightmare Dungeons. Oh, gameplay adjustments, experience rewards. Oh shit, look. Significantly increased the experience after water from completing a Nightmare Dungeon. Whoa! That's huge. What? I thought that wasn't coming until season one. <laughs> yeah, same here. What the fuck? <laughs> it's literally not possible. <laughs> What's your take on that, by the way? The, the, the... Fucking, we can't patch something till like season two and season three or season, you know. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm not a game dev expert, so I have no idea. That sounds crazy to me. So I just generally don't know. I did study computer science, but still, that doesn't really help me here. Um, fuck, I have no idea, to be honest. I think it's crazy. I feel like other companies are doing it. It seems, it seems very much like they're like finishing season one as a box and they're like, if we touch this, something's gonna break. Like that that was what I heard when they said that. They're like, this is gonna break if we touch anything. The entire thing, it's like a fucking firework box. It's gonna break all of it if we touch it. That mm. was like what I heard when they said all that. Yeah. No, it's true. I well, I think they they probably prioritize stability uh, massively, right? So then yeah. if you if you're doing that and they and you never want to have crashes, uh yeah, then it makes sense that they would wanna like make sure it's all fucking min max and working before they make any change but then i don't know i i don't know as a gamer it's like i'd rather have faster changes and then a chance for them to break the game occasionally yeah but yeah but then again maybe would i be saying that if it killed my fucking character off to like a fucking game crash that they 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 implemented with the fix Dun yeah, wait, no, they said exactly. Dungeon TV. Like, wait what what wait Where he said Dungeon TV. wait significantly increased the experience game from killing monsters and nightmare dungeons health i just now pro provides substantially more bonus experience when opened Oh, no, no, wow. go down to general. Players cannot to, uh, teleport to their nightmare dungeons directly through the map. Huge. Wait, what? Oh, that's huge. Wait, what the fuck? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get this. Wait, 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 wait. What the right, fuck? Right, right, you, you, it's on the screen. You wait, 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 I'm redoing the guy. Wait, wait, wait. I'm going down one. No. I'm going down in order, sis. Okay. I'm going down in order. Don't, okay. Okay, they buffed. Sorry, they I'm buffed. not a professional staller. Okay, fix an issue with no experience with what if you thing. Hell type roaming bosses and now will consistently drop high quality loot. Okay. Players can now teleport to their nightmare dungeon directly through the map. That's nice. I don't like it. What? 
I think it's dog shit. What? Are you insane? I think, I think it's dog shit. Well, I think it's dog shit, right? I think it's like one of these things where, okay, why create, why create this open world and then make it redundant by allowing players to just teleport immediately? Let's you just let the, when you click the night vision key, you just fucking, you have a just come up with, it should just do a prompt, right? That just says, hey, do you want to be in the dungeon now? And then you press yes, and then all the players get teleported inside the dungeon. And you just fucking in there. Why even why even why even have the map and have the click and the teleport? It's just like extra click. You know, at that point you should just like fuck it, just make the whole thing instance. Um Yeah, they could. That's fine. Like I mean, running running to the dungeon gets really boring after a few hundred hours. Yeah, it gets really I, boring I, after I, a few I hundred like hours. You get tired of it so quickly. It's one of those things where I mean I've ran to more you dungeons than users. You still can. You still I've, can run I, there. I've ran to more dungeons than users. Okay, what you're saying is like, oh, it's fine, dude. I don't like to, I don't like moving around in World of Warcraft. I like to fly to locations. You still can. Yeah, run you're, you're probably ran to more dungeons than me. I agree with that. Yeah, what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is uh, that you know, okay, you you you're basically arguing I could go on a ground mount when flying mount epic flying exists if I wanted to, and you can you know that's what you're basically saying, right? I, 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 yeah, I, you're like, right. Are you, are you like a flying mount, Andy? Are you like a do you just think, oh, the World of Warcraft is way better with flying mounts? Because you can get to the quest faster and you can just do the fucking objective faster and you can just move faster and just everything? At a certain point, yes. Like, that's why it's good when there's like a ramp on these things. Like, at a certain thing, like, yeah, that is because you do stop enjoying shit like that eventually, right? Like the the two hundredth time you run past something, you're like, this is just tedious. But at this it's point. one. Of, but it's one of those things. Like, why create a giant open world and then make? It but they're using it with things like health tides. What? I mean, no, no. If they okay, if they say fuck it with no dungeons, fuck it, no open world. I mean, why even make us TP to the dungeon? Why not just let us open straight into the dungeon? Why not just right click the key? It comes up with a prompt saying, hey, this person's opened up a dungeon. Do you want to go in the dungeon? Yes. Boom. Everyone just gets TP in the dungeon at that point. That's basically what they're doing. What that? What's with more clicks? What I'm saying is like they, they're, they're doing that, but like more cunty clicks. So, so it's like still technically open world, but not. And it's like I don't know. This is such a good, okay, but this is such a step in the right direction for a lot of people. A lot more people are going to enjoy this than what we currently have. But what if they got the exact same XP boost that you would have got just by buffing the XP more, buffing the loot more, to cancel out the extra fucking 15 seconds of running to the dungeon? And then you actually have but people then, running around the world, then, and you see people like but, out there doing shit, and it's like it's actually sh shit happening, like in a live world instead of like a dead world where you don't see anyone, because everyone's on a fucking flying mount, just well, fucking teleporting to different locations and coordinates. So this this equals it out a lot more between groups and solo players too, because if you're in a group and doing what you want to do, um, you can just have one person run ahead slightly, right? You could push one person ahead on the ladder, one person running ahead. That's what we were gonna do with Karn. If uh, dungeons didn't reset the way that it did, we were going to have the car and used to stay in the dungeon a little bit longer. The other group is running. Wait, fuck. I mean, wait, I don't understand. Wait, I don't understand. What are you saying, though? Wait, wait what the fuck's this got to do with it? Like, right now, when you just reset by going there, it's the same for a group and a solo player. If if it like if you had to run there, a group would have an even bigger advantage again. And a group already has such an insane advantage. Wait, can anyway. you TP to people or something? I don't get it. Yeah. Oh, well, that's... I you just, just go to town or you can TP to them wherever they are. Group, group is just dog shit, bro. Group is just fucking dog shit. I'll, I'll be honest. Just grouping in general, just fucking dog shit. Okay. For this, like, literally, fucking give us SSF tag, because fuck all the group dog shit. F oh, like, I, I wish there was SSF tag for like, sure. Do you, do you not think this would just be objectively more enjoyable if we could just fucking opt out of like you, you know this fucking group shit? Where I mean, do you yeah, feel absolutely. Forced to doing group, because I feel like definitely there's like a level of FOMO, right? When you're playing yeah. solo. Oh, absolutely. And... Like, we wanted to win the race, right? So we had to play in the group mm. to win the race. Like, because well, like, even if we didn't, Ben Ben would have won. Ben's group would have won. <laughs> but like, so I feel yeah. like the more options is better, right? Because then you make everybody happy. You make people like us that want to have no friends and just play in a group um, or play solo. We're happy. And then the people that want to play in groups are happy. Like, there's, no, no, there's no downside. I agree. I don't know the race. Wait, how do you feel about the race? How do you feel about like the, the quote unquote race? Do you think I that wish they... there were more people participating because it was basically it was literally two years. Woody right? was racing solo and he did insanely well, and then um, we had our group and, and Ben's group. That was pretty much it. The shroud, the shroud, shroud's group. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, mean, I yeah. wish there were more people. Well, do you not think that by some what you guys did, you, you've basically fucking partially you could have had a superior launch and a more enjoyable experience had you just played the game uh, instead of resetting the same dungeon over and over again. You could have just played the game more a little bit more normally. 
and then more variety and uh, content. Actually, I, I had so much fun. I actually do like playing in a group compared to playing solo, but that's also because it's so much better. So if there was an actual SSF mode, yeah, I would probably enjoy more. So wait, you just, so you don't actually enjoy the game, you just enjoy the outcome. Yeah. It's just yeah. if it's better, then you enjoy it more. So more the more OP yeah. it is, the more broken it is, the more you enjoy it. Yeah, pretty much. That's fucking I'm a crazy. power gamer. That's crazy. Like, that's... You need to repro... You need to look at yourself in the mirror and ask yourself, why are you doing these things? Okay, For you fun? need to look at... The, you need to... Yeah, it's, yeah, it should be the enjoyment. The enjoyment of spending time with your friends, having a good time. Yeah, that's great too, but I also no, like no, winning. just outcome-oriented. Like, uh, you know, because based on that logic... But winning you is just, fun! No, you should try it. Was, if it was like, if it was like, who gets the most, you know, if it was like, okay, I could have a great time with my boys and have a good time and fucking play and have fun and I get like $5,000, right? Or I could um, have a complete terrible dog shit time with my friends, but, except but they I get $10,000. I didn't $10, have a bad time. I didn't have a bad time. I had fun. I enjoyed doing it, especially with the game being so fresh and new. I like, I definitely want the yeah. SSF mode. Wait, but running I still the same, you enjoy, wait, you enjoyed running the literal same dungeon? I mean, this is map. like mapping in PoE. That's like whenever, whenever WoW Classic so, came out, right? Was that the same whenever, map? Well, actually, I'll, I, I, same also, map? if I was playing solo, if I was, yeah, I would prefer that over doing a different one. Like it's my mapping. If I'm playing PoE, I'm doing one map too. I like that. That's not the problem I had. Um, like for example, mm -hmm. when WoW Classic came out, right? Um, I started playing with like Trey, and it was me, Noogie, and then we started playing with Soda Poppin and a few other people. And whenever we got to dungeon cleaving. All the WoW players were like, oh my god, we have to do this dungeon for another 20 levels. And me and Noogie were like, this is fucking poggers. This is amazing. We can stay in this dungeon. We started optimizing the route and being like, dude, I think if we pop a Quicksilver here or whatever the fast potion is called. We can pull an extra two packs. Oh wait, the TP. And then like, huh? I'm well, quick go, go, go. potion. Like stuff like that. I loved it. We were, we was, it was great. And like the WoW players were so casual as well. Like. Me and Noogie stayed up like 34 or 36 hours the first session, so we went to bed the second time the WoW players went to bed. So that was even more fun. Yeah. yeah I mean, yeah, I mean yeah, certainly you've got some sort of warped mentality that's totally out of touch with reality. I'm going to be honest. You, you have certainly got like some sort of like brain... Some it's, sort of brain it's a video defect. game. It's a video game. If you're having fun, you're doing it right. If you're doing having fun and not hurting anyone else, you're doing it right. But wait, I don't get it. So, the, but so if the, if the if the most optimal way to play was to play the game was to like, okay, say there was like a, a loop where you could just t do a hand in quest, teleport to a place, do a hand in quest, okay, literally talk to an NPC, teleport to another NPC, talk to the NPC, teleport to another NPC, to hand in, and just keep looping this infinite loop. Would you stay up thirty hours doing that and saying you're having fun? Because it's the best. Oh, no, absolutely it's it's not. The most that was an option. In, no, no, no. Because that was an option. Well, to win a race, maybe. Depends how important the race was to me, but I probably wouldn't enjoy it then. But this is just hack and slashing muscles. Well, I mean, if it was this is D4. I'm saying D4. I'm yeah. saying if this is D4, right? I'm saying I'm saying like this is D4. Like that was the most efficient. You're making up a scenario that didn't happen. Well, no, I know I'm saying it's outcome oriented, right? It's like I'm just saying it's, it's to what you you're saying the outcome is more important than the um. To anyway, I'm just trying to confirm that's your logic, right? I'm I'm using I'm testing your logic to cons confirm you're consistent, which is fine, by the way. Like if you if, if it's like it, it I will do whatever it takes to win. Is. You know, I will do whatever it takes to win, regardless, and that's fine I probably wouldn't do whatever it takes to win. I do whatever it takes to win within reason. But as long as I, I'm still grinding monsters, like in New World, that was actually what you could do, right? You could do like the weird handing quests and like jump between towns and stuff. I didn't do that because I thought that was quite boring. I really enjoyed like the Oblivion Gates in New World and like the um, PvP XP and stuff. So I did that. But it also depends how important the race is to me, right? Especially as a Twitch streamer, that can be like a really big thing. Like, look how huge it was for Karn. He went up to like 16, 17,000 viewers when we managed to push him to first. Like, that's huge. So obviously that is a factor too. And and parts that, like, things that are good for your stream is so more fun outcome, too, right? Outcome and clout. And, oh, I suppose well, I, I, <laughs> I mean, it's also growing your business, right? We are businesses <laughs> at the end of the day. Well, Kaiser doesn't uh, look like that, for example. No, but I mean, I, other other people can look at things differently. I mean, I agree. You have a, I'm just looking at your mentality. It's very, it's very unique. It's a very unique mentality. Yeah. It's a, it's, it's, I mean, it's, it's psychotic almost. How is and, it? And, and, and a winning, and a win, yeah, like, a, like a, in a winning kind of way, right? Uh, yeah, like a, like a psychopath who would do anything to succeed. But I wouldn't do anything to succeed. Well, I mean, you've got morals. Okay, so you've got your, so you're hardlining your morals, right? So like, if it was like cheating, yeah. then you wouldn't do it, right? Okay, yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, so but so as long as it's not cheating, you would basically, you know, you're good. Yeah, I wouldn't oh, do anything oh, that's compromising to another another moral. Yo, yeah. speaking about morals, uh -huh. 
Okay, kick.com. Uh -huh. What do you think about kick.com and um, just the entire website? Uh, maybe I should, do you want more specific questions or do you want me to just, do you want to just generally talk about it? Sure, I can talk. Um, okay, so when it initially got announced, and I don't, fuck, I can't remember what I knew at the start because I can't remember if I, I knew the stake thing instantly. But either way, like, the, the number one thing is, like, the more competition Twitch has, that is a good thing, right? Like, I do actually think the more competition Twitch has, that is a good thing because Twitch is already, like, a bad flat platform in a lot of ways too, right? That's actually a lot of people's fallback argument is, like, well, Twitch is bad too, right? It's like, sure. How's Twitch bad? Wait, how's Twitch bad? Well, like, like for example, a lot of people's argument is, um, a lot of people's argument when people are saying like, oh, Kick is so bad, Twitch is worse in these ways with like, oh, Twitch has gambling too. Or right, Amazon is evil too. Like Amazon does this, Amazon Amazon's, does that, right? Amazon provides so, massive value. Twitch, they're, they're amazing. Yeah, 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 but sure. But like, that's not what I'm talking about. Like yeah. most companies are, most companies are pretty bad. I don't know if I'm very cynical here, but in 2023, I kind of assume that most companies are evil. At this point, what um, evil? Wait, what do you mean evil, dude? They're not evil. Soulless? I, okay, Soul they definitely hey, yeah, don't soulless. care about you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. they're faceless. Uh, you know, money-making machines, right? So it's like a, it's like an yeah. intelligence that like a yeah of many people yeah, that are combined to, like to make so much money. Cares about you. Yeah. yeah, I mean, yeah, that's like right. why people who are loyal to companies are fucking clowns, right? Like exactly. And I mean, I'm sure there are uh, exceptions where like there like probably is one exception in the world, but that. It's kind of irrelevant. If somebody that's not evil though. If somebody that's, that's offers neutral, you, sure. I feel like. If somebody oh. if somebody offers you an amount of money as a content creator, they're going to make more than that of your viewers, right? That's the only reason they would pay you that money because they're well, a company, right? Well, that could be a ramp up. That could be they could be operating at a loss and understand it's a loss, but it could be like temporarily a thing to, to, to ignite. They're, they're trying to like start up a trend, right? I mean, the, the idea is that I mean, because you, you can certainly. Not all business deals work out, right? No, for sure, for sure. And but you can and you can't plan I, I, to run I, at a loss. Like this company's I have out. to assume that if somebody is offering me money, they are looking to either interest some sort of value or straight up money make more than that off me. So at my size, the like largest offer like that I could possibly get from Kick would be five to ten million dollars, right? Somewhere in that range. Because uh, at the moment, the largest like platform deal that I ever got offered was Facebook when I was a lot smaller, and that was 1.2 million. And I have very like few problems saying no to that, right? But then wait, wait, the wait saying no to that? You, why? I just, I just don't like Facebook as a platform. One of the main reasons I would never entertain Facebook was because at the time, and I, I brought this up when talking to them because it's still important to hear out offers. Um, but they had, for example, if you chatted in chat, it would be your full name disclosed. Right? You weren't allowed to encourage, like, oh, you can set a gamer tag. So it would be your full name in chat. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, no, I, and I, I said no to that when I did not have a lot of money in the bank. I didn't even have my house at that point, I think. So that was that was very, very easy for me to say no to. And but what if it, what if it was when, 15 when, million? What if it was 15 million? No, I mean, like, I, I wouldn't go to kick for a dollar amount. That is realistic that they would actually offer oh, me. No, 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 I think that's very important we're talking to specify. About, we're talking about Facebook right now. Uh, I, I, the, only, the only other platform that I would currently entertain would be YouTube. Wait, so you're saying me Facebook offers you $15 million for a year. You have to stream there for a year. So my main no. motivator, my main motivator is attention, not just money, right? Like I'm a massive attention whore. Like I talk okay, about that a lot. I'm very open they, about that. And a lot of okay, people aren't. Okay, what, okay, $15 million and they're going to promote your stream heavily to the point where you will always be above 10K current, current viewers. But that's not real people watching. Well, I mean, no, they promote it like, they, what do you mean they have ads? They had like one of the most powerful ads uh, programs in the fucking world, right? They could literally promote I want promote like you. random they, Facebook moms watching me? Yeah, like they promote you, they click on that, so they constantly, and as you don't get, it, as your CCVs drop, they, uh, you know, fucking promote you. It's not about half. the number. Well, you just said you're an attention You said the amount of attention. Yeah, but it's also about the right type of attention. Like, I just don't want, like, random Facebook moms watching me either. The <laughs> local MILFs want to watch okay, your what, stream. You don't think, it, you don't think it could, uh, they could promote it? They could find people between the age bracket of, like, fucking 18 and, like, 20. Fucking 35 I would lose for such a, I would lose such a large chunk of the people in my stream that I care about. Like I do care about a lot of my viewers. That's why I'm so selective about what I stream. And I think that's very important to note. So I actually pretty early on, two or three years of streaming, I did a sponsor de sponsorship deal at a discount for a company in return for giving all the stats of how much money I earned them. So I like I streamed at a big discounted rate to like eight to ten hour streams sponsored streams for them. And for those eight to 10 hours, they attributed over $60,000 of revenue to me streaming their game. And that was 
when I had like, I don't know, like a thousand viewers or something. So I'm fully aware of like how much influence you do have as a streamer, right? You do have a large amount of influence as a streamer. And anything we do, like if you and me start talking about Coca-Cola or Red Bull right now, to some degree, that will actually influence some people. There might be five, ten, a hundred people in your chat. They'll be like, man, I kind of want a Coca-Cola right now. Well, what right? am I talking about myth? It is. What am I talking about myth? I'm talking about myth a bunch today. Yeah, sure. Quinn, sponsored by the Colombian... Yeah, like, but we do literally influence people, right? Like, how many people in chat have bought a game because they've seen you playing it, me playing it, Lyric playing it, right? Like, it can look kind of fun to see people playing something. So, I'm very, very conscious of what I do. Like, for example, there's been... But wait, 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 uh, wait, wait. I was watching your... I'm so confused, though, because you said before, it's like, it's a combination of a dollar amount and an amount of attention. And then, but now you're saying, but then you also, what you've got, viewers that you care about a lot that you what you don't want to fuck I care about guys. the people that are regular viewers in my stream yeah like I mean so my my chat is a lot slower than yours right so it's so easy for me to interact with people I know where like a lot of people like live I know where they're from people are going like coming in every morning like oh hello from Thailand stuff like that so I I do build a closer relationship with individual people in my stream relationship well. but do you think it's uh what are you what, ooh. I mean, it, it, and, and like, okay, wait, we'll talk about parasocial stuff later. You go. Like, like, for example, Sai was at my wedding. I met him through my stream. Wait, okay, but how did that how did that work? Did you progress from stream to like talking an audio to then so, audio so video would, to then real life? Yeah, so he would be in my stream every day, and then also Quinn was invited to the wedding. Um, but yeah, um, he would be in my stream every day. Then at some point we talked about Dota, and then I was like, "Do you want to play Dota?" And then we started playing Dota every day, and then I was like, "Hey, do you want to be at my wedding?" Well, that's not a viewer. He transformed from a viewer to a friend, right? Yeah, sure, but, but it's, kinda, it's harder to have that be... type of relationship if you don't have a ton of interaction. Was well, that? I mean, if you, if you try to foster a friendship with your entire chat, that's gonna you see how that could be. Bad, sure, you right? shouldn't do that either because they can abuse that in a parasocial way. But because of the fact that i am aware of how much influence you have i try to be very careful what i do because no matter what i play or stream people are going to buy it because of me right no matter what so for example i'll do some examples i did uh magic legends right uh, as a sponsorship i took a sponsorship for magic legends and what i do when i take sponsorships i make sure i can say negative things so when i was streaming that i was like this is worst game i've ever played don't buy this game don't use my code don't get this right it's very important to be able to say that but you because know, there will obviously be a bias a there, right? There will be an inherent bias to just being sponsored by the company, right? I have and a bias giving... towards my viewers. Well, there's a bias, well, there's a bias as well if they're giving you money. But what right? are they going to do? Not pay me? What, they're not well, going to the... sponsor me again? I already turned down you... so many sponsorships. So, yes, yes, they could not. So, some some large company, you could have vested interest. It says, like, some company that's also releasing some other games. So, you're like, okay, I want to not completely short to, uh, you know. Yeah, but I have so much I, money. I, I, like I turned down all the sponsorships anyway. So, no, what I'm saying is, no, but what if it's like, uh, what if it's, what if it's fucking, um, not Activision, let's use, I don't know, some company that you have, like, I've seen people do this before where, uh, I mean, I know, I know it's, uh, everyone has this bias, right? It's like, okay, I actually, do you know what? I don't want to shit talk this in one company, but this one thing, because, um, you know, you, you like other games they make, uh, and then you might ruin future opportunities. But I, all the money I come is from my viewers, right? The reason I can make 5k an hour doing sponsorships is because of the people watching me and if i see sponsored content i don't trust it at all i'm like anything that person says i have zero like there's no reason for me to believe yeah, anything that, that person is saying that's, and that's i don't I want it. any of i tap it out i don't want any of my long-term viewers to feel like that with me at all but they will, though, they, will. Like they will if i see you playing a sponsored game i think like, a lot okay. of people don't no shot dude the second it's an I've ad done bro the so second many an games ad. that i've given like a zero out of ten a three out of ten and a five out of ten so many, so many games. Like on December, I was sponsored. Um, Torchlight, I was sponsored, and Magic Legends. And I dragged all three of those games. Now, uh, Torchlight Infinite was really interesting because I was dragging their monetization. They came back like two months later, and they were like, "By the way, we saw some of your feedback. We'd like to sponsor a second run. We've dialed back a lot of the pay to win, and we wonder if it made a difference for you." And I was like, "Wow, that's actually kind of impressive." Well, that Why do you? Happen. Okay, okay. So what about a company like GGG? I feel like uh, you withhold your, you bite your tongue sometimes, and you word things in a way that's more favorable than what they should be because you're trying to maintain relationships. Uh, oh, I, I is that like... possible? Did you see this? I remember, I, remember, I remember you got can't. I remember. I remember pretty much since that one time you were like, "Fuck this fucking game, this fucking bullshit." 
and you because you died. No, I do to that several times a year whenever I'm pissed. No, and then and then they stop the writing, and then you never went you never went crazy mode like that after that. I never saw you. I never saw you. I shit literally on... did it this league. Wait, when? Show me. I want to see it. Okay. Was that link the clip? Yeah, I'm finding it. If anyone in chat can help me find it too, we're gonna talk about Ruth this. No, I'm talking like you need to say this. This game is fucking shit. Ah, it's fucking trash. You fucking G -G -G. I'm like, I'm talking like uh, full. Like, wait, I mean, you need to see, we need to, because we need to compare the power levels, right? The power, we need, we, there was the high rep, right? To the uh, spiders. There. Uh, there, There's one example, and that's just, what, three months ago? March? Like. You want, wait, wait, are you linking to Twitch yet? Wait, let me, I need to get out of this fucking thing. I, I linked it in Discord. It's a stupid fucking it's like, map. So this many, the thing is, right? So many people with GGG will they'll say, like, oh, you're such a hater. Why do you play this game? You're always negative. And other people, other people will be like, Oh, you're chill. All you say is positive. So it's like, no matter what I do here, I can't win. 100%. Hey, wait. Because that was... I'm going to come in. I can't actually I'm going to... Wait, 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 It's easy if you just post it. Can you just post it in chat? And I'll just click it from chat. Okay, anyway, sure. I put it on the main monitor. Easy clap. Sure. And there's been, like, so many times where I'm upset about what they do. And they do so many bad decisions. Oh, no. This, I mean, this is like... Okay. Honestly, what's sad about Crucible? Uh, apparently, a lot to a different... I, I, dude, I remember this one. Oh, I remember this one, dude. <laughs> I was like, I don't feel like I ever hold back that, with GDD. I feel like that one was, that one was kind of like, um, I, I, to be fair, I can't, when, I'll be honest, the vibe that I got from this one was kind of like, this was the popular opinion on Reddit, right? That was a, a lot of was, people gave me so much shit for this. this. That was the popular Reddit take. No, but that was like the popular Reddit take. I'm talking like, I'm talking like, uh, next level. No, no, no that was, it, no, I, I, it came off to me as like, I'll be honest, it came off, I viewed this as like, even if you weren't pandering intentionally, like subconsciously. Right, just you were surrounded by people all saying the same thing, and then you got you were subconsciously pandering. Yeah, you know, like even even like well, which wouldn't be pandering. You just but got why call it pandering when like how often do I disagree and shit on Reddit? How often do I shit on Reddit? Why call it pandering? Like uh, at some point, your opinion is probably not going to be static. So at some point, your opinion is going to overlap. Well, you should you shouldn't you should never always disagree. You should never always agree for sure, one hundred percent. Isn't that what I do? I I feel like it's almost it's very consistently. I feel like it's very consistently. Um, consistently changing? No 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 no. no. Very consistently. I, I think I think it like 80, 80 to ninety percent of your takes would probably be like very similar to red takes. No, they are not. 80, what do 80, you mean? 90, that's that's that's, that's no, I'm just gonna Reddit be honest. Reddit hates me. If a clip of me gets posted on Reddit, it's instant downvoted. I mean, they, they, it, Reddit they, okay, literally hates me. They hate a lot of streamers. They have a lot of streamers. They hate a they, lot of uh, Sure, they, but they also hate me specifically. I disagree with them shit tons. Wait, gaslighting six and I'm not trying to gaslight Ziz. I'm trying to be polite here. Okay, and we're trying to talk about I'm trying to I'm trying to be polite. I'm not making shit up, guys. You li I am okay, no. I'm saying this was my my literal perception of that this tweet was I was like, holy shit, how can he believe this? Wait, cause I can't remember what, it was it was basically where are we? Oh fuck. But like nearly every other patch, I'm saying Reddit is everyone, high and wrong. Everyone was hating on Crucible. If, no, you because you added, you amended it after after the fact, right? Like the with like a reply or something. Uh, yeah, it's yeah, a reply you, to wait, the wait, which was a, it was a reply, which uh, no one really sees that. It's like it's, and that was not immediately, right? That was yeah, not. It was pretty immediate. It was a, okay. You can and, see and, the timestamp. Because uh, well, one of the things, but I I mean, this is my my feeling was I was pogging out for Crucible. I was like, this dude, Pog Champ, this looks sick. Like, bro, it's a new league. Let's go. And um, the chat was like that. And it was, everyone was kind of like this. And then after I cut out, after I ended the stream and I fucking finished, I was like, I was like hyped out. And then um, I found out about, and, then, and I hopped it onto Twitter. And I was like, fucking five people all being like, man, this is dog yeah, shit. Yeah, but I'm not always going to feel like that, am I? This is dog shit. And then, and then the Reddit was saying, this is dog shit. Everyone's saying this is dog shit. And it's like, dude, how, there's no way everyone just thinks this way, right? There's no well, one that- Actually, there's, there's, there's some sort okay, of, no, no, no. What about, what about Here's why you're wrong. I tweeted this while me and Steel were still reacting. So I hadn't seen anybody else's reaction at all. I had not seen Reddit. I had not seen Twitter. I didn't even have my chat because we, for the first time, and Steel can confirm this, was sitting in my fucking TV room. I, re I remember the clip of that, of that, that, that clip where, where, where they said something like ruthless and you were like... Yeah, I popped off instantly. So it's nothing to do with Reddit no, you're, you're like, you're or like, uh, anything. Uh, you're... <laughs> so you really got to take an L on this one. Oh, no, not an L. Not an L. I remember seeing that clip of you reacting to... Uh, them talking about ruthless and i was thinking like holy shit dude like ho holy shit what well, is this i was this? mad here and but the thing is see like i don't i don't hold back 
I do like GGD and Pee Wee more than I don't, or I probably wouldn't be playing it for this long, right? Then where's the popping off, bro? Where's the fucking rage clips? Where's the fucking... I did! You, I, you did. I didn't know! There was like a depressed, uh, like, uh, a depressed... No, I'm no, not no, gonna no. grab the mic and shout out profanity so you'll fall apart the Zez, mat. Okay, Zez, uh, what league are we talking about? I'm talking like this, dude. I'm talking this energy, bro. I'm talking Zez, um... Heist. Don't thumb the table? League rip. How do I find? You keep moving this? the goalpost, Quinn. No, 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 no! I'm not moving the goalpost. I'm not moving the goalpost. I'm not moving the goalpost. Is it's it's definitely not steady. The goalpost is there. No, the, the, I'm I I I was uh, I I remember the situation clearly. I remember the situation clearly, and I was like, because I. Uh, I remember, I remember this whole fucking arc, this whole arc of like just the overall hate vibe, the overall hate vibe, and just thinking, man, everyone is like, it's like a hive mind, hive brain, because you got to remember that the whole hive brain chat with the hive mind thought processed, they're all, you know, they're in your chat, bro. They're in your chat. They're everywhere. They're surrounding you. Um, and it, well, it's like kind of like a little bit of an echo chamber, so to speak, right? Do you not think? Do you not? Do you not see that? Do you not? Do you not see how they could be like if you have a if you if everyone is. If you shit on everyone with a certain opinion, and you kind of get those guys out, then you're gonna have very similar thought, like people who have like you know thought processes. Okay. I think I think every stream on Twitch has a chance of turning a little bit into an echo chamber for sure. If you allow it, if you allow it. Yeah. Like you can encourage I mean, it as I, well. You can like you can yeah. You can, you oh, can, you can encourage it. You can basically shit on people who um you can like <laughs> giga shit on people constantly in a non like and get and like in a way to manipulate your viewers to like hate. On that particular person, yeah, right? Absolutely. You, can, you, can but, a, you can create an atmosphere where that happens. I feel like that yeah, happens. But something that's really streams. important. You said that. You said like, why? Why not? Like popping off and getting angry. Ideally, I never want to do that, right? Even if I'm like talking to somebody in chat, right? Because you're probably never like, there's there's nothing positive that's gonna come of me. Even if it's just talking to somebody in chat that I'm really mad at. Even if I am genuinely upset, right? Me grabbing the microphone and just screaming, "You are such a fucking retard! Yeah. Why don't you agree with me?" is probably never going to change their mind. No, right? is, no one is going. Just happen. Let me finish. No okay. one is probably gonna go like, "Oh man, this called me a." Maybe I should reconsider my position here. Maybe this is actually right. I hadn't thought of it that way. What I'm saying right? is I've it's... seen the real Ziz. I've seen the real Ziz, and he comes out occasionally. He comes out occasionally in these clips, and you hold back. Like, you hold back, bro. You hold you hold back. That that when you're truly unleashing, when you tr when the filters come off. Yeah, when but the it's, filters it's not a good thing to lose your temper. That's what I know. I like to see that. I like the genuine. But it's not I a like, good I thing. Like I, I like what I see is you fucking go like, Okay, wait, I, where's the, where's the, where's it? Could someone give me the clip? Oh, I'm trying to show you this. There was another one as well. There was another one as well. I think it was another one as well. There's actually two I can think of. The one where you died to the spider mobs that explode you, and you went, and, huh. and I was like, that's the real Ziz. And then I saw the other one where you died and heist to spiders. Uh, not just spiders, to, uh, to the, to the electronic ones. And because the I telegraphing remember. was bad. Can someone give mm -hmm. me that? I want to show you what I'm talking about. I I'm trying to show you. Where, where is that? How, do, how come no one can link me Search this clip? YouTube rip. This is rip playlist. I document all my rips. I like watching them. Is this wait, high league rip? Wait, I'm gonna click this. High league rip. I'm click this. See, they're they're like um, documented by a league too in the thumbnail, so it's easy to find. Top ten zip rips of all time. Ah, heist. Let's see. Let's say one of my first one. I love on death effects. Funny. But twelve seconds. Now, like funny. <gasps> oh no! That's I'm looking away. What? I didn't even see what killed me. No, the, the, this is not the part. This is, you popped off after this. You popped off after this. We need the, the head pop off. The part where you pop off and you shit on GG, unironically, and you fucking destroy them, bro. You fuck, I was like, dude, yes! Yes! And then they stop talking to you after that. You just want to see people be mad. No, 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 no. When you when the filters come off. I like it when the filters are off, this. You understand what I'm saying? So, do you feel like people are only real when they're really angry and they're losing their No, temper? no, 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 no. When I, when I, when I believe what they're saying, is like the truth and they mean it, you know? Do you ever like, feel like that happens without someone being angry? All the time. That's, all the Can time. Can you give me some examples of somebody doing this while they're being like coherent and speaking like this in a calm manner? Um, like, that's someone being real, I, but not for, being for angry. Example, okay, for example, when, like um, when I'm talking, to be fair, I think when I'm talking, to, to be fair, on stream is not a good idea. It's never as good on stream because people generally have. There's some sort of like a wall slash persona, you know. I, do you think it would be, our conversation would be different if we were off stream right now? Probably. Which is fair enough though, because we are on stream and it does change the dynamic. And 100% oh, there's absolutely. certain stuff you can't talk about. And you know, it's one of these things where it's like, one, I, I, but there's people who go way harder 
in terms of filtering like I, for example like someone like a, a, like a legend a legend among the streaming community kokanish he goes way harder with filtering mm -hmm. right way harder than then compared to uh, let's compare him to xqc you know well, and it's like and and one of those things where i when i'm t when i'm hearing like kokanish say something i'm thinking well, yeah but what does he actually think or right? but that's and not I, really an I, important part of his stream right well yeah well that, that's uh, but oh shit is this the oh shit is this it did we get it two years ago there you go, streamer. Play on your priority. Go fuck yourself, you little shit kid. Ask my priority to be removed, you little fucking toxic. Wait, I can hear yourself and it's your like... mom. Dude, that's the real Ziz. That's the real Ziz, bro. You, cause you're not even yelling. You don't even unhinge. You're just like, you're like the filter. You're like the filters are down. The filters. Wait, what did I say? This is the real Ziz. Uh, go fuck yourself, you little. Um, some other, some other shit. There you go, streamer. Play on your priority. Yeah, that was mad. Fuck yourself, you little shit. But this shit is almost what you're saying, though. To be that but you don't even, you don't, you're only like, real when they lose their temper. You don't, no, 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 no. But you, this is like, you don't care anymore. So you're just like, ah, fuck it. I'm gonna, the filters are off. The filters are off. The un, Ziz unfiltered. You know? Ziz unfiltered. He's like, the fucking toxic. Go fuck yourself. I'm I your love mom. that. I love that. When I saw, when I, like, immediately upon seeing this clip, it was like, it's like a reputation, like respect levels. I was like, dude, yes. Pop off, King. Pop off. You, know, pop you should off. watch my Dota streams. I, I've seen a few of them. I have seen. I have seen a few of the. Well, not the streams, but like the clips of you popping off. All right, when you when you when you you know when you, to, when you unleash, brother. Okay, now this all comes back to this whole fucking thing of like you know saying. I guess saying what you think and streaming when it comes to sponsor streams and all sorts of things. And I feel like the second it doesn't even matter if you have something in your contract. That says I can shit talk the game, and you know you've got examples of you shit talking it. But like, there's hundreds of biases, and in whether that be like I personal relationships, think it's more fun to shit talk somebody that sponsors me than someone that doesn't. Yeah, I make I, a point of it. I, I feel like I feel like uh, you know, in certain situations you're gonna hold back, right? Why? Uh, because like, f potential futures. I mean, I've I've, I've seen Kripari do this with mobile games, where you know. Yeah, but I'm not anyone uh, else. See, I, have to, no, I, I make so much money. I turn down so many sponsorships. Why? Like, why would I care? What to say? I just think it's. I just feel like it's disingenuous to say that you can't. You know, completely unaffected by any sort of uh, potential sponsorship or you know f future working relationship. Even if it's like, I mean, even if it's like small, the dynamic has changed. But I owe my viewers literally everything. If I'm doing what you're saying, then I'm being disingenuous to my viewers. Then I'm shitting on them. No, 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 doing it. It's, it's, it's like I a, am. it's a bias. It's a, it's a, it's a thing where 100% where, no, 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 okay. Quindula, I've shit. never talked to this company oh my people. God, I don't care about What them. are these guys spamming right now? What are these guys spamming right now? What are you even spamming? Projection 69. What are you? Oh, these motherfucking motherfuckers in chat right now, brother. These motherfuckers in chat need to shut the fuck up. Uh, I think it's not what you're saying is right for 99 percent of people. I'm saying, I'm saying that's just this is how humans work. This you're is right. how humans work. Like humans' brains are coded this way. To, where, and if you don't accept that these biases exist, then you you're not really taking control of them, right? I mean, it's which yeah, is most, why it's like for most people, you're right. But I don't. I don't know. I love shitting on companies that pay me money. But I you, love, you're oh, saying you feel that you do, you do feel to yourself when it comes to like GGG. No. Like you don't, you don't, you don't, I feel, I feel like you, I mean, but the fact that you, you pop off uh, sometimes, I, like for example, love, after that rip, when you, when you ripped and you see what you actually felt. But that's losing my temper. Well, that's taking, no, that's taking off your filters because do you, you, when you get angry, do you say what you really mean? Or do you sometimes say yeah. things you don't mean when you're angry? No, I say you what never I mean. say these no, no, you I, say, no, I, say, I try to say what I think always. I try to say really? what I think always. And this is tear ways. So you've never I'm gotten really mad at you've never gotten really mad at someone and then said something you didn't mean just to be hurtful, just because you were mad in the moment. Wait, 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 wait. You've never had a no, fight with someone. Things, a different different things. I, I try and say what I'm thinking always. It's I, 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 what I'm thinking. I try to articulate that with words right it's for what i'm thinking which for example like when i said before you know when we're talking about the tweets and stuff like i like obviously it's like i could just yeah i could i could just like lie and make up some shit and be like yeah i saw that but like i try and like produce minimize the impact that it could have to make you like not take as much harm and do that but i'd rather just say like no what i genuinely felt it given like, for example same reason why i talked about why you know did you get an erection when you played that blade and sorceries game you know, mm -hmm. it's because I'm saying what I think, right? I'm saying, I'm like, yo, that's just something that I thought, and I'm saying it. Sure, I feel like but what I'm saying is sometimes if I'm really, really angry, if I literally lose my temper, I will definitely say something I don't mean to be shitty. It's not a good thing. I don't think that's a great quality or thing to do, but I'm sure there are loads of people that have had the same experience in chat 
I will definitely say things I don't mean sometimes just to be a shit dude. Yeah, no, no, no. no. I mean, if you just want to spite someone, that's it, like being spiteful. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, I am spiteful. But I think a lot of people I'm do awful. that. But that I wouldn't say that's being real. Like when I calm down, I'll apologize and be like, man, I was a little too out there. That's not the same as being mm. real, though. Uh, yeah, I, I, okay, if you're being, so you're saying you're being spiteful in all these situations. So every time I think I'm seeing the reels is where you're actually just saying what you think, you're actually just being spiteful. If I'm being extreme, yeah, I mean, there, there's a combination of both, I'm sure. Sometimes it'll just pop off on a viewer, too, but they don't always deserve it. Sometimes mm. they do, especially when I'm playing Dota. <laughs> oh my god, look at chat, dude, what the fuck? Oh, That's crazy. So, this is so cringe. Oh my god, it's so great. Are we literally having a conversation about this shit? No one's winning a debate, you fucking clowns! We're talking about... I'm enjoying the conversation, though, because it's and not filters. talked about a lot. Wait, you know what? We're talking about. We're talking about. We're talking about like filters and things. Wait. So you. So you are unfiltered. This. So this. So I'm thinking you're being filtered. Because I, I. I'll be honest. I view your stream and I think you're filtering yourself like the complete majority of the time, right? That's why when I view what you're saying, right? That's why I feel like you're being filtered like 95. I, mean, I, fi I filtered my way. I filter my stream in other ways, right? Like for example, if if someone's being shitty in my stream, sometimes I'll ignore it instead of popping off on them. And the reason for that is if there's like, let's say there's. Um, a thousand people watching my stream, right? And one of those people are being shitty. It's better for me to either ignore that person or just try to ban them instead of me grabbing the microphone, telling them how fucking dumb they are and popping off of them. Because a lot of those people in chat won't be enjoying that, right? Like, it could be fun watching me pop off and, like, shit on somebody now and again, but a lot of people won't enjoy that as a regular thing. Like, someometimes if I'm in another stream and I watch streamers, I, I mean, like, verbal listings and someone, that can get kind of exhaustive to as watch. As a viewer, I, c I can tell you, I enjoy when... Um, the stream is being genuine when I like when the stream is just being like popping off and doing like you know just being them uh, their authentic self you know Un unapolog unapologetic they should you should do what you want to do and you should do what you think you should say what you think you know that's like unless it's gonna break the TOS then yeah okay don't right don't break the TOS because that's then you get banned but like I, you know, it's one of those things where you should like unless it's like a interview like a public interview that you're doing for a company Whatever, you should just, you think a thing, and you just fucking say the thing, right? It doesn't take much for me to show restraint when, like, not shitting on a random viewer that's potentially even just trying oh, right, just to line me up. Uh, even just a thought, bro, even just a thought, like, about a thing, like, man, like, X, like, I, I really, uh, you know, just, just anything, You just a thought you have, just a rant, it could be, it doesn't have to be about shitting on viewers or anything like that. It could just be sp saying what you think about a game, like, genuinely. Oh, there, there, I, like, I, I'm very, very straight to the point. There's never a point... Uh, the the only thing that was awkward like that, like early on, um, when I was a smaller streamer, there was one game company where I could be honest and talk about uh, how I felt about the game, but they asked if I could not mention any competitors, and that's why I've been like so like so like, uh, you know, if you're playing Counter Strike, don't talk about Valorant kind of thing, um, and that made me really stressed out. I really hated that. So after that, I've like been really really careful. With, uh, with contracts and stuff like that, because that stressed me out so much. I think in the first three minutes, I'd actually mentioned another game, and I was like, oh my fucking god, this is worse now. Mm. So that was very stressful. I didn't like that. And I lost my first sponsorship ever due to asking if I could say whatever I want about the game. And what about, um, what about, so what about restr So I think when, when you, I think also another thing is, um, if, when you're thinking about another person, say, who's like shitty, and then you decide not to call out that person's behavior because you don't want to ruin like a network or a relationship, say. Like who? You know, or like causing drama, like dra like basically drama. You like, you will, uh, uh, you will censor yourself in order to avoid drama, say. Or, I mean, drama is a little resident sleeper. I, I definitely don't like being involved in drama. I don't feel like but, that's being inauthentic that, that, to my viewers, though. Is that like, um, but is that because you're trying to like preserve a relationship, or is that because you? No, you... that's because if you have drama with another streamer, there will be so much shit pouring into your chat. Because regardless of that person's is shitty, like for example, like fuck Adam Ross, right? He's like one of the worst humans on the fucking planet. But like, even by saying something like that, you have a big chance that you're gonna be loads of fucking thirteen-year-old kids in your chat forever. Nah, no shot, bro. No shot. No shot. No shot. Sure. That's 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 that is literally. I mean that that I feel like that is a irrational fear, right? Unless you, unless you're talk, maybe Final Fantasy community. Maybe you say Final Fantasy is a dog shit game and complete trash. But that's like you have to aggravate an entire community. I or say that a lot actually. That exact same comment, but that's just because my editor loves Final Fantasy, so it's more like shit talking him specifically. 
Or you trigger an entire um, nation. That's also another way to get a pen push people. But no, oh, otherwise, way, you, yeah. can, you can literally just like... Because uh, I, remember, I remember another another example of when I was like, dude, that's the real Ziz. Pop off, King. It was... Uh, remember Gazzy TV? Remember mm -hmm. Gazzy TV? And you popped off as an ass. You called his ass. I was like, wait, there's someone else doing this embedding shit? And you called out Gazzy TV? And I was like, holy shit, dude. There it is. Yeah, and then we talked, and now he doesn't do it anymore. And that's bad. That's badass. I mean, you, that's actually great. Like, what? What do you think about the whole Gazzy uh, situation? I think he handled it very well. I think people are allowed to mista make mistakes. I think the reason why it's hard for people what, to admit they're wrong too are? is the. What about Pewee Lab uh, embedding? Up, up, up. And, and then Crowd Vixel embedding. And, I mean, do you think you, how many times can you make the same mistake? Well, they're very different, right? They, there were different types of embedding. And when he started doing the embedding he was doing, there were other people doing the same thing. So it felt more okay, right? And people weren't complaining about the other people. I think the reason why it's hard for people to admit they're wrong or did a mistake is because people will make fun of people. Like, haha, you were wrong. People don't let people be wrong. What do you think about um, Asmongold um, condoning, uh, well, basically saying that you know, if people want to gamble, they can gamble. If people don't want to gamble, they cannot gamble. And it's fine to stream gambling. I think people are allowed to have their own takes. I don't agree with that take. But I'm not going to go like, I'm not gonna, like, I care about my own morals, my own ethics, right? I don't really care that much about how other people want to do it. Like, I know a lot of people have the take that like people have personal responsibility. And I think that's an okay take to have. Um, I don't have it personally because I would rather, maybe this is like a Norwegian take, but I would rather that we as a society try to hard carry the people in society that are struggling, right? I think that's a good thing because a lot of people are pre oh, words are hard. A lot of people are predisposition to a gambling addiction, right? So, I I think watching out for those people is a good thing. Well, I think it's okay out, for other people. Out, I think it's okay for them? other people. That I think it's okay for other yeah. people to have a got mine, fuck you. I think that's. That's a different mentality than yeah, mine. Yeah, what about what about who am I to say that's okay better to promote it? What about what about say, think, saying I don't think it's fine. okay to promote it, so I don't want to promote it. So shouldn't you call out Asmogold? Shouldn't you take him the fuck Wait, out? Wait, why? But but I don't. No, no, no. <laughs> this is a great thing. Shouldn't you take so, him the fuck out? Like of, Gazzy TV? No, no, no. You, well, okay. I need TV, that, right? I need the you floor here. TV. Oh, but that directly affects me. Well, people it, promoting gambling doesn't directly affect me. What about people like in your society that get addicted uh, to gambling because they watch the streamers, you know, in general? Like, yeah, that in the sucks. whole world is a, is like, it becomes a. Yeah, you know. that sucks. That's awful. But um, there are going to be in life, there are going to be things you care about more than other things, right? Whether that's like rescuing yeah. puppies, about being vegan, whatever, right? Something will be more important to you than it is to other people. That's great. There are loads of battles you can fight, there are loads of things you can do. They'll make like, like if you go vegan and like stop hurting animals, maybe that's a great thing, right? For the planet. Like, or just fuck, I don't know. Let's just, somebody can probably give an example of something that's just an objectively good thing to do. That's great. That's great if you do that, but you don't have to fight every battle, right? Hey, what right? about, I'm sure there's a lot of people like in chat here Jones? that think you don't have to fight every battle, but if you go after somebody else, you probably should fight every battle. What right. about what? What about what? What about Woody Joe? What about him? So, you love trying to drama bait. Well, I'm not drama bait. I'm just asking. I'm just check. I'm checking. I'm just checking to see how. Just checking. Uh, okay. Just checking. Oh, well, I'm saying as well. Okay, so you know. Okay, obviously, you know, botted like crazy in Diablo. Got banned. I have no idea about that. I didn't play Diablo. I mean, you did. We talked in DMs. And you knew. You did know about it, though, right? You knew. You knew. You did end up finding out about it, right? About like. I've just that. heard you saying it. Okay, he got, he got banned for botting, right? He got banned for it, and then he said he got banned for being for using Turbo Hood, which nobody had been banned for using Turbo Hood. Um, I don't now, know if now, that's true or not. And now he's getting officially... Well, it is true. It is 100% true. 100% true. Now he's officially yep. endorsed uh, by Blizzard, promoted, put on podcasts such as your own. Do you think, Do you think like, promoting bodice? Like, I mean, do you think... Do you think what, what do you think about that whole situation? Like, if it's... Uh, is it like, hey, if the, the, the net positive way, outweighs the net negative... It's fine, like to the, the the morals and the ethics. Do they go out the window? If this is a certain I don't know game. anything about it. I don't well, you even did know. know. You did. You, you, you did. Know. You, you did. It's true. No. You did. No, it is true. Though. All I have is you saying it's true. Okay, there's Reddit That's threads. That's the only I, info I have. Okay, there's a Reddit thread. There's literally posts of like Woody Joe. This, this, you can actually go back and find this because after that, everyone got banned for botting. He's like, mm. ha ha ha, stupid botters, got banned for botting. And then and the next wave came and he got banned, and it was like. You know, scale emoji, scale emoji. Well, this is like it's like it's absolutely verified, true, one hundred percent. So okay, so is it, so uh, uh, do you just do you, do you think you just warp? Do you do warp reality, maybe perhaps to 
if so like if it's like you know it could be true well, could right, not be true are you equating gambling to botting i'm not well, no. quite sure here well no no i'm talking about i'm talking about people and like i'm talking about drama but i talk to almost anyone there are very few people i wouldn't talk to oh no 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 not talk to. It's not, even not, even not people that to. i like vicious they disagree with it's more like you talking call, to people some takes is a great thing call it seems like calling out when it's beneficial to call out but then not calling out when it's not beneficial to call out right somebody else botting in a game doesn't affect me well what about like when somebody yeah, okay, 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 the, okay, the okay. reason why embedding is so bad and why i hate things like extra life is because that's going to literally affect sponsorships for me yo don't even get me started on that extra life yo can we get can we get like your unbiased take on extra life real quick before we go back to this fucking botting thing what do you what do you what's your take on extra life so so if if people embedding are selling their actual, I don't know if this is the case. This might, maybe. Let's say that. Let's say that uh, you have twenty-two thousand viewers right now, right? Let's say, let's say you were embedding for twenty thousand. I'm not looking at right? you, can't. Let's say, let's say you were embedding for twenty thousand. You had two thousand real viewers. Maybe the people that are doing those things, maybe they're saying like, by the way, twenty thousand of our viewers are embedded. They're not real. We only have two thousand viewers, and maybe they're only selling. As if they only have 2,000 viewers, right? Maybe that's the thing. If they're not, it's fraud and it should be like literal jail time. If yeah. they're selling well, for their, if anyone doing embedding is selling for their full view count, that is fraud and they should be in jail. Well, I mean, they, uh, I mean, GGG literally paid to put a view bot uh, in their section. They paid money to put of like a, you know, unentertaining, uninteresting yeah, crazy. view bot at the top of their directory mm -hmm. for the, mm -hmm. you know, duration of his league launch. And, uh, you know, you, we should hit, uh, hit them up and ask, actually, GG, how much should you pay for your life? Like, how much should they get scammed? Because that'd be interesting. That'd be an interesting I uh, messaged them just to make sure that they knew that it was embedding. What'd they say? They were, like, noted. Jeez Louise. <laughs> Wait, noted. You should, I mean, yeah. I feel like that's that makes sense. Okay, okay, yeah, okay. Calling people out. Drama avoidance. Okay. So I guess, you know, in terms of drama, in terms of like, you know, the, the whole reels is versus the, you know, the, the, what, what I perceive to be is, you know, whatever, you know, obviously like the Woody Joe thing, you like downplay the bonding thing and say you don't know about it, right? Mm -hmm. um, and then you will talk about Gazzy doing the embedding whenever he did. But then what, uh, what about whenever he brought, what about when Gazzy TV brought up mental health as a shield and then uh, there was no comment made there? Why is it a shield? Uh, well, I mean, I can. I don't want to get. I mean, I'm blocked on Twitter actually, so I can't actually see his direct tweet. But effectively, he he, he basically said something along the lines of, "Hey, mental health, like, you can't attack me." Where, where, I, and it was, well, everyone went silent. Time at the time. Everyone went silent. Everyone went silent. Like it was like there was no there was no. Um, well, actually, I say everyone, but like, cute dog was real enough to like call that shit out. But that was the one example of a person who was like fucking, you know, who went deep dick. You have a very different definition of a real than a lot of people do, I think. Real is like calling it as it's seen. That, like saying what you think. It seems like real is calling it as it's seen by you. Oh, no. It's, no, no, no. It's more like, okay, so everyone sees like a fucking person who's like, I don't know. So, something obviously is like, something, something obviously like everyone's looking at it. Everyone's thinking, holy shit, X, Y, Z, but then no one says it because of, because of some social etiquette. Because the down, because the downfall, uh, like the, the downside, uh, the downside of acknowledging that thing, like s s you know, in society. Well, so you basically, it's a, it's a bad trade, right? You people are just going to dislike you more, even if you say this true thing, people will dislike you more then like you so then they just no one will talk about it because but this it's isn't like, something you worry about right because you always say what what's on your mind unless it's tos yes unless it's tos right what what no what but so then the, and then there is somebody calling it out right yeah but there's like one person calling it out whenever there's like fucking there should be like i mean it was like bro i'm talking like dead silent i mean this has been this multiple times actually fuck, what was the other situation that happened when literally it's like bro everyone should be saying something and then there's no one saying it patch notes out wait no 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 wait this is painful low w Wait, am I getting an email by Abby to stop right now? What the fuck's happening? Oh, shit. What's happening? I'm getting a bunch of messages. Abby's great. Her and my wife talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My wife yeah. always gets like, really excited whenever she sends a message. Oh, shit, really? That's why it's bad. I mean, you didn't know that. What's well, bad? It's moms. There's a connection between moms. The second you uh, have a baby, it's like you both, you both like, you know, you both have your monkey child and you both like talking about the things the kid does and it makes sense. Yeah. Like 100%. 100%. Well, it's like, it's like the second, even, even if um, you have like a, even, even just like if, if, if like, say, the second you became a dad, right? You became more relatable to me, right? Just like, right. Our, you know, like dad was, became a dad. And I'm like, oh shit. He said, you know, it's like, you know, you, there yeah, was an, an additional it. link of like um, similarity, right? 
the yeah. intensive yeah. lived experience, which is similar. Yeah, I get it. How did having a child change content creation for you? Nothing. I mean, what? Really? Yeah, I, just, I just had to. I, just, I, mean, I had to move to a cuck shade because otherwise I wake them up when I yelled. Right. <laughs> Wait, what about what about uh, you? My, about, my wife, about... my wife wants me to build a cuck shade because of that reason. Yep. You should. Well, oh, bro, you should. It is the best investment you will ever make. Like I'm not even kidding. But to be fair, I don't know how do you even stop your kid from like coming into like the fucking room when you're streaming. It just doesn't. Just told them not to. Really? Yeah. Well, okay, I can't. They, they can't. They, my, my kids are defiant. They will literally repeatedly. <laughs> just, man, they, they will repeatedly try and come into the. I mean, it was like opening the doors, running in, like constantly, and then it'd be like the middle of the night, and they would hear me yelling, and then they'd wake up. And I mean, you're probably not on. A, yeah. To be fair, you're probably not on a night schedule, right? So then you don't have the. Uh... No, I stream during the day mostly, yeah. unless it's like a late lunch or something. Well, yeah, that's when it would come in. I mean, do you have that issue where you wake up your so kids? many kids, though. That's crazy. Um, I don't know. I, I honestly, I definitely, uh, I'm a little more quiet than I would be. Like, I think if I, like, was alone in the house, like, when Helena goes to Denmark, I'm louder, for sure. Wait, what are they I don't want to wake up everyone else, so. Yeah. I try to be no, a little that's, quieter. That's why you should get the cuck shade, bro. I'm telling you. The cuck shade, yeah. you will be able to fully unleash, and you can just yell and shout, and you can fucking pop off. And, um, you know, say shit, and it's like, you know, you don't need to worry about your kids hearing or waking anyone up in the house. I've seen uh, some nuggets of my time, but this is why uh, that's the Quinrex on the floor. <laughs> First round is It's no ever your fucking compass. What are you on about about a debate? There is no debate. Wait, is this, you perceive there's a debate happening here? Is there a debate? Are you be are you being real right now? Um, I'm being, I am no, being real. No, I mean, right so I, I, <laughs> I think, I think your chat tries to, like, get you angry with people because they like drama. Yeah, I think a lot. Would. I mean, everyone likes drama. Everyone likes drama. Doesn't matter. If everyone likes drama something. that they themselves aren't involved in. Yeah, that is true. But like, but the thing is, right? It's probably like if your tech keeps bumming, this was right, or Crip was right, etc. It probably gets to you eventually. Like, it would to most people. Like, it's annoying. I'm annoyed well, by uh, it, uh, and I'm me. Z that Ziz was right one. Um, I don't know. It's me. It is annoying. Second. You have to admit it's annoying. I think it's annoying, and I'm me. Wait, Ziz, am, am I, I being? Am I? People are saying I'm I'm bullying you or something, or trying to attack you and try and wind you up. Am I trying to wind you up, Ziz? I mean, you're being a little antagonistic with some of your questions. That seem like they're aimed at provoking drama between streamers. Well, no, no, no. I'm what I'm doing was I'm testing logic behind. Um, because you were saying you just don't care about it's someone. Basically, that's Team Woody and Yazzie back to back. I mean, it's a little provocative, yeah. What it is, no, no, no. What it is, though, what it is, you're saying you don't care and you'll talk about anything, and then I'm I'm testing the logic that is just no, like. No, I oh, was talking, I was talking, well, I've been very consistent there. I've been talking about that where it comes to regards of sponsorships and loyalty to my viewers. Mm. I haven't been inconsistent there at all, right? Mm. I mean, yeah, well, no, well, I, it's, we haven't, to be fair, we, this is, we went down a tangent. We went down a tangent about that, which is like, this is to do with. This was, I was testing um, consistency in terms of what you say versus what you do, right? Which we're still, we're still, get, we're still getting there. But wait, the point I'm trying to make to chat is it's not supposed to be, I'm not, I'm trying to ask interesting questions and have an interesting uh, conversation. I'm having a good conversation. Right? That's ultimately what's happening here. Because before things come out of our mouth, we take the briefest seconds to think about it. Yeah, that's bad. That's bad. I don't do that. I, wait, yeah. Wait, I feel like I've seen you. Not I don't do think that before I speak. When you pop off, well, I've I've seen you pop off, dude. Oh, I never really I think like... before I speak. I, the reason I like doing podcasts with Quinn is because I hate. First off, I hate podcasts with too many people, and I hate podcasts where everybody agrees with each other. Like, I don't mind if people agree with each other on one or two topics, but it's so boring when every topic's like, "Yeah, I agree." It's like, okay, what's the fucking point of this podcast? Is saying you're fake? Like, what? No, I mean. He's right on a lot of things, though. A lot of people do filter themselves. My only point is that I don't filter myself when it comes to sponsors and them offering me money because my loyalty lies to chat and not to sponsors. Even from a financial point of view, I make more money off chat than those sponsors, right? So just from a pure greed point of view. Don't All right, who are we shit talking, Quinn? Let's go. Woody Joe, Woody Joe, Woody Joe. <laughs> no, okay, wait. So, uh, bro, do you, unironically, dog, no cap, do you think that Woody Joe didn't bot? Do you I believe would... that? I literally don't know. Okay, okay, there's a YouTube video. There's a YouTube video. So, like, like what, what kind of botting? Did he, like, bot to get gear? Did he bot in races? Did he bot on hardcore? How do you bot on hardcore? Surely you just die if you bot on hardcore. There we go. What? Watch the, watch, okay. watch the stream. Is this in hardcore? This is a competition where everyone's giga try harding, and it's very, like, everyone's ultra going for rank one, and this massive competition It's at the beginning. We're talking like when seasons were hot, right? When seasons were hot. How long ago? Is this like last uh, year? Okay, there we go. Your game license has been banned. Please. Wait, uh, is this seven years ago? Aren't you literally being Twitter fine. right now? 
Uh, no, 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 no. What doesn't matter? He, he's never admitted it. He's never admitted it. Do you understand? Okay. Do you? Okay. Ziz, would you cheat in a race? Would you use bots to cheat in a race? Sorry, I have double stream on. Ask that again. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Just, wait, wait. Do you know what? What's, what's your video first? What's your video first? Exciting I video. guess there's no reason to deny it. I was double hard. I never used anything else. <laughs> <laughs> some of even played without, even the drinking without sometimes. When <laughs> so I feel that always playing with it makes a worse player. <laughs> okay. So basically, he said he gets banned, and then after a while, he says, There's no reason to deny it. I'm, you know, I used to have had whatever. He got banned. Okay. Um, so after seeing this video, do you still think would you never use to bot? I don't understand what this has to do with botting. With botting. Okay. Well, he got because no one has ever been banned for using to And he said he used to Are you sure? Nobody has ever there. I'm sure there's not a single forum post. Like you go, go. You have a source? Go. Yes, yes. You can go to the forums. They're still there. You can actually go check out the Turbard forums, and you can see there was no massive ban wave. Like, oh my god, everyone got banned. But you know what? The fucking uh, Diablo, uh, basically the fucking botting stuff. What do they use? D3 Rossbot. Oh no, what's, what the fuck were they using back then? There was no other name for it. There's a forum you can go check, and it was it blew up because it was a huge ban wave. This is like Gabinator. I got banana, and I use nothing. Right? This is like. Everyone got banned. All the bodies. Not a single turbo head. Not, not one. Right? Not one. It is 100%. Like, it is 100%. 100%. So, now, at that point, do you, now do you think he got banned for botting? No, I still don't. I have no idea. I'm not invested There's enough in this There's a video of him live streaming, getting banned, and then he comes on and says, Oh, yeah, okay. There's no reason to deny it. They got banned for turbo head. Uh, why okay. should I take your word over his? Okay, because there's literal forms. Okay, when they do ban waves, right? Do you not understand a ban waves? Right? They ban a bunch of people, right? And then everyone goes and uh -huh. says, I got banned on the forums. Nobody on Turbohead forums. Like, go look up Turbohead forums. Go find Turbohead forums. Wait, aren't you super against cancel culture? How is this different? It's not cancel culture. No, what do you mean? Okay, okay. Ziz, Ziz. Okay, this is a bad argument. You're making a bad faith argument. See that shit where you're being fake? Okay, you're being fake right now, dude. Okay, dog. Oh, you mean, this yeah. is fake. No, no, no. Okay, do you think it's scummy as fuck to cheat in competitions where people are trying? Oh, absolutely. So do you not, would you not call someone out who's being scummy as fuck? And would you not want to promote that person in official capacity? Like, like for example, you know, if you believe he's bought it and then you actually like blizzard your point. If you literally and this cheated in competition, I think that's that's shitty. Absolutely, I yes, just well, don't that, know if that's what happened, and I'm not invested is, in it, nor do I care enough. And it's seven years ago. Shit, no, okay, you say that people right, do but, change. I unbanned people, everybody okay, yeah, every but year. Why not? Do okay, do you not think? If, do you not think the first step to changing is admitting that you did something wrong and not lying about it? Do you well, not think that I would be the case? That is lying about it. Because there's, uh, there's literal video proof and there's zero oh, people. Saying this is uh, okay, there is ever, you can go go to the Turbo Hub forums. Nobody has been banned for Turbo Hub, ever. Nobody. Nobody. There's nobody. I literally 24 7 grouped with every single player using Turbo Hub. They're all using Turbo Hub. The entire Diablo, they're all Turbo Hub. Zero of them got banned. Do you know who got banned? 100% of them. Bodies. I got banned from Path of Exile for using Flask Macro, and I wasn't using Flask Macro. Okay, th this is th this is pointless though. This is pointless. Nobody's been banned for Turbo. It is not. It's, it's but irrelevant. nobody's been banned for Flask Macro. Well, nobody, okay, what do you mean? I don't. This, this, is, this is not the same thing. This is not the same thing. Okay, this is Diablo. It is literally the same thing. You are coping. You are coping. You're co no, this is nobody has been banned for Turbo. Ever. Okay, nobody. Uh, all I have for that is your word for it. Okay, no, no, no. Okay, let's see. Turbo HUD ban wave. Uh, Diablo. Ban is Turbo bannable or not? The only place list. you would have would be if the dev said so. No, 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 no. It's great. You want to get banned for it, Turbo? Is you get wait here? There's no, no one has any, no, no one has a single proof. Uh, Turbo you can get you suspended. Nobody, you nobody Turbo has. can bring your suspension. Nobody has been. Okay, bro. People literally live streamed Turbo HUD and they get banned. This is. You, you are coping. You are out of touch right now, and I'm telling you, you are coping. Nobody's been banned for Turbo. Uh, this is not a question. I'm just saying I don't know enough about the situation. All I'm, I'm seeing giving here you is the I'm, can. I'm giving you the information right now. I'm, I'm showing you a video. all the information from the same source. I'm, wait, 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 I'm showing you a video of something banned. You are the only banned. source. I'm, there's, a, there's a live video of it right here I'm looking at. Of him admitting to having Turbo HUD, which you just showed well, he, me a post no, where several of, people said you can get suspended for using it. No, 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 no. no. He was saying send... send He's saying, no, he's saying you theoretically can, but you can't. Just like you theoretically could get banned for, like, I don't know, a bunch of shit, but you, you know, it's, it's a literally thing. Was it going to a ban wave? No, dude, no. Like, show me a single, show me a single bit of evidence of anyone getting banned by her, but ever. There is literally none. So they say, like, they'll, they'll say, yeah, we'll ban for it. They've never banned for it. Uh, 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 let like, me, let me, no, 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 let me read that blue reply. Yeah, dude, what are, you, what are you talking about? I wanted to read the blue reply. Can I read that? 
Those features have been in place for more advantages past to fell away side extension. You, we, can, we have more say on this uh, in the very near future, but I ask you a question to about it. It's seen as a program that should not be used in this current state. It's for bots. Their time is coming. Okay, they ban bots. They've never been turboed. Says, do you trust me? Do you trust me as a person? Why would I lie about any of this? I was ensconced. I was immersed in the Diablo community. I'm telling you, there has been zero bans. Zero. Ask anyone who knows anything. Ask fucking Woody Joe. Ask Woody Joe how many turbo bans there were. He will say, he knows. They know. So, Nobody. So if Woody had instead said, guys, I was botting. I'm yes. sorry. Yes, how, that's all how going. That would be, would, you, wouldn't that be the first step to, uh, you know, redemption? Like admitting that you did something wrong instead of lying about it. Instead of lying, it's kind of like saying, "Oh yeah, I didn't murder someone." Yeah, I just, uh, you know, um, you know, whatever. They, they just felt, the stairs. You, no, you just yeah. They just you make something. You use that. You lie, but with a lesser lie to try and like hide the truth, right? Okay, you've, what are you trying to find here? Wait, I'm surprised why you're so obsessed about it. What do you mean? No, no, no. Okay, okay. Is this? Do you not think if someone cheats in a competition, where everyone's trying, that's scummy? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, okay, and you know no they're cheating. Test. They got banned on stream. It's literally 100%, 100% true. It's not 100%. True. It is 100%. 100%. It is 100%. Nobody's been after Turbo ever. What, what are you linking right now? But I, okay, wait. Ziz, do you but it's Ziz? not 100%. I, I'm telling you it is 100%. Ziz, you're deflating like so hard, brother. D you, like, I'm telling you right now. I'm not. I've answered I'll, you okay. several times. No, no, it is. It is. This is okay, what do you, okay, if you have to quantify it as a percent, what percent do you think it is? Do you know, th do you know think no if there had been bandways for Turbad, the most prolific used program for Diablo, there would be thousands hmm. of posts complaining about getting banned for Turbad? Like this one? Check my uh, link in chat. Yeah, what do you mean? No one was banned. Where's, give, give us Hello? an example. This one, this one says otherwise. That's not real. This is, not, this is like Woody. This is like Woody. You're saying he got banned for doing bad, but he didn't actually get banned for it. He got banned for botting. That's this. That's, but, um, but we keep seeing we keep seeing people posting that you can get banned for it. We see a blue post saying but you nobody has been banned, and we see this thing saying many botters and Turbo Hood users were banned. So botters we have, have like banned, five, yes. six different five or six different sources oh, wait, saying Leviathan D three. Only you. Where is Leviathan? We need him. Where is Leviathan? We have a Blizzard employee who is in. Thing the Wait, only thing saying you can't is you. No, 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 no. I'm saying there would be evidence. There would be evidence of a bunch of people about is getting banned if they have been banned. Like the six things I just referenced? But you didn't link six links, Ziz. You didn't. You linked one post from a fucking Google. But you had the other ones there... open on your stream. Wait, what do you mean? I had, what other ones? People they're, they're, saying they're, they're, you they're can't get banned for it. They're saying they're asking. No, saying they're, well, they're, they're saying, saying. Like, you can get banned. Yes, you technically you can. can get banned for using auto hockey and playing Path of Excel. Has anyone been banned for using auto hockey and Path of Excel? Nobody has been banned for using auto hockey and playing Path of Excel. There's that you can just just theoretically you can just like you can get banned for using auto hockey and World of Warcraft. Nobody's been banned for doing that. The the fact of the matter is is if there was massive ban waves, okay, if there was massive ban waves, we would know about it. There is no bass of bandwaves of Turbo. But, but so you I can, you can provide, me an provide me an example. Provide me an example of a massive bandwave. Like literally just show me. Do you mean another one? Bro. Did, how you, many do we have to this, give? This, you're coping. You're, you're coping, brother. You, you, you're coping. This is crazy, dude. This is crazy. Wait, I'm showing you a video of someone who's getting banned. Like a live video of this guy getting banned. No one's ever been banned for Turbo. Nobody. Okay. Do you, do, you, do you believe me as a person? Like this is me as Quentin Crawford. Like the person who's known you of me in real life. I've talked to you. You believe me. As a person, do you think I would be lying right now for, for what to what to what end? Just to like uh, fucking talk shit about what you do? Like what? What am I gonna like be disingenuous and make up some shit about no one being meant for doing it? I literally played Diablo for five years straight. But I, I see more info about the fact that there are people getting meant for it. I just no, 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 I, no, no, no. I've told you so many times I'm not invested enough to care past the fact that I've seen several posts saying. That people are getting banned so, for it. So you, you, can, you can cherry pick and try to find like random things. What, is, what are you linking? What is this? You're ready to find 50? Uh, what is this? Some bullshit. But all I'm saying is I don't care enough more than what I've seen. Yeah, but do you... Okay, so... Okay, using this logic now. They spend so now, years so, okay, so, banning so, so, for okay, so the, Why would they the, stop now? The question is... The question is, is... Do you believe... Do you think now, at this current point in time, do you think that Woody Joe got banned for botting? And it's yes or no. Yes or no. Here. Everyone uses yes. a hot uh, no uh, my, my I used a bot once and got banned. I am, I am, I am literally. I've told you the facts. Uh, Nobody's I just banned started for Turbo Turbo Hud. I just started Turbo Hud and got a pop up after an update. After the update, I got this message: Your HWID is banned. Please contact customer service. Can somebody help me? I paid for Turbo Hud via PayPal. So we're seeing more and more of people saying they are getting banned for using this. When it went okay, no, no, no. Where, where, like, where? Dude? No, no. I, I guarantee you, they got banned for botting. I guarantee you. Okay, because you gotta understand, I every single person in the hardcore okay. community is running 
Uh, but how to, uh, many how many posts do I have to link you? Are you ever going to change you know, your mind? You know, you'll be a bandwave. Yes. Do you understand what a bandwave would look like? Do you understand what a bandwave looks like? It's like hundreds of posts of people going, Oh yeah, I got banned. I got banned too. I got banned too. Literally when Gabe Nader got banned. A lot they were, of boring math later. They were on Discord and they were like, Oh my God, I just got banned, bro. Oh my God, I just got banned as well, bro. Oh no, I got banned. There, okay, it's a bandwave. Trust me, if there was a two-bound uh -huh. bandwave, you would know it, it happened. It never happens this. It's never happened. It's, I swear to God. You, you it it just feels like at this point that there's nothing I can say or show you that will make you change your mind. So I think well, no, 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 no. You're, you're literally... Topic. Okay, okay. No, I'm not changing the topic, sis. I'm not changing the topic. I'm saying... I, okay, you, so I'm saying you as a person. Like, I was immersed in, within the Diablo community for five years straight. Playing that game degenerately. All the time. There's literal fucking Blizzard staff members. I could probably even have come on. If ever Blizzard staff member... If a current Blizzard staff member came ah. on right now and said... Two hours later... And said, and said, hey, you know what? I've changed my mind. Woody is the worst. You would, so you would agree with that. So wait, do you think Woody? Would you got banned? Absolutely. No, no, no. no Anything seriously. to get to Se the next topic. No, no. Seriously, seriously. No, 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 this is a logic thing, right? This is a logic thing. This is not like a. This is not like fucking whatever. This is just a logic thing. So it's seriously, do you think he got banned for botting? After I've told you, yes. Like me, as absolutely. A, you're, you're being yeah. sarcastic right now, Ziz. You're being sarcastic, which means Nothing you still don't understand. You. You're being sarcastic. What I'm saying, that's what I'm saying, right? I'm saying, me as a person, I'm telling you, do you believe me? Do you, do you, do you, what, 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 what is my ulterior motive? Not on this topic, no, not really. I don't know, but you seem quite obsessed. It's because I'm trying to get yes or no answer if you think, it's what, it seems like there's I'm, nothing up. No, I don't think so. I've seen more and more proof that he hasn't, than that he has. Oh my God. Oh my God, what are you linking right now? Like the more and more people are... The body tools of any kind are not permitted use. Yes, they're not permitted, but they're never banned for it. That's the point. Oh my god. Okay. Turbo high bandwave. Where, like, where, where's the bandwave? Like, anyone hear about a bandwave? Where, where's, like, this? Do you not think, do you not think that if there was a bandwave? Oh, wait, 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 wait. I'm confused. When Blizzard is a bandwave, does it say, like, you know, Zizzer in band, Turbo Hood, Zizzer in band, budding? Is they, that how they bandwaves are literally work? live. They are, they are, like, okay, like, Gabinator, when Gabinator got banned, for example, like, I mean, do you want to see what it looks like? This, I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, YouTube, uh, I'll show you what it looks like. Like, this is what it looks like, bro. Mm -hmm. It's like this. Gaby Nata Bands. Okay, this is what it looks like. Okay, I'll play the video so you can just um, mute me or whatever. Same, uh, same shit, by the way. Oh, I'm not ba I'm banned and I use nothing. Right, OP. Same, same, pretty much it's, it's very similar uh, to what Woody just said. It's a classic. Where does it say why he got banned? I just, this is a fucking ban message. They've only ever, they've only ever banned for botting. And uh, Reaper Souls 100%. Like, I swear on my fucking... Like, I swear I swear on you, Ziz. I swear on, I swear on my fucking... For, okay, from all my information I've seen and every experience I've had from the literal 10 to 15,000 hours of playing that game and, like, my in-depth knowledge of the game and in the workings of... Okay, there's zero, zero verified bans. Zero. And trust me, considering the fact that I was playing with people who were fucking... Uh, dude you couldn't make a group where people weren't using two-word. It was, it was fucking disgusting. Not a single one of those guys got banned. Do you know who got banned every time without fail? And do you know when they, they all got banned at the same time? Like, Gabe and Eddie got banned at the exact same time Would you got banned. They all, all the botters, guess what? The wave that hit him was when all the botters got banned because it was a botting ban wave, right? A botting ban wave, banning bom botters. This is okay. But wait, listen to what happens. You need to listen to this next part. Okay. Let's watch Fuck this. Bizarre, man. Fuck Blizzard, man. I don't know in a world like this. Just end it. I just got banned. On. Now be all cooked up. What now happened, Gabby? I got banned on, and I was using nothing this season. You got banned? Yeah. What? Wait, who got banned? What, well, Gabby got banned? Yeah. Are you fucking kidding me? What For did what? it say? Uh, card 52. What is that? Well, what the fuck does that mean? Like T-HUD or what? For a ban. No, I mean like for body. But what, yeah, what did the email say though? For what? Exploiting. I don't know. Wow. See how this other chick? Can you hear the chick kind of saying she just got banned as well? You, you hear that? Whoa. Whoa. No, I didn't hear that. Okay, well, basically, there's a bunch of them. They're all on a Discord, and there's a ban wave happening, and they're all getting banned because they're a bunch of fucking botting scumbag trash, right? Ruining the competitive spirit of the game, cheating for an advantage in a competition, right? Literal scum. Except, at least Gaby Nader. Look, you're running maybe Turbo. Okay, what is this? I said maybe Turbo because people like Woody Joe, because I, I thought Woody Joe may have been legit, but then I turned out that he wasn't legit, right? That's why I said this, because because uh, people literally lied about it. Because that was before I did. That's, that's, that's one of the things, right? That's the thing. 
as time went on, as time went on, I realized, wow, this is 100%. The guy's just full of shit. So, okay. That's what a ban wave looks like, right? They all get banned. He got banned when all the bottles get banned. There's zero. You cannot show me actual. Give, you, you cannot. You cannot show me a fucking screenshot of anyone during. Okay, I'm not gonna say like all of the Apple history. I'm gonna say Reaper of Souls. The entire Reaper of Souls expanded. You cannot show me a single screenshot of anyone getting banned for Turbo Because trust me, that never happened. And you can see here, this is what a ban wave looks like, right? They all get banned. They're on Discord. They're all going. I just got banned too. Oh my god. Because it's a ban wave. What they do? They do it in these things called waves, right? They're doing these things called waves. So, what's your main point here? You're like, I know that I do them on the so podcast, now, you're annoyed so now, that I work yeah. with them and stuff. Yeah, no, no, so at this point now, can, okay, at this point now, I'm just literally asking the question, do you think, at this point, now, after I've shown you the videos, you just little video from getting banned on the website, do you think Woody J got banned for botting? I don't. I, I mean, okay, okay. Is that okay? I mean, it's one of those things where, I, I don't know what, you, you, you're saying that, because why? I don't, I don't, that, that is, I mean, it's, 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 there's literal fucking ban waves of hundreds of people. We just watched a video of people getting mass banned for botting. We just saw that happening. There's fucking, there's a YouTube video of people getting banned live. What do you mean? It doesn't say reason or anything. They do, no, no, no. In, the, in their emails they do. In the emails they do. 100%. You could, you could find, I, again, I could sit here searching. I just didn't think you would even disagree with this. It fucking is blowing my mind. It's blowing my mind. I want to see what's blowing my mind is. I also, it's the fact that you care a lot more than I do. I no, no, no. I'm just asking you a basic question. I'm saying, is water and I'm like, just giving you I'm saying, I'm saying answer. like, it, it's what a, I'm asking some real questionable shit, right? Like some, I'm, I'm asking like, yo, is this thing red? You, you, Do you think the color me, red is red? If I, if I thought he was budding, would that be shitty? I said yes, if I thought he was budding. No, I don't asking, know for a I'm fact asking, that he was. I'm asking, do you I don't think, know how more clear I can be. I'm also well, no, saying I'm, I'm not that invested in it and I don't care about things a, that happened. It's irrelevant though. That's years a, ago I, I, when there's no proof. There is proof, there is proof. There's not been, but there's, there's no not, proof. The, what you're saying is there, proof there, isn't actual proof. There's, there's infinity evidence. There is infinity there's evidence not. of people getting banned there's for really banning. Not. There's literally YouTube videos we just watched of a whole fucking Discord clan getting banned for botting. How do whole... you know they're not being banned for Turbo HUD? Because literally no one has been banned for Turbo HUD ever. Literally nobody's but, is. Uh, I'm telling you, I swear on my fucking. I is... no, I, dude, because I can't provide you something that doesn't exist. If, I, if someone had been banned for Turbo HUD, because what? They'd have a fucking email and I could show you that. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, wait, yo, let's watch this video. Watch this. Let's watch this video. Hey guys, how's it going? I'm Pure in here. So, there has been a second ban wave, and a lot of you might have. Um, wait, 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 okay, for status, wait, do you think, do you think, um, wait, for status, do you think Imperian Gaming is a Diablo Andy? Do you think he knows about Diablo stuff? Oh, absolutely. Do you think he's a fucking game? Wait, are you being sarcastic again? Do you actually believe he actually knows a lot about Diablo and is a hardcore Diablo guy? I believe like, he was a Diablo before he switched to PoE. Yeah, wait, I hosted okay, him okay. on his first PoE stream. Okay, so do you think that... Wait, but what? Okay. So you think his, his opinion would carry weight. So do you think of Imperian Gaming, we got him in here and he told you, dude, no one's ever been banned for Turbo. Would you then change your mind? I'd love to see evidence. Like someone's saying okay, something yeah, yeah. doesn't really help. Oh, oh. Okay, yeah, all right. Hey okay. guys, how's it going? Imperian here. So... There has been a second ban wave, and a lot of you might have um, logged on to a similar screen here. And um, I'm gonna tell you what to do in this case. So, if you're like me and you're using OBS to project this overlay, then what you can do is just get rid of this, <laughs> and then you're fine. But if that's not an option for you, then that means that you've been using one of two software one of them is called Demon Buddy, and the other one is called Rossbot. Now, <clears throat> what you have to do in this case is that you're gonna have to purchase the game again. That is, assuming that you want to continue playing Diablo 3. You're gonna have to purchase the game again, and you can do that on the official Blizzard site, or you can do that on G2A.com using my 3% code. This entry. fucking guy, dude. Look at this G2A, dude. And then you're gonna have to install it again, probably. And then you're gonna have to play it without the use of these two. Oh, this this video. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Um, I believe this is after Woody Joe got banned, right? He's, he's basically calling out Woody Joe. He's calling Woody Joe a massive clown here.
basically that's what he's saying because mm. no one got banned for turbo because okay i want to be i want to okay i don't want to make an assumption here, but like let's be honest here. okay dude bro no okay this is i'm telling you this is you're being unhinged right now you're being delusional Nobody's I'm not being unhinged. I don't care as much. I care very no, 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 little. No, 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 no. Oh, wait, but then how come you can't answer a basic question? So after I prepared this video, you would like infinity I did answer. evidence. What's that? I did answer. Well, you, you're saying you're saying the opposite of what you're supposed to say. I'm not giving you the. <laughs> yeah, that's the problem. But why? I'm why? Not you're, the you're, being you you're being irrational. You're being illogical, right? You're being illogical. You're being illogical. You're being illogical. But like th this conversation never ends until I give the answer that you're happy with. Well, no, right? I was There's just, nothing no, I can say. No, no, no. Well, I mean, it's not that. It's not. No, no, no. It's not that. It's not that. It's 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 the fact that like I'm telling you, you can get Blizzard employees to come in and tell you. I, I, there's no. Oh, that, that would definitely convince me. If a Blizzard employee tells me nobody's going to be banned right. for Trouble Head, absolutely. Right, Leviathan, Leviathan, you have been summoned. Leviathan, absolutely. I'm summoning Leviathan. Come to come come to the Twitch chat. Leviathan is a Diablo Andy. He is a Giga Diablo Andy. He is the Ultra Diablo Andy. He's like, you know, Paragon 5000, 100%. And he uh, was the developer when this happened. No. Okay, so there's nothing I can do to convince you. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Okay, well, I'm just there shooting is. it. <laughs> okay, there's this. this. <laughs> what is this? Not my butt. What is this? It doesn't work well. Oh, no. <laughs> That's not my command, by the way. This is not my bot. Just saying. Podographers doesn't not belong to me. It doesn't work well. Jesus. Well, that's Christ like night bot. I, I, I don't even know. What, I have no bot. idea what he's. I have no idea what he's talking about. He's like he's not my bot. He's implying that he's another bot, right? Like. Chat bot. Was what do you? What's this guy keep going on about? Proof. What is this? Then we have math. We're gonna say blah 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 blah. No, no one's no one. This is one of those things where. The, this is not actually. It's one of those things where literally only people who got banned were botters. There's botters spitting. This is basically what you have is there's botters spreading fake misinformation with zero weight or validity. Okay, and then this right, and then this is everyone who's fucking uh, like you knows anything about the game ever. But it's not evidence. This is not it. Oh my, bro, 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 bro. Oh, bro. If he botted during a competition, that is really shitty, and I agree with you. Okay, but that's not, it's not if though, it's not if though, it's like, it's like, I don't understand how your perception is, based on the information you've got here, right? I don't understand how your perception, your perception, if I asked you the question, do you think, would you have got banned for botting, right? I don't understand how your perception, after everything you've been told and everything you understand now, right? I mean, basically, you think I'm mental then. I mean, I, it does come across as a little you think mental, I'm, you think, yeah, I'm, you think I'm straight up insane, you think I'm straight up insane, you think, I, like, you think, like, for some reason, like... I mean, I don't think there's anything in life that I care as much about as you do about this. No, 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 it's like, it's like, okay, so about what, so El Kaiser comes on here and says, like, hey, no, no one using Turbo HUD got banned, and then you get, I get, like, fucking, uh, impairing to come on, yeah, nobody got banned for Turbo HUD. Literally every single person who's played Diablo for, like, it's, I feel like getting the equivalent of every single PUE guy coming in and saying, you know, the same thing. You would still be like, nah, nah, he did, nah, definitely didn't get banned for botting. Two hours, three minutes, 45 seconds. Hold on. I think Booty addressed this in his latest Reddit AMA. We could watch that. Maybe that'll make us go to the next topic. Okay. Oh shit. Um, I think I'm linking it with the timestamp. So, you know, using Two hours, all kinds three of things. Minutes and 45 Although seconds. I have done some really big ban waves lately, so that's really cool. It's always enjoyable. First ban me. Yeah, right now there's no reason to ban me. So, what did I do? Yeah, back in the early days in the free RS, uh, the I mean it still exists. There's like a kind of like a map hack tool. And uh, back then, that was like uh, that was like literally everywhere. So at least on a higher end, you know, I was playing pretty high end, and it was like a really tight knit community. And uh, I felt really like peer pressured into using that because else, basically, no one would play with you. Did, did I mean? And um, yeah, I got banned eventually. And uh, does it even make more scummies is that he's still lying about it? Do you know think that's even if he's more? lying about it? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Wait, well, because he's, like, he's literally no one because there's there's. No one is being banned for Turbo HUD. No, like, nobody is being banned for Can we HUD. please just move on to another topic? Wait, okay, sis. So let me ask you the question. Wait, without you being sarcastic, without you being sarcastic, okay, do you believe Woody Joe, do you believe Woody Joe was banned for botting? Even if I say yes right now, you wouldn't even believe me. It doesn't even matter. <laughs> like, Wait, if I say yes right now, you think I'm just saying yes to go to the next topic. If I say no, 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 I mean, he must have, right? Because if he didn't, there's no way you would care about this enough for seven years. Hmm? 
Well, no, no, no. It's, this is this is gonna make the logic of like platforming. I'm actually hostage. This is gonna make the, this is gonna make the logic of like platforming people, right? This is like, uh, what? what this is this is just going back to like li literally just like the other whole thing of like, do you think it, you know the, the whole like platforming someone who's actually scummy, but if it's advantageous, do you, I mean it's it's like one of the things I'm going. This is link. Trust me, this does link into everything we're talking about. But you, it's just insane that you're just stuck on like. That, that's what I asked earlier. Is this linked to, like Emily? It's like, all linked. Do you this. think, do you think that cheating? Do you think cheating in a video game is as bad as promoting Emily? Do I think cheating in a video game is bad as promoting gambling? Uh, no, promoting gambling is far worse. Okay, cool, excellent. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> but it's got nothing to do with that, dude. What the fuck? But the same what everything is everything. No, no, no. Okay, okay, okay. All right. I mean, it says. I want to be honest. I want to be honest. I, I feel like you're not being. Um, I feel like you're being disingenuous. I, that's, that's. I'll be honest. That's what I feel is happening. It is what, like you, you're not. Yeah, you know, I think that's what I feel like. That's what's happening. I, I don't know because it's crazy to me that I'm saying t this these facts. Okay, you know, and, but, and it feels it feels like you just you, ask, I'm ask your chat if they feel like I'm being disingenuous. Ask your chat if they feel like I'm just not being real right now. Okay, chat. What do you guys think? Yeah, what what was this just said? No, 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 no. Um, if there was a bandwidth for Turbo, it would literally empty the leaderboard. It, uh, pretty much, yeah, everyone used it by three streamers who were just uh, cucks capturing their screen and so couldn't. Like, as says, I'm telling you, if there was a, I'm telling you, I, from the season fucking, well, actually, I don't know, season, whatever the fuck, I don't, who cares? Pretty much the entire. Like, you, you the, might actually be right. You might actually no, no, be right. No, 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 not this mine. It's not mine. Happen. It's not I, mine. It's I'm just mine. saying, I don't have enough proof. I don't know enough. I'm I wasn't I'm around. If you I was around. If I was around, I trust right you, then, I knew more. No, trust. I, tr uh, if I, I was trust around, you then about... I probably would know more about it, too. Yeah. All I have right now is all the posts that we've seen so far. They're not exactly 100%, are they? They're no, 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 no. The posts that we've been the seeing are 100%. Linking. The posts you're linking. I'm saying I don't feel no, 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 like no, no, I says, have enough says evidence. This is just you're if... spamming. I don't know. The, the post, I'm the post. Yeah, no, but that's what I'm saying. The post you're talking about, right? I just blew this. People saying, "Is it TWSU so bad?" And they're just saying, "Yes, it is TWSU so bad." That's like a, a guy also asking GG, saying he got banned for it. The, what, there's a guy saying he got banned for it with no screenshot or evidence or anything, right? It's just like some guy who got banned for botting who said he got banned for TWSU. It is. It's a touch thumbnail, but it is. It's deleted because it's so old. Like this isn't exactly a recent thing. Wait, I don't get it. Where's it? I don't. I'm, I'm really, really clean. I really want to know. That the point. The point that I'm making is, is that if you told me something about PoE that you know to be obviously true i trust you enough to like i would believe you if like without even i would just i would be like you know 100 like i just, just one of the things where i'm telling you i was immersed within diablo sphere immersed and i'm telling you it, like, i'm talking like you could you could not form a group without i'm telling you, you could not form a group in the top 1000 mm -hmm. right of a tryout players without some like without there being two bad users in the group and if they had done a band wave it would have been like decimate it would have been so obvious and so massive and it would have been a huge deal it never happened it's like it's like saying there was an apocalypse it's like saying no there was there was an apocalypse but no one knew about it and like no one ever saw it and it never happened I suppose from 2019 um, would you go we got banned in uh, 2015 yeah Oh, that's interesting. In, uh, yeah, like in the past okay there you go this is, oh, yeah, anyway, this, there you go so that's supposed well, that's supposed to be looked at right this is the exact post you were talking about Right, so so this is it. okay. So in the past, Turbo fell by the wayside and did not catch attention of the anti-cheat programs. Would you got banned in 2015? Right. Was this enough for conversation? Yeah, this from 2019. Yeah, that's better. Sure. Yeah. So anyway, he must have used it then. He must have used what? He must have bought it then. Yeah, he must have bought it. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Yo. Can we now oh! move on to the next post? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So now, okay. So did Woody Joe bought a Diablo three and get banned for it? I have no idea. So, Bro, he's literally typing to the fucking game producer saying in the past Turbo fell by the wayside and did not catch the attention of the anti cheat programs. And he got banned in 2015 mm -hmm. for what? Turbo Hard, which nobody ever got banned for. Okay, did Woodyo get banned for botting? Dude, like, you're, you're like, literally just gonna like, ah, just do this I until I it. say yes. I Absolutely, it. Quinn. No, don't give me a sarcastic answer! Holy shit! But I'm literally held How hostage here. How is he giving me a sarcastic answer, dude? I'm literally held hostage here. This is bad at this oh. point. Why is your simple question? It's a bit old, but I've answered it so many times and you refuse to take an answer. Something but I care a lot less about than you do. 
No, but it's, what do you mean? You this is insane to keep going on about. You just had a podcast with him, bro. You just had a podcast with him. He's literally... Yeah, as, I talked to a lot of people. He just did a... I talked to I, a lot of people that I disagree with on a lot of it's things. It's in your sphere. You say that you care about people who, who are in your sphere. If there was someone who was actively lying I about being a cheater... I said I care about things that are actively affecting me personally. Okay, okay. I, why can't you answer a simple question there, then? But I, but I have answered it so many times. I've been very consistent. The thing that I called out with Gazi was something that was affecting me personally. You're now trying to bring up something that happened seven years ago. This isn't something that happened yeah, two no, no, or three he just years ago. You, just, you literally just leave me an AMA where he was lying about it. If, so, if someone was lying about something, about cheat, so if someone cheated... Is in this a affecting me right now, yes or no? Is this, 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 okay, is uh, this affecting me right now? I'm, talk no, yes, yes I'm talking no. to you about it. Yes. <laughs> okay, ask this how big his cock is. How big is your cock is? Eight inches. Actually? Do you want me to show you? That's big. Oh, I measured my cock recently. Wait, a rank till flaccid. Why? I, if, I, if my dick was flaccid eight inches, I would pass out. If you pass, oh, yeah, so it's not, so erect. So eight inches erect. Yes. I can't do that. You being serious right now? I can't tell. You, actually? I have no idea in inches. It's 23 centimeters, whatever that is in inches. Bro, what the fuck? Wait, 23 cent? Wait, from the top of the shaft? Sure. Wait, stop like saying sure. I actually am interested now, bro, because. <laughs> Wait, what? Who are you so obsessed with my cock? You are hung, bro. Oh, 20, no. Okay, if you say 15 centimeters, I'd be like, nice. Cock. Have you seen my wife? <laughs> what does that mean? Seal what confirmed it. Seal confirmed it. Wait, the, wait, wait, wait. Un, no cap, 23 centimeters erect. Wow, I can't believe there were no follow up questions there. That was hilarious. <laughs> well, I mean, no, I don't, dude. That's crazy. Is um, it, isn't, I'm pretty sure like 18 is the average or something. But no, the average is like 14 or 15, bro. It's like oh, 14 cm. unfortunate. I need to see pictures. Can you show me the Xalcon? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will whip it out. I, 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 I'm, I'm, that is crazy. That, if you are serious right now, bro, like, I mean, dude, hey. I put money on it. You put money 23 cm. Oh. Wait, from, t so I'm looking like, so there's a cock, right? And there's under. <laughs> so, you, so you, you're not talking about from under the gooch out. You're talking about from the, the pelvis. From the top. So if you from got a ruler, so you got a ruler from like. How do you measure from under? Isn't that a disadvantage anyway? No, from under you can be like, oh yeah, it's like 25 centimeters, you know, because you're measuring from the sack. I'm talking like... Wait, but, yeah, but... So you're what? From here but then your ball so gets in the way and then it's shorter. From here. Yeah. What is Bro. this weirdest not podcast I've ever been on? You have an abnormally large dick, you know that, right? No, I don't. You do. That's an abnormally large cock. No, it isn't. You are far out of average. You are, you are like... I watched a show where they had two male porn actors and you have a bigger dick than them. And you ironically, body shame you for having a big dick. No, that's that's that thing is not that you should that's humongous, bro. Like, do you like pass out when that thing fills up with fucking like no? Wait, what did you have? What about the girth actually? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. If you get a skinny dick, or what are you talking What kind of what's the circumference looking like? Like, like that. Jesus fucking Christ. Jesus oh, you're Christ. obsessed with my dick. I'm scared of Exocon now. <laughs> I mean. Um, actually, you know what? You know what? Rice can actually confirm because I was basically naked, wasted in a bar, and he was helping me go to the bathroom. Wait, you had an erect cock, though? Wait, that no, a... but, like, you can tell. Wait, so you're... So you're wait, what? But you said eight inches. Okay, well, you, but you said people are growers and not... Well, show us and not growers, and other people are growers and not show us. So you've seen... Okay, holy shit. Holy shit, this. Jesus Christ. You, you, you realize you're in like the 99th percentile. This is a better size. topic, so. No, I'm not. Well, we, I no mean, way. To, be, to be fair, we didn't even really get to the the bottom of that last time. Oh I, my I mean, god, honest, I swear to god, I will fucking leave. I, yeah, I mean, I mean, it's one of the things. Hey, it is what it is. It is what it is. It is what it is. You know, hey, it is what it is. I mean, you know, hey, hey. Yo, what about that Mathel thing? Should we just watch the thing on cake.com with Mathel that we never watched that we were supposed to watch at the beginning? I like that. Okay. Yeah, the, I haven't seen the XQC reaction. I want to see the XQC reaction now. Um, wait, do you think it's worth watching the full VOD? Or is it just worth watching this clip? Just watch the clip, then we get a nice data context. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Here's my take then. If you wear a V-neck, like this, unironically... Wait, what? Okay. If you... Here's my take then. If you wear a V-neck, like this, unironically, you're a subhuman scumbag, disgusting piece of dog shit, and you look like garbage. And that's my fair take. And at that point... My my compass, my opinion is that, and I, I he has to respect it for being on the same level. He thinks gamba pushing is subhuman. I think V-neck is subhuman, and we're both equally right and wrong at the same time. Is it's an opinion? Therefore, both are valid.
Okay, that's hardcore. That's a hardcore take, brother. That's a hardcore take. That's All right. So, and you said, and you said you had a, uh, you had some, you've seen this and you know some shit about this. Like you've got, you've got a Ziz take on this. What's the Ziz take? Well, I just talked about it a lot on stream, right? That you have such an influence over your viewers, right? If somebody offers you a hundred million to go on a platform, that platform is backing on the fact that they're going to make at least one hundred and fifty million uh, off you in, in multiple ways, right? Like there's going to be like. Um, shock value of like bringing you over to the platform. You have so many viewers, like people that they're gonna have like gambling and stuff like that, right? And and it's mm. okay. Like I actually don't mind too much. Like I, I don't try to go after other people for like how they run their shit. But at that point, you probably don't care a lot about your viewers, right? You you're probably going for the whole like personal responsibility. Fuck everybody else. I'm responsible for myself. Um, like I feel like I am responsible so, wait, for what I bring on my stream. Hundred hundred mils is hundred mil. Kick go com. So, ironically says yo i will so, give you 100 mil you can and all you got to do is you can stream 30 mm -hmm. hours on kick you can also stream on twitch but just 30 hours on kick a week and so you can also the stream problem is twitch. right the, the important thing to note here if you're getting offered 100 million you're probably already quite comfortable right it's not like they're going in the street offering a homeless guy like hey will you come gamble on our platform for a hundred million if you are getting offered 100 million, you probably have somewhere in the vicinity already of 10 to 60 million. These aren't people that are struggling that are being offered this, right? Like when I got offered money on, on to go to Facebook, etc., like I at least already had a platform. I was making money, right? So it's not like you're being so offered wait, okay, this if you're on the street, poverty driven. If you're, on if the you're street, offering you're a homeless yeah. guy this deal, nobody's expecting that homeless guy not to take it. Mm. But this is people so that are poke, already you're doing, rich. This is the pokey main take. This is the, it's cringe if you're, it's, I believe it's shared words where it's cringe to basically take a deal if you're already rich, right? I guess that's more similar to my take, yeah. Yeah, it's like the, okay. Well, yeah, like yeah. you're selling out your viewers, right? And, and you could then argue like they have personal responsibility. Everybody's responsible for themselves. I like trying to look out for other people. Okay, you guys are saying I'm straw manning or something. Okay, what the f- Why are you guys on about, like, turning everything down some way? I'm not! This is Pokemon are basically saying the same thing, and I don't necessarily think Pokemon City was, uh, like, massively wrong. It was just what she said, right? It was- I think it should be easier to turn down things that are morally shady the more money you have. Here we go. Oh, uh, I want to play the Pokemon clip and see what you think about Pokemon's take here. No, and it's not because I got like ten million dollars. It's just because I'm good as I am. Why would I ha, 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 compromise my morals and ethics? She must have more than that. For more money when I have money, something about that is so cringe to me personally. Like I, I understand. Would you say it's cringe for XUC to take the kick deal? I don't think. Like I, I don't know why you would use the word cringe here. Um, I mean. I, I think you just said my take, or I think we have the same take. She's just worded it worse. <laughs> it's oh, that's fine. Oh, oh. And you know, if you if you need to make money, right? For, like, yeah. In my opinion, like the cringe. more money you make, the more money you have, the easier it should be, right? Like, for example, like we got offered, uh, and Vero can confirm this. Um, for the gauntlet, we got offered three hundred thousand dollars to advertise NFT stuff for the gauntlet. And that would be uh, $200,000 to the prize pool and $100,000 to us as organizers, right? That was very, very easy to turn down. I mean, that, right? it's easy because the optics of that would have been terrible and everyone would have shit on you as well. So, you know, yeah, even sure. even like morals aside entirely, just I feel like you wouldn't even, even if it was not morally wrong at all, I feel like you would still turn that down. Just if the optics were the same, right? Somehow. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. It's You're just right. a bad, like, any, anyone who's doing that like, fucking monkey the, head shit on Twitter is just a fucking clown, basically. The hardest, the hardest sponsorships for me to turn down is actually the gambling ones. Because I have a lot of people from PokerStars that like and watch my stream, and I used to gamble a lot. I love gambling for myself. But I don't want to advertise that on my stream because it is actually really bad. It is really easy to ruin your life on, right? Okay, so... It's actually easy to ruin your life on. Well, this is a, a company's hypothetical now. So let's. So you're saying if you were offered 100 mil, you would it would be different because you'd have more money. What if what if you would offer 100 mil, by the, the most realistic, the most realistic the, amount that I would be offered right now is five to ten million, right? Yeah, no, like, but I'm not saying it's that. Very saying... pointless. Hey, Quinn, would you like kill somebody for 33 trillion dollars? Right? That oh. that offer no, is no, probably no, no, never no, going no, to happen. No, it is. It is because it tests. It was testing logic. I'm. It tests logic. It's, 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 yeah, my logic's been pretty consistent. Yeah, so I'm not, well, that's what I'm saying, right? I just want to, I just fucking open a fucking, no, 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 no. 
Um, no, no, no. So, what I'm, so that's what I'm asking. That's why I want to ask the hypothetical. So if they were to <laughs> offer you 100 million, it's kick set, this is you right now, your current, you, your current setup, $100 million right now, 30 hours a week to stream on kick. Are you sure. taking that? Non-exclusive. Um, the, the... Non-exclusive. Yeah, 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 yeah. I get the question. So you're basically asking me, so if they're, and I'm going to go with the same logic I used before. If they are offering me 100 million, right? Then they have plans to make more than that off my audience, right? That, that's the only reason just somebody would offer you that money. Nobody's going to offer you that amount of money just for fun, just to do like a, a morality check. That's not going to happen, right? The only reason, like any amount you're getting offered, they will get that. So you you're misunderstand asking me, the point of am I happy? Is. No, you're not. You're just asking the question badly. You're asking me, I'm am not, I happy to take fuck? that amount of money off my viewers to promote something that I really, really disagree with that can easily ruin lives is what you're, you're asking me. There's, there's, no, no, I'm asking, I'm asking this. Okay, so, so there's people, venture, okay, there's people who exist who just like to fucking waste money and random shit because they find it fun, right? And I'm saying, so give me a hundred million dollars for no reason. Sure, I'll do that. $100 million, so no, no reason. $100 million to stream on kick for 30 hours. I'm just not asking. Like, no. with your current... No? I have so much money, Quinn. I, I am so rich. I have a house. I have a second house that I'm housing Steel Mage in. I have a wife. I have a kid. And I have two cats. I am one of the richest people on the planet. Easily. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Well, that's good. That's I, good. I love what I do for a living. It's so easy to turn down money. And the best thing is, I make money... And in a way, I'm very happy with. I still take sponsorships. I'm very open about it, too. I usually, like, for the people that are here that are in my chat, how often have people heard me specifically asked, hey, guys, this this company reached out for a sponsor. Do you have, What do you guys think about this? Is this good? Is this something I should try? Is this bad? So I'm so happy with the way I make money. Like, I make so much money right now. My goal in life, and I know this is like a lot of Americans might not like this because they're very anti-landlord. My goal in life is to make enough money to buy 10 houses. And until then, I'll care a lot about what I'm streaming, right? Because I want to make a lot of money, make sure I don't have to worry about money ever again for the rest of my life. That's my goal right now. Sweet. Um, what? Wait, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, no, sorry, 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 sorry. You keep going, keep going. Yeah, so, but I'm, I'm like... So right now, I'm very conscious about what I stream, right? So right now, the best thing I can stream for that is ARPGs and take sponsorships. But once I have those 10 houses, once I'm completely financially secure and I don't care about money at all, I also, I'm very bad at investments. I tried that. I halved my investment. Um, once I don't care about money at all, if I really want to play Tarkov's uh, or uh, Kerbal Space Program, then I can do that, right? Mm. And, and a guy in chat said, nobody turns down 100 million. What a liar. You're absolutely right. But that's also a completely unrealistic amount that I would be offered at my current size. And no, if no, I got offered 100 I'm million, saying, I, I, I would have so much more money. That's the whole point of the hypothetical, right? That's because I, 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 that's it's hypothetical. It's a stupid hypothetical. It is a stupid that's, hypothetical. That, that, why, how come you aren't able to engage it with hypothetical, sis? Uh, but that was the whole point of it. It's a, it's a thought I'll, experiment. I'll engage with realistic hypotheticals. What do you mean? The point of it? You go to a void and you remove things. But if and you, then you ask see, me just... right now, Scizorin, would you obliterate half the planet for immortality? I would click that button in a heartbeat. Oh, shit. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, Jesus. There we go, Zez. There. Hey, I like the unfiltered Zez. Hey, so wait, you would take that a mill then. So you would then? That's a hypothetical situation where your current situation. So you would? Because I mean, I'll be honest. I think about it. I'm like, yeah, 30 hours a week, and I can still stream on Twitch as well. I'm thinking out of You're getting that viewers. Are you getting that money off your viewers? No, 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 no. This is this hypothetical. You are though. We're, we're talking. We're talking like. Uh, we're talking. Here, we're talking here like that. They could be. So they could just be like. Uh, you know. It's crazy people just want to like they they understand they're doing this at a loss because they really want to secure me because they like my brand or whatever dude they're like it's like yo we need this guy hey 100 mil get him the fact is that there's not 100 mil of value in the viewers so you know it's one of those things where that won't, not, what won't happen right uh oh yo would you suck a dog's dick to save a bus full of kids no no definitely not i don't care <laughs> enough about people what? definitely not i don't what? care enough about people wait seriously fuck them kids fuck them kids wait no seriously though Fuck them kids. Wait, no, There's so many people on the planet, dude. Ten kids? Okay. Are you fucking serious? No, fi let's say fifteen. Fifteen children. Okay, fifteen children between the zero. age of I maybe maybe five. think about it at a zero. I'd have to Ten. know them personally. Wait, so you would just watch the so they in front of you. This dog's there. The dog's there. And it's a machine that's gonna like push them off the cliff <laughs> and they will all die. So These are not... the dumbest questions I've ever heard. What the fuck is a question? If my kid is if my kid is on the bus. Oh, you would. If your kid's on the bus. Yeah, but, but 15 other would. people. Uh, 15 other people, you Random would. people? No, fuck no. Fuck them kids. I would suck the dog's dick, bro. <laughs> I bet you would. 
I would say I would I do believe it. it. I would do it. It's not my problem. Like, I would want them to do it for me though. It's, it's <laughs> empathy. It's empathy. I, empathy. I would want them to. Yeah. If I was on the bus or my kid was on the bus, I would expect that person as a human, right, on the planet to do that. Because ultimately, temporary sacrifice to, to to you know keep these people alive. I feel like it's you know one of these things where it's. I don't know. There's so many of us, dude. There are so there's like over like eight or nine billion people now. Yeah, we're heading towards population collapse. So like a bus full of kids going past, you know. Hmm. Yeah, bro. But if you're there and you can see the human in the bus, they're like looking at you, bro. And you're like, please, Mister, suck the dog's dick. You're gonna die, please. And they're slowly getting put. They're slowly getting put out over this cliff, dude. This is the dumbest hypothetical I've ever heard. No, it's it's okay, so it's, dumb. Uh, so the question is how much you care about human life, dude. Uh, yeah, you yeah, yeah, no, fair enough. To be fair, that, oh I agree. I agree. There's, there's plenty of situations, though, is where, guess what? It's not. It won't happen in real life, and you won't need to think about that. But that, that's the point of a hypothetical. That's the reason they exist, which is why I would ask the, the, the kick thing. Which is I why think I guess, hypotheticals so you, that are completely unrealistic are entirely pointless. It was testing logic, though. It's testing logic to see where your values lie. Yeah, I mean, I don't like the idea of fucking over, like, people that watch me and have, like, got me to where I am today. When I'm already making a lot of money. Yeah. Probably. I think that's... I think... but and, and there's a lot of people that don't believe it. And I think that's a really sad thing, right? Because we're in 2023, and there's a lot of people that just straight up don't believe me. And that's because they see so little integrity that they don't know what it looks like when they see it. So this shit, I've been oh, very consistent oh, says, in seven years of streaming. There's people who, who would literally, unironically fucking murder a puppy for twenty thousand dollars right like there's people who would kill a human as long as they could get away with it guaranteed for one million they'd kill another one of the humans of the planet they just they'd murder and who's like healthy and everything mm -hmm. and ironically right so it's like you know for sure like it, so then it's like okay well based on that it's like you know that's that's one of these things where yeah but all i can control is about how i interact with the world how i deal with the world right and I, at the end of the day, I do care about things like that, so I want to be happy with how I've done things at the end of the day. Mm, yeah, no, I feel that. I feel that. It's relatable. That's why, that's why I'm asking these questions. I'm just trying to find out. Do you go over the cake for $100 million? I'm, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to find out what makes this tick. What I go to, okay. Would you go? Yeah, well, I like, so I like me right now. Questions. Would you go to cake for $100 million? Current situation, everything's the same? Like $100 million? And wait, how many mm -hmm. hours per week? And is it an exclusive? Non-exclusive. 30 hours a week. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Easily, I, would like, do that. I, I don't really judge other people what they do. Like, well, sometimes they do if it affects me. But like, what what would what would a hundred million change in your life right now, money wise? I would have no debt. Um, I could I could start up a uh, charity thing where I fucking I don't know. Just I find good causes and help you know spread good in the world. I feel like I could redistribute that wealth in a way that, uh, you know, I could make the world better than it was. You know, I could probably save a few lives here and there. I probably I would probably I would probably if I if I did that deal I probably, I would probably. If I was a, had a hundred million, I want to think that I would probably it, half of it, at least half of it, like fifty mil of it, would be charitable. The other fifty mil, I'd probably just do like cool, fun shit, right? Like just lots of fun, dumb shit, like you know. Like See, a, but like nearly everybody face. says that, but almost nobody that gets the money does that. Mm. Well, I've been doing a lot of charity stuff, so I mean, I don't know, it is what it is. Like this actions, mm -hmm. right? Actions. I feel like, it, yeah, no, not fifty percent. But then again, I've never had like uh, one of those things where I've, I've I've never been in a position where I'm not in debt, right? I've always had like. Right debt so if i had if i had massively amounts like you know if i had a ton of money to burn more than i could spend reasonably in a lifetime then yeah i'm gonna think okay do you know what let's actually fucking do some memes like that'd be fun that'd be fun as fuck right wouldn't that be no, fun wait, to spend I, I'm curious. 50 I don't know. million dollars like just helping people dude i i don't know if you're open about this but are you open about how much you make your year um i mean what yeah i've showed my, my bank account and everything so how much do you make a year i don't know how much i make a year oh okay that's fair. Yeah, I mean, I, I, uh, I guess I, like, I can actually... tell you my net worth is, though. Um, uh -huh. Okay, so I currently have uh, minus 1.5 million, 1.538 million. So, my, I mean, wait, can I show you this part without? You can see this my account. This is one, it says minus oh. 1.5 million, the TLD hours. Um, but then I own three properties. One property is worth right. 1.06 million. Um, the, okay, one one's worth 1.06 million, the other's worth 1.03 million, and one's worth 575k. So that puts me at like 2.57k worth of shit minus what's that? 2.5 minus 1.5. I've done the maths. One. So I have one million. My net my net worth. Well, then you add in. Then you could add in like I don't know 200k worth of like of all my equipment if I sold. I it would be more than that. My... I think my net worth is like 800 or 900 thousand dollars US. It's because I actually turned down like literally almost every sponsor, bro. Like, I, I, I that's mean, true. I definitely do more sponsors than you. Yeah, 
and I, and I and I'm I poorly monetize. And then mm -hmm. also yeah, there's a right. lot of expenses. But, but you must yeah. make so much of TTS. No. I mean, I don't think so. I mean, stability is how much I make. I don't know. It's, it's, it's not nowhere near as much as you'd imagine. You're going to say there's fees. And then yeah, there's, no. there's no, really not. Curious. And, I, and I just turn TTS off if I think it's going to make the stream even worse. Like, if I'm playing a game at all where I think it's going to make the stream slightly worse, even by like a percent, um, I'm going to turn it off. Is is instability the only mod you pay? Uh, no, I pay plenty of people who are mods that do stuff for me, but uh, uh, none of them I'm paying for being a mod. Like, I don't know, Dr. Frog's a mod and I pay him to do lots of coding stuff. DJ Teo's a mod. Mm -hmm. I pay him to do lots of coding stuff. Like lots, lots of, I pay him a fuck ton, dude. Uh, you know, Lolos yeah, is a I, mod. Yeah, I only have one mod I pay for being a mod. I, I don't pay anyone for being a mod, no. Right. Well, actually, to be fair, Instability does have... He has, like, like I guess he kind of does... I don't know if he counts any... I don't think he counts moderation as anything to do. I, he, he, there is no obligation for him whatsoever to moderate the channel yeah. at any point. Yeah, I mean, a lot of my mods turn down payment. Like, uh, both mine without him vouch. When you I offered, to, they You have to forcibly pay them. You have to forcibly, if they're trying to, uh, they basically you have to be like, no, fuck you. Fuck you, bitch. If well, someone's I, I pay a lot value, of other people. Yeah. Well, it's more the fact that they don't want to feel like they have to show up and stuff. I give them stuff now and again anyway. Bro, I modded one person and they said mm -hmm. having a mental, like, an ironic, like, like, mental health crisis breakdown because they felt like so obligated to be a mod. And I was like, holy yeah. shit, what? Like, that's crazy. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that was impossible yeah. to happen, but they, they felt like they were obligated, even though it's like, no, you just do whatever the fuck you want. Um, yeah. No, well, fake John, I'm not gonna say a mod. I'm not gonna say a mod, dude. I'm not gonna say a mod, dude. I'm not gonna say their fucking name. The Are point you surprised is, at how many large streamers don't pay their mods? I don't pay my mods. I don't, I don't okay, pay my mods. Like, yeah. I, I think it's finally fine to not though. pay your mods. No, no, no. Oh. I'm not. I'm not paying. No, no, I'm paying like I pay Lollis, uh, but he just because he does artwork for me and stuff. Uh, he, it's not. I don't pay him anything to be a mod. He doesn't do anything. He just. That's nothing. There is. I don't pay. In, in, I don't pay any mod. That's the thing. How many people do you actually pay to actually moderate your chat? They do nothing One. except moderate. One. Well, you actually pay someone who, d and they don't do anything mm -hmm. else. They don't like fucking make commands or fucking nope. set up sponsors shit. They just, mo okay, Jesus Christ. Full, How much? Full time moderator. How much? I can't remember if it's either 800 or 1,000 pound a month. For just moderating. Just moderating. What full time, fuck? always there when I'm there. I mean, that's, I mean don't get me wrong. I, I guess if he has a job where he can fucking work there, that's, I mean, that's crazy. That is crazy if you actually pay him to do I mean, that, I mean, I do believe you. At least you're saying it. I mean, that's crazy. I, 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 it's one of those things where I guess you must value his, um, you must have a, have a, what, an intuition that no one else has? Some sort of unique. He's just always there. It's good to have a mod that's always there. Well, he was going to watch me anyway all the time. I might as well pay him. To moderate. But you understand there's always moderate. people there. Like if you're streaming. There's also not that much to moderate in my chat. So it's a pretty breezy job. Yeah, well, right? this is fucking like, ridiculous. Why the fuck are you paying him? It doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. Because I, I wouldn't want him not to be there, and it helps him out in life. You wouldn't want him to. And not I can. Be. You wouldn't wait, wait, wait. So he, so he does like, bring something unique. You don't, then. you so don't there, have so to. Is, you don't. No, no. So he must bring something unique then. So he must be. He must be. Okay, okay. So, so he does have some sort of unique intuition that's there that other moderators don't have, which is why you don't want to lose that. So then you're paying them to. Yeah, it's always do there. there. But you, there's always, always people there though. If you're live streaming, inherently there's people there. Yeah, yeah. That's it. That's not, that's not unique. What I'm saying is that's they must like. He's always there. Like he'll like uh, even if it's like middle of the night and I'm like streaming at fucked up hours, he'll switch his sleeping pattern. Oh <laughs> wait, they can't stay up thirty hours. Yeah, yeah, he literally stays up for like <laughs> twenty hours. Plus. Hey, yo, you guys are getting scammed, bro. Bro, if he feels obligated, that's fucked up. I mean, fucked up. That's crazy. That guy's crazy. I'm gonna be honest. That person's crazy, bro. It's not like and I would ever be like, hey, you need to be here more. But I definitely I mean, want to pay him. If he changes his sleep schedule and shit for your legal on streams, that's fucking crazy. That's crazy, bro. That's crazy. But then, also, I mean, hey. So wait. Well, there's actually a lot of mods that do that for streamers, just most people aren't paid. What? Yeah. Well, no, but the thing is, most, I feel like most people don't, they, well, there's no expectation, but you're saying there is no expectation and you would just pay him regardless. No. So if he just started turning mm -hmm. up two hours a day, would you keep paying him? Oh, actually, that's kind of what's been happening at the moment because his sleeping schedule's fucked right now. So he hasn't been there all week. So if, it, if that happened for like so, how many months, if he, if he had like five months of just being there for two hours, would you stop paying him? I'd probably talk to him. It's just very easy to talk and communicate with people. Would, would you stop paying him? After, if he permanently can only come in two hours. If he couldn't yeah. work anymore, like if he couldn't do it anymore, I would probably stop paying him the same month. Yeah, that's crazy. That's pretty normal, no? Yeah, that's yeah, that's it's correct. It's crazy, this. I don't, I don't even understand logic. I don't. That's actually crazy. I, I don't even. I don't even understand it. I, it's crazy. Generally, anyone that I feel like contributes, I, I try to like offer the money, and then I talk to them and how much they want to be paid and stuff. Do you think it can cheapen a relationship though? If they, what if you offer them too little? I mean, like, wow, do you think I'm worth that much? It's like when I try to someone like uh. 
helps me out. I'm like, oh, dude, I want to gift you a sub. I'm like, no, dude, don't dirty the thing by gifting me a sub. I don't want, I don't want any payment. You know, like that kind of thing. Like, you dude, just I, communicate I, with people. If if somebody doesn't want to do something for a certain amount, then they just won't do it. They'll be like, sorry, that's not worth my time. <laughs> so you see what this time? It looks like when is legit logs is in a fucking green prison. Is it, <laughs> you in some sort of prison right now? Dude? I'm interrogating you, dude. Uh, oh, earlier, dude. yeah, a little bit. Oh shit! Hey, hey, that's crazy though. That's crazy. No, I just, I just would never. I, I, that's one of the things. Well, I, there's no, I have zero expectation for my mods, um, to be there at any point in time. So then I, because there's zero expectation, and they just are there, and they don't want to like. You know, I'll pay someone for doing something extracurricular, but I mean, it's one of the things where there's yeah. always, there's, I feel like there's always people who are down to mod and who want to mod, who enjoy modding. So then I'm just like, well, I'll just yeah. mod, you know, just, you know, as you need more mods, you just mod them. As you need, is there too many mods, you unmod some people? It's like a, it's like a camp, it's also you know. Like, I think this, this month is when we ban the most amount of people. And I think it's been 19 people or something banned this month. Shit. And I think that's the most I've ever banned in one month. Shit. What, like, but then do you, is that like perma, perma ban or is that, do they have redemption path? Oh, uh, I unban anyone that apologizes. Even racists that apologize? Um, so I unban, I have a list that I go on like a perma ban list. Like, there was one guy that came in that was the most toxic shit I've ever seen. He was like, well, it was while Helena was pregnant. He was like, oh, I hope your wife has a miscarriage. That guy's on, like, a permaban list that, like, never gets unbanned. Uh, but every year I do an unban all. Um, this because I feel like, so I, I used to be really toxic when I was younger. And I assume that anyone that anyone's being, like, really shitty, really toxic, etc. online, I assume that they're either really young or in a really bad place. Like, I was really toxic. I used to play Heroes on New Earth. I'm Hon Trash. Um, and, and I would be really, really toxic online because I felt like I had more control there and I was getting bullied really hard in real life. So I try to be a lot more patient with other people that are toxic. So I feel like a lot of people, if you give them a chance and talk to them, my mod, um, one of my mods was actually really toxic his first time in chat. So I feel like if you give people a chance, they like, most people aren't actually toxic. Right. There yeah, are people, people that are. Certainly. Oh, certainly. But the majority of people aren't toxic. Yeah, absolutely. Most people are actually nice people. Mm -hmm. I mean, the people are toxic. The people yeah. who are banned so, are literally a less than a percent. Yeah. So I, I like to give people second chances. I think most people, given the opportunity, I, I remember one guy came into my channel, started posting loads of slur. He was like, oh, you're gay. You're gay slur, gay slur, gay slur, etc. And I was like, dude, are you okay? And I was in a really good mood. Obviously, this is easier to do when I'm in a good mood, right? But I was in a really good mood, so I was like, dude, are you okay? Like, is your day all right? And he went silent. Came back, <clears throat> sorry, um, came back like 10 hours later, 12 hours later, he was like, this. I was really rude earlier for no reason. My dog just died. I was in a really bad place. Completely unacceptable. That, really that's sorry. a classic dog. me today. That dog died thing, by the way. Me today. Is, they just say that shit. That dog didn't actually die, though. I found that Not people always. say that. Mm. I've seen, do you know dog died Andy's I've had? Who say they, they'll blame it on something. A lot of people have pets. Pets don't live that long. I don't know, dude. The dog die Annie's a classic. Um, his dog probably didn't die. He would have been using that to okay, find but sympathy. That, but that's completely irrelevant too, right? It's just like shitty things happen in people's lives and not everybody has a healthy coping mechanism, right? Yeah, no, for it sure. Just, and if they say sorry and they and you believe they mean it, then for sure I agree. I'm banned. But wait, yeah. did he... I mean, wait, if, I I've ever, if I've ever banned somebody three times or more, they're probably perma-perma. What, with that guy? With that guy? Mm -hmm. Did you say you weren't gay? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm not okay. What if he's homophobic and he's just like, oh, fuck, I thought that guy, that stupid F slur was a, a, a F slur, and actually he's not, so actually I'm actually cool with him, you know? Um, yeah, that could happen. Absolutely. And actually, I so didn't actually, read that much into it. Yeah, well, because that's the thing, right? Because that could have been the whole, um, what, in terms of the, the gay thing, so obviously you have the Norwegian accent, but wait, are you gay at all? Like, if, is, like, do you find a dude attractive? Like, like uh, in terms of, like, um, sexually attractive? Like, you're just, like, Mathel. When you see Mathel, like, with a shirt off and he's, like, and sitting no, there. No, 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 no. Not Mathel. I, I definitely would be a little bit curious with Ryan Reynolds. Definitely. But other than that, no. <laughs> I think that's fair. Ryan Reynolds, he's an attractive specimen. There's no doubt about he's that. He's so funny, dude. <laughs> he's just so funny. Wait, so, you, so you're not at all. So you're completely straight then, but, like... Maybe if it was like, so even Maybe in another Ryan life, Reynolds. even in another life. Another life? <laughs> what are these hypotheticals again? Well, like, uh, I, guess, I mean, I think to myself, like, I'm I'm borderline, like, I'm borderline gay, but actually I think to myself, like, I, I, I feel like if I was raised in an environment where, I don't know, I had some really traumatic experience with a chick, and there was a hot dude who was really supportive, and he started like, you know, mm -hmm. and I feel like I could have been gay. I feel like there's mm -hmm. a chance, a non-zero chance I could have been gay. So you, you, th you think you, you, that could have been the case for you, or? Not at all entirely. No, I don't really find men attractive. Okay, all right. Well, but fuck. the thing is, like, 
A lot of people think I'm gay for there's a lot of reasons. Actually, somebody came into my stream and they said the reason they thought I was gay was because I'm too fucking happy, and straight people are miserable by default. Um, that's stupid. And it's also that's my stupid. voice is really <laughs> annoying and nasal, and a lot of people feel like that's a gay inflection because you know like a lot of movies like stereotype stereotype the way gay people talk. So to a lot of Americans, they feel like because my voice is nasal and annoying, it sounds gay. I'm also like very. I think it's nasal. I just don't no, no. care. It's the, it's, I think my it's voice the is very annoying. Most people hate my voice. It's the inflections. Well, it's because you sound right. um, dramatic. Like Original? you're adding a, you're adding a level like a range of emotion that chicks add. Like you know, like that. Right. It's like that. I don't know what you, like. It sounds less masculine, and then combine that with like yeah. a a manner like some sort of like you know, you just do like a classic like steel mage like soy like do some sort of soy emote in real life combined with that i i i, I, I don't get me wrong okay i'm not homophobic i like gay people i remember whenever i saw your shit first i was like oh, he's probably gay i thought i thought you're probably gay <laughs> so i get why people might think that yeah i mean i'm never surprised why people think that it's also a lot of people are, are very worried about what other people think about them right whereas something my dad drove home really early was what a real man is is somebody that doesn't care about what anyone else thinks unless you're hurting someone that's all you should care about. Do whatever the fuck makes you happy. Do whatever the fuck you want. That's it. Giga chat. Giga like, chat, dad. Boys cry. Like, and my dad didn't grow up in that type of environment. Like, my dad definitely grew up with more like, you shouldn't be super open with your feelings and stuff. But like, when I was really upset and stuff, my dad would hold me crying and was like, is there anything I can do? Is there anything you want? Do you just want to cry? Um, but he would, I, I've never really heard my dad talk about feelings. But he's made it okay for me, right? So. Mm. Well, I mean, there's a there's a there's a massive um, in New Zealand specifically, young men, uh, and they are kind of to do with toxic masculinity. It's like fucking mm -hmm. a lot of lot of dudes can't process their feelings probably, and they they suicide. Yeah. Which is, so that's like, yeah, yeah. A lot of my a lot of my friends that I I like have here have like had a hard time where their parents would like, you know, be very like boys don't cry, boys rub some dirt on it. I didn't have to grow up with that. Right, so yeah, and no, like two I, people I have like people, in my people in my yeah, killed themselves. And yeah, and, and it was, like it's, and it's, it's a really like, big problem. Know. It's a really big problem, and I have like uh, people that I used to hang out with and stuff that I would go out with. Like I remember one time I went to a bar and I ordered cocktails, and one guy was like, "Oh, that's gay, that's gay, bro. It's a pink cocktails for girls, bro." And actually, surprisingly, every other dude of that group was like, "What the fuck, bro? I love cocktails too." Everybody else ordered a cocktail. Uh, and he was like kind of shut down, that guy's but like a that's clown. also that guy's, yeah, that guy's a fucking right. Clown. Yeah, I, I, I hate people who do that. Cocktails. Fuck people like that, right? dude. Fuck those guys. Yeah, some and, shit and that it's everyone very, likes. Very common. Yeah, and they fucking try and like gatekeep some shit, and it's like everyone yeah. likes that shit. Fuck you, the fucking fuck that guy, bro. You should have fucked. Me. Oh shit, brother. Yeah, so it's like that that stuff. That's that. There is where the word cringe should be used. But yeah, I don't know. I'm never really worried about stuff like that. And and even if somebody thinks I'm gay. Which is like, there's definitely people in your chat still that are convinced that I'm gay, right? Even if I have a wife, even if I have a kid, like gay, they don't care, right? They're like, convinced suppressed gayness. that I'm gay. But does that really affect me? Like, what does it matter to me if they think I'm gay? At well, what, what point the, does that affect me? Well, what if that guy that you fucking unbanned, he, he actually just was like, oh, wait, he's actually not gay. No, no, I don't need to hate him. And he's out there, like, dog whistling about, like, being homophobic in your chat. And he's out there. For, I, was, I would check up on that guy. I, I would go through often. Cause I ban someone for racism, and then they, oh, um, they'll say sorry, unban them, and they'll go back and check the suspicious users logs, and as you see, they'll do really subtle hints, and right. it's like, wait, they're being racist again, bang, you, you fuck them up, right? And, and just it's ban like, them. It's that easy. Yeah, it's they, like, they, I, 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 I remember my chat goes a lot slower than yours. I read every single line almost, unless I'm doing something like important. Fuck these, fuck these yappers, dude. Fuck these fucking yappers. Much, yappers. It's fucking oh. yeah, yeah. Oh, it's, 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 it's 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 crypt. No, crypt going like this, bro. This this is fucking yeah. like that is some dog. That is a fucking dog shit I see my bro. Like, oh yo, fuck you, fuck you, bitch. Honk honk. Delete that fucking Dono clip, brother. Who? It's that's like who is playing that one? How, yo, Leviathan's in chat right now, bro. Oh my god, I just seen Leviathan in chat. No, right I now, swear man. we're not going back to this. I'm gonna go to the toilet. Okay. I started streaming in 2015. When did you start streaming? Um, uh, <laughs> nine years ago. No, I want to say what was that? Oh, wait, was that nine? Wait, what nine? Yeah, two thousand. Wait, two thousand. Yeah, nine. I think nine years ago, maybe ten. That's crazy. Two thousand fourteen. Was that be like one year before you then? Yeah. yeah. It's sad, dude. I'm not even. I'm like people think I've been streaming for ages, but then I'm not even like counted as one of like the OG streamers. Whoa. 
I'm not even in the. the, the I don't even. I don't even get to like. I don't even get the, the well, OG like. Oh, this guy was. So, yeah. A lot of the OGs are like ten or eleven years, though, right? Like dance gaming and lyric, they are like eleven years. That is a lot more than nine. Yeah. Because I'm a, I'm on like I'm I'm almost at eight. Eight years. Yeah. Well, I mean, basically, it's all I mean, like when we're both streaming for twenty years. Well, how long are you gonna keep streaming for? Mm -hmm. Is it's a hard question. I mean, it's, it's hard to tell the future, right? Like, I, I, if, as long as I keep enjoying it, I definitely don't want to keep. Like, my dad works. At, like, he still works. He's retired and now works where he used to work for fun. And I, I hopefully, I am at that point where I just like want to keep doing it. I would select games differently, probably, and do less. But yeah, I don't know. I, I love talking to people, so I can see myself doing it for like loads of years. Do you? Do you? What do you foresee in the? Like, what do you? What do you see streaming in ten years from now? Oh, I have no idea. That's why I think like being on multiple platforms is important. Like it's important to grow your Twitter. It's important to grow your YouTube and Twitch. Like don't just do one platform. So I've been pushing YouTube really hard, especially like this Pee Wee League Star. I was going ham. I was actually doing almost more on YouTube than I was on Twitch. I was doing three videos per day. You're, you're hard. Um, it was exhausting. But oh, you even get people it, to come on and make guides, and then you put it on your channel. Like that's fucking. Yeah. It's like. <laughs> It's, it's been like it's been really up. nice. It's been really nice because it's usually smaller streamers, so it's like a very very mutually beneficial thing. And people have been asking like, "Hey, can we do that again?" I saw a lot of growth for my channel, and I get growth for my YouTube, so it's like very mutually beneficial. Um, and then they're using like the systems that I build for making guides and stuff with the step by step uh, leveling guide and stuff. So I don't know I've been very very enjoying that. I think honestly that's what um, I, I saw a few like Spanish streamers talking about it about why like Western Twitch is doing worse than um spanish like because like on twitch spanish french and german are like the biggest streamers right all the biggest streamers on twitch are spanish french and german and it's because they hype each other up so much more right and the, I, I can't remember if it was e by another spanish streamer that talked about it but he was like a lot of the western streamers are like these are my viewers right don't want to share them don't want to do that much collaboration and stuff because they're my viewers right whereas if you hear the spanish streamers talk about people they're like yeah this guy he's doing the fucking sickest event this saturday you should so check him out right they're all hyping each other up the cum swap well, i mean there's they're they're uh it's mutually beneficial right that's so yeah, yeah yeah it's like your podcast so like, your podcast dude yeah so, I've noticed. Uh, have you noticed like, that you you happen to do the podcast with like that? You find like pretty much whatever game category you're in, you generally end up doing a podcast with like the top mm -hmm. four creators in that category. Yeah, absolutely. Which like, is like the a, more a, you can do with random. other people, the better, and even smaller creators as well is huge. Well, okay, Matho. If Matho. Okay, let's just have. Let me have. I'm gonna ask this question. This, okay, this is. Okay, by the way, you don't like hypotheticals. You hate hypotheticals. But this is another hypothetical. I'm just again. You don't, don't like try and like be like, well, this is technically not realistic or anything. Okay. If Mathel okay. has average CCBs were 100, if he was, ha he, he has average CCBs were 100, every, and he streamed the same amount he does currently and all that shit, would he be on the Stalling podcast? Uh, most likely not, right? Like, we, we, <laughs> we've true. Been, like, most of the really yeah. big ones, it's really good reach. God damn right. Yo, that's, that's based. I like that when you say that shit. That's badass. He wouldn't, would he? Fuck yeah. But I, but I do other podcasts with other people too, right? I've done a lot of podcasts and a lot of content with people that have as little as 30 viewers, right? Yeah, I've done on like, so many podcasts. I've got yeah, on yeah. people's first podcast and stuff of people that have literally no viewer base already. I don't think I've ever said no to a podcast. That's, I mean, you're the ultimate fucking network king, brother. You're the network king. Like that's, I mean, that's it's honestly, like, I, the, I, I remember how, what mentality, cause I have a fucking thing, right? I'm doing like, for example, I'm doing all these things where I talk to people. I have a rule where I'm like, I don't want to be a fucking leech ass bitch, right? I don't want to be, that's that's why I think to myself. I don't want to be some fucking leech bitch because I fucking, uh, I, you know, I, I, that's why I think to myself. And then I'm mm -hmm. like, but as long as I ask someone who's like a smaller creator than I am, it's fine. It's ethical, right? Because it's like, well, it's also like, as long as you're adding them. something, you need to be adding something, right? Because like, even if you're a smaller creator, you can add something. Like uh, a great example was like people that used to watch like lyrics old streams, right? He would be playing with smaller creators, but those those smaller creators. They were obviously benefiting from playing with him, but they added a shit ton to his stream, right? And they, there's probably loads of people in chat that can give loads of examples of people that have had played with smaller creators, where the smaller creators are adding a lot to the stream, right? So it's it's kind of, yeah, it can be leechy if you're like specifically trying to um, play with larger creators and stuff just to grow. And and a lot of the time that is like the main reason. But how do you, but as long how do you, you not... Adding something to them. Okay, but like, okay, how do you, how do you not like... 
I don't know. Like, for example, I'll invite, like, uh, you, I've just invited, uh, I talked to Alkaza. I don't know, I haven't talked to Alkaza in, like, fucking eight years or something, right? Mm -hmm. Whatever. But I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't even, I wouldn't, I wouldn't invite Asmi Golem, because I don't want to be some leech bitch. That's what I think to myself. I'm like, I don't want to be some leech ass bitch. I don't want to invite Asmi Golem. But you're giving but, him content. But if he invites me to his thing, I'm like, oh, yeah, that's ethical, because, you know, whatever. It's, you know, whatever, that's ethical. He wants me to come on his thing. Hey, I'll go on. But you're you're also like you're not even that far apart in size, right? From his old channel, ah, like his main well, channel, no, no, no. sure. There's, there's, there's an entire echelon higher. There's like there's like a there's like two tiers higher, right? There's like the giga giga ultra guys. Then there's like the T, whatever you would call them, like T1, like Asmongold, Gold, they seal them. And then there's like the 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 people like the what do you call them? The B plus streamers. The, the, right. You know. I see what you mean, but I feel like as long as you're adding something, it's fine. I don't think it would be leechy for you to do a, a talk like this with Asmin, right? It would be really interesting. It would add a lot of content. It would be fucking probably torture at some point, but like really good conversation. <laughs> oh, shit. Right? But okay, it does so what it's all about. And the reason, wait, like, how am I reason, adding it? Wait, how am I adding Val? How's him coming? Well, I mean, don't wrong. Obviously, it's like there's a bunch of people will see him and then then be like, oh, I like this guy. And then they'll go watch his shit, right? Just like people who haven't seen you for extended periods of time will be like, do you want this guy? Fucking saying some basic fuck shit. I might actually follow the stream. The, the, biggest, the biggest growth factor you will ever have on any platform, pretty much ever, will always be word of mouth. No matter what, right? Like, just one person, just one person finding your stream what if he tells 10 people about your stream and they 10 people tell 100 people? Like, it's huge. Like, word of mouth is so big. Yeah. And and the thing is, the reason why I'm so happy to promote other people, the reason why I, I generally never say no to podcasts, even if they're a lot smaller than me, is because, oh, but, I mean, but for the been... most part, especially for Twitch streamers, this is slightly different from YouTubers, but especially for Twitch streamers, other streamers aren't competition in the direct sense, right? Yeah, but you're Netflix not releasing. Is. Well, but you're not releasing real your life guides. activities. Is Sports you're not releasing. I get what you're saying, but you're not releasing your guides on Gazzy's channel, right? People are releasing their guides on your channel, and like, you're inviting the biggest creators to your channel. Like you're not. I, I would do collabs know. like that on other people's channel, and I've done podcasts that have been exclusively on other people's channels. I would do the same. If people. But you would you would exclusively post as this guide, a PoE guide, to someone else's channel, like like, as, yeah, like your 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 ED like uh, build, the this TM. Yeah, I would try that. If it's not beneficial, I wouldn't continue doing it. Okay, so wait. Oh, so you're saying if it had more reach, you would do it, but not... Yeah, like, it could end up being a really good thing. The, the stuff I'm doing right now with other creators is very mutually beneficial, right? That's the important thing. It does need to be mutually beneficial. If, if not, you're probably not going to continue doing something. You're not going to do something continuously at a detriment to yourself. Um, There's no sense in that. Yeah, well, no, no, no. You're not going to do part, something I'm that's saying, actively bad yeah, for yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get what you're saying, but then it's like... You are min maxing, right? You are, there, there's a reason why you randomly invite the top no, biggest guys. Of course, I'm min maxing. I'm a business. You're, you're like, you're like, it's like, uh, like, oh shit, randomly we just happen to have like the top, the top guys in the book. It was just like, don't worry, I get it. And you say, yeah, you, that is the case. But there, right? but there are also sometimes people that are maybe in the 300 to a thousand viewer category. Like maybe there would be somebody else that would be better for reach. But you also don't want everybody agreeing with each other on a podcast, right? That's the worst thing I don't know about you, but I fucking hate when I'm watching podcasts and everybody just agrees with each other. It's part of the main reason. Even if you were like a 1k Andy or a 1.5k, you still have a decent reach. I would definitely want you on podcast because you have such fucking insane takes that it keeps it interesting, right? <laughs> that your takes are so fucking insane half the time that it really mixes it up. Okay, like, I wouldn't want four sure. people that like steal me on a podcast with me because then we would all be so similar, right? That is a classic, dude. What the but if I was a 50 viewer, Andy, you wouldn't. Uh, I wouldn't be. But 1k. No, probably there's, not. There's a threshold. There's a threshold. Okay. Well, so, okay. Yeah. But no, I, I totally get it, and I, it's true, uh, you know, it's, you know, based networking. But I still, I guess, okay, so wait, so you, so I, the only way I would justify inviting someone on my podcast is I have to imagine that I'm somehow adding more value to them. Is it mutually beneficial for everybody? You don't have to add more value, but it has to be beneficial, right? Well, what about... What I, about I think that's a fair... What about those 50, uh, what about the fucking 50 viewer Andy, then asking the, the fucking... The, the excuse you to come on for a podcast. Yeah, they're probably going to get a no. Because that probably okay. doesn't add anything to him, right? Is it, see, no, is it like a, there's that, like a ratio. But, but, like but a ratio. Yeah, well, there's a ratio, but also, it depends, right? People could be interesting in another way. Like, hey, I don't have a big viewership, but I do this for a living, right? Like, I'm a lawyer, or I'm a doctor, 
or I was on this. I was in this movie. I was in this crazy show. Like you can, you can contribute in it's other content. ways than just your share size, right? The, the value. You can just be really, really. Yeah. Why did I think old content window? Right. So they got good content. What you're saying? Exactly. Right. It has they to be mutually good. beneficial. It has to be good content for your viewers. I think that's fair. I think that's what makes the most sense. Like your main thing at the uh, at the end of the day, your job is to like continue growing your stream and provide good content for the people watching you. Well, it would be insane content if I got like the number one streamer to go on my stream, right? Because they're clearly crazy. But then I'd be a massive. You know, no, but you are like, at I the would be size. Me being like they that they, they are way it's disproportionately. Uh... No, 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 no. But but you are you are okay. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Okay, look at it this way, right? Let's say that, uh, let's say, how many viewers does XTC have? Like 80,000? Uh, yes, I don't know, dude. Okay, yeah. Okay, so let's say, let's say XTC does a, um, XTC does a, a podcast like this with you. And then the the next six days, just podcast with other people, same size as you, right? Like anywhere from like 15 to 20K. And out of that, suddenly, during that week, now an additional 20K people maybe know about him. Maybe more. That's, mm -hmm. that's pretty big. Mm, it adds up. Mm, you see it? I see what you're saying, but yeah, okay. So, so you're saying it's just a ratio. So the ra the ratio to you was like, t what, two to t Well, the ratio yeah, to me is just if it's good content or not. Yeah, like, okay. It doesn't always well, have to be just ratio. about viewership. But a lot of streamers are most of the time, they don't have anything interesting other than being a streamer, right? Jesus It's Christ. not like, there's not that many streamers that are also... Andy's, dude. Streamer there's not that many streamers that are also like a super professional lawyer working in New York for a big law firm. Mm. For example, mm. Wait, it's funny about usually the most of the larger streamers, like, yeah. I know there's a lot of people who own guns in America, which is content, right? Because right, I, you know, because I did the content window, and that seems to be like that's all the viewers. That was very that's... random. <laughs> that was so random. <laughs> what? <laughs> We're talking about. <laughs> I was thinking about. <laughs> Yeah, you're right. You're right. Okay, to be fair, I won't change the subject now anyway. Because like, I'm gonna be honest, this is getting kind of streamer Andy. I, this is getting kind of like, uh, you know, this is certainly getting kind of like, because ultimately no one cares. I, don't you hate it when you fucking tune into a fucking podcast and they're just talking about like streamer shit? A bunch of streamers being fucking, they're being like, oh my god, content, <laughs> fucking whatever. Like, but yeah, no, I just yeah, fair enough. Not a, wait, has no idea. I mean, wait, what? You go? I find it interesting. Well, you're a streamer, so then, yeah, but that means you gotta exactly. be aware. You I gotta can't be, talk gotta, about what other people want. You gotta be, you gotta be, yeah, you gotta pretend to be like a viewer. You gotta imagine you're still mage. You just somehow, I don't know how the fuck that is watching so many people's streams and also streaming. He genuinely loves watching streams. He watches so much. All right, who doesn't? But then it's like, uh, you know, you had that free time to do that, which is fucking crazy. Wait, what's your net worth? Yeah. What? What's your net worth? Wait, I already answered you earlier, but like 800k, 900k? 800k, 900k. Wait, USD. Uh, EUs? What is that? USD. Oh shit! USD. I'm looking. My was in NZD, by the way. No You have, shot. A, high, you, you have a high net worth right. of me. You have a high net worth of me. Right. I, I'm literally still like 600k uh, USD net worth. That can't be right. That's that is right. I, bro, I, okay. Do you know how many sponsorships I've done this year? No, how many? Uh, one. I did last Epoch sponsorship. Yeah, I mean sponsorships. Wait, wait. Did I, was, there, was there another one? Wait, was there another one? Just in case. Uh, to make sure, make sure this ability. I was on. I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure I did one. Just one. Well, how many did you do? Um, this year. Yeah. Uh, I usually do around one per month on average. So probably five or six this year already. Jesus fucking Christ, is what the fuck? I need yo. I need to fucking log in. To be fair, I am actually logging in. Okay, fuck. I know, what, dude. We're not talking about streamer any shit again. God damn it! I was gonna talk about small ship shit again. No. Okay. Uh, all right, topics. No, 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 I'm actually curious. So when, when you were paid by a sponsor, do you have a hard time shitting on them? Uh, do I have a hard time shitting them? Uh, no, I just won't accept the sponsor. I, the, the, what I do is I just do not accept a sponsor for something that I... Basically, it has to perfectly line up. It needs to be something that I'd already be doing in the first place, right? So it was a game I was already going to try out or whatever. And now that you understand this mentality shift happened after I played a mobile game um, right. called Lineage. And I was sponsored to do that because oh. all the World of Warcraft streamers were sponsored to do it. And I had like this, this awful PTSD. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I'm not kidding. It was just terrible. It was like, dude, the game. Well, imagine sitting there and playing a game, and you're like, dude, this game is literal trash. And you have to like promote. You have to like go in, and one of the things was like, you have to talk about like you have to do like talking points on like going into the shop and like, oh, you know, showing people how to buy stuff from the shop. And it was like, I usually uh, don't do talking points. Well, yeah, I didn't know this. This is like my, one of my first monsters, like one of my proper first, like. Yeah. Like, so you know. I'm I'm very like I I um negotiate a lot. 
I usually don't have talking points. I have. I make sure there's no non disparagement agreement. I lose a lot of sponsorships due to that. Mm. But yeah. Yeah, no, I see what you're saying. Yeah, well, yeah. I mean, dude, I remember having this sinking gut in my feeling, bro, doing it. I was like, this is awful, and I hate this. And I feel like yeah. a paid actor. Because I was a paid actor. Well, I mean, but yeah, it was like, you know, was, I, I couldn't even sleep that night. I couldn't even, I couldn't even sleep. And after that, I was like, nah. It was like, it was like I watched my dog die like three times. It's, that's how this, the feeling yeah. I was described. No, it was, it, it it was is, terrible. It was rough. Yeah. Like, we imagine your dog died. And, ask for more. and then two hours later, your dog dies again. And then two hours later, your dog dies again. That's what I'm talking to this. Like, yeah, so I, I don't take, uh, I, I generally have a zero tolerance of mobile games. Like, I don't take any unless. They have a really, really good crossplay. Like I did try it on December. I don't, did you try it? No. Right. So that didn't feel as much like a mobile game. Although I roasted that pretty I, hard because their multi station was all mega lol. Uh, well, well, I, basically what it does is I, someone goes in and they look at the monetization and if it looks uh, predatory, we just say no. Right. Yeah, that's like, fair. Yeah. And, and then if it's not going to be, and it's like one of those things where, to be fair, people were telling me to play it and I was considering it. And then uh, whenever they, whenever like there was like two things of research done, it was like, oh yeah, no, this is predatory. Um, yeah. But yeah, there was, but that's a game why I don't get any sponsors, Sag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm no, looking to fair. get stuff like mutually beneficial stuff, like Omega 3 sponsorships, you know? Or it's, it's fucking like um, Omega 3, yes. Or like Vitamin D supplement sponsorships. Wait, oh. what? We said just on December they pulled out because of your ban. Okay, whatever instability says. That's probably true. That's fair. Wait, what was the one that you said? Wait, what was the one you said? No, it's got dog shit monetization. Don't do it. What was that one? Wait, is that one not bad then? No, it, it is. Was it Torchlight that we said no to? Torchlight because gacha pits. Okay, so we said, okay, well, that no, was... The, I, I the gacha I, pits are still a problem, but it used to be worse than that. That's what I was roasting super hard for. I still roast them for the gacha pits. Well, that's why we said no to that sponsorship as well, because whatever. Yeah, yeah. So, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't, you're going to say, I don't do any of this research, bro. It's, it's simply yeah, yeah. does the research, and then he just says, like, mm -hmm. yes or no. And then, you know, okay, and then that's how that's how, pretty much how we operate. Again, it's why, yeah, it's a hard life yeah. out here, bro. It's a hard life. It's a hard life. Yeah, I don't know. That's why I'm listening. That's why I'm listening. I love negotiating sponsorships and stuff. You love negotiating sponsorships. You're crazy, Zeus. It's so fun. I don't do that much myself anymore. Not as much because now I'm like with Mythic. But I still do some myself. And that's fun. Uh, to be fair, I heard about those Mythic guys. You know, I may uh, may not be uh, looking at uh, signing up with them. What do you what do you what do you uh, think? What do you think about Mythic? What you take they on are Mythic? amazing. They've got me. So basically, the problem for me, like, I love negotiating for myself. And like, this is funny, right? Because you're talking about ad budgets. So they're like, oh, we can offer you 3K an hour. And I'm like, five um, and shit like that. But they're, they're, I wanted somebody that could like headhunt things for me, right? Where I could be like, hey, can can we get a sponsor for this? Or I've heard people are getting sponsored by this, etc. cetera. Um, so that was really good. And like now for going to New Zealand, I was like, hey, can I somehow get a laptop for going to New Zealand? And they're like, on it day later like the same stream actually like i was still live they were like what about this laptop and i i linked it to my viewers people were like is this a good laptop should we get sponsored by this for the new zealand trip my viewers were like no this is dog shit find another one and then they were like okay we'll try something else and then they came back a little bit later they linked a new laptop they were like should we get sponsored by this and i linked to my viewers and they're like yeah this is great get that one and then I'm, they're like okay you have to do like a social post you have to talk about it on a stream and laptops yours and i was like okay cool deal let's do it Oh shit. Okay, streaming talk. Yeah, the yapping stream talk. To be fair, yeah, I feel. I feel. Mm -hmm. Okay, wait. Speaking of New Zealand, so wait. What is your what is your exile con plans, bro? What's your exile con? What's your what's your ex what are you doing for exile con? I have no plans right now. We get there. I think we fly out like the 18th or 19th, and we fly home like the 7th of August. So I'm there for quite a while. Um, we definitely we plan to go to Steels in Australia for two or three days. But I haven't even oh, gone there yet. You're going to Steel Majors. You're going to Australia to visit fucking. Wait, what the hell? Mm -hmm. Oh shit, okay. Yeah, he was like, if anyone wants to come with me, just let me know, so we'll do that. We is in like the whole, oh, yes. the whole like Belfast crew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're like, we're, we're doing like a lot of stuff together. It's actually been so nice having people to hang out with. Like, you're welcome to come visit, by the way. Well, it's kind of like on the other side of the world. Yeah, um, no, but you can come visit got, for like a month. And then I got fucking multiple kids, bro. Do you know how cunty it is? We just, mm, like, not really, because Abby could probably take care of them on her own. Probably. I mean, yeah, but it's like, okay, do you know how you to spend that much time away from your kids? I just went six weeks away from the kids and it was awful. Awful. Two, two weeks then. Two weeks. I mean, two weeks. It's been, it's been, it's been, I would do it. I would do two weeks. If there was something that was like, if there was some, you're planning some insane shit. Like, I'm talking like crazy. It would have to be like a business trip, right? It had to be a combo, right? Business and friendship. Like, kind of like, you know. I mean, we can, like, we can add some content. Because like, what I've wanted to do for so long, there's a trampoline park here. 
um, where there's like trembling, you can fly. Like they've got like a huge fan you can fly on. And there's like um like you get like gear, like fighting gear, and like um not an axe, but like there's like weapons, but they're like, you know, not harmful weapons. You can fight each other and shit like that. Yeah, it's called We Are Vertigo. And don't I was Hulk thinking we, Crazy. Huh? Don't don't say I was that thinking, like, they, they have the branding everywhere in the trampolines. It's also oh like, God. well, oh, people in Belfast, they're super chill. Like, it's not going to be a problem. Um, but we could, like, probably rent that out for one day uh, and do, like, a really cool IRL stream day. Oh, shit. All right. And there's several mean, things like that we could do. We had to be, I feel like if you were to organize something like that while there was also another event, say, for example, like, I don't know, some Twitch EU Twitch kind of or something? Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, yeah Twitch kind of you, yeah, something like that. Yeah, I think I could justify mm -hmm. it. Like, if there was, like, if there was, like, double, if I could min-max it in a way. Yeah, maybe like, we aim for that for next year's Twitch kind of you, then. That's a good idea. And then you also need, we also need to make sure it's not lining up with other bullshit as well. <laughs> so it was, like, on the same time as PewDiePie League launched. Mm -hmm. Fuck yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, you know, yeah, like, yeah, Or something yeah. like that. Yeah, that's like, it'll see, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, like, so cunty, actually. I'm trying to do anything, mm -hmm. uh, real life. Uh, yeah, we could try that for next year. Mm. So you've got no plans at all, and you're going to take three weeks in New Zealand slash Australia? Yeah, I've been trying to do a little bit more time off when I can, because I, you know, like burnout is scary, right? So you don't want to burn out, because the number one thing that's important for a streamer is making sure that you're enjoying your time, because it's a lot more fun for people to watch when you're actually having fun. So yeah, um, since I don't really take a lot of time off, I figure if I'm going to be in fucking New Zealand, it's like 33 hour travel time. I'm, yeah, but how I'm do you go for a little bit longer. Wait, how do you, uh, yeah, I get that, I get that, but how do you justify in your head, like, how, what do you, what do you, what's your mentality when you're, uh, you're taking well, I'll time off? I'll stream while I'm there. Oh shit, stream it talk? Oh my god, chat! Well, how much are you gonna stream when you're there? I don't know, it also depends, like, I don't know. It depends if there's anything to do. It depends what there is to do. It's crip. I mean, you, you saw Crip, right? He, he streamed Hearthstone from his hotel room. He left the Ultra VIP dinner early to go stream Hearthstone Battlegrounds. Yeah. Is that what you're gonna do? I wouldn't do that. No, fuck no. <laughs> like, I, I won't even stream every day while I'm there. I think, like, so I didn't see that much. Like, I took it almost a, a month off for being sick. I had two infections. I had a lung infection and a um, sinus infection at the same time. I took, like, almost a month off. And I didn't see, like, a crazy downside to that. So, yeah. Mm. I'm not fine. Mm. Yeah, no, I just... It's also... It's also like we're we're so lucky with the fact that the games we play have cycles, right? Like the leagues, like it's so big, right? Like even if I even if I just stop streaming today, as long as I'm streaming a few days before the next PWE league, it's probably fine. Hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I feel that. I feel that. I feel like Mythic Talents Creators Quinn sixty nine. What the fuck is this? What do you mean? What are you linking right now, dude? The New Zealand streamer has gained popularity for his captivating Diablo streams while also showcasing his versatility across various games. With strategic gameplay, engaging commentary, and a friendly persona, <laughs> Quinn has cultivated a dedicated following, establishing himself as an emerging star in the streaming community, especially his interviews where he will ask a lot about bots. Yo, do you add that one at the end or is that real? <laughs> That's real, it's there. Wait. No, it's not. No, no it's, it's not. not. Bro, friendly persona. Hell yeah. I got a friendly persona. I'm friendly. I'm a friendly guy. I'm a friendly guy. This right, might be my third time meeting you, right? I have no idea. So we met at BlizzCon. Did we? And then past XLCon. You don't remember hanging out at BlizzCon? We, like, do you not remember Team Boomer? You, me, Mr. Llama, a few other people were there as well. We went to, like, this fucking, like, medieval dining. And like, oh, yeah, there were like yeah, different yeah. knights fighting see, for us, and the Fluffy guy fighting there. for our team was like old as fuck. So we called him yeah. Team Boomer. Uh, with Seagull. Was Seagull there? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Shade, yeah. Seagull, Llama, you and me. Did but Lord Fluffy wasn't there. Them? Wait, Lord Fluffy wasn't there. Not for the dinner, I think. Oh, yeah, there you go. All right, okay, that's what my memory's fucked, I'm gonna be honest. I do remember, I do remember going to a horse thing, though. I just don't really 100% remember, like, that whole fucking thing. Yeah, true. Yeah, that was nice. That was fun. That's my first time I met you. Hmm. I actually forgot about it entirely. But no, I remember that. I remember vaguely like going to a medieval thing. You might be my specific yeah, yeah. memory's bad, but yeah, yeah, no, no, no. We, we just suddenly hanged out. Yeah, no, for sure. Fuck man, I really, I really just sucked the culture. So are you going to Icecon? Wait, am I going? Probably, yeah. Probably, yeah. I would say, I would say, yeah, probably. I'd say, I'd, ve I'd say, I'd say, I'd say, very likely. Like, I would go as far to say yes, unless something massively bullshit, like unless some dog shit happens. You feel me? Right. So, yeah. yeah so, yeah, if, like, would... if season one happens, then. 
What you told me it's seven one, and it's like on the exact same day as six Alcon. Yeah. But yeah, I mean that is like a dice, a, a, a coin flip, a coin flip. Yeah, if it was yeah. like on the same it. day. Yeah, I get it. That would yeah, be a coin flip. How long does it take you to get there? On an airplane, like an hour. Oh wow, that's longer than I thought. Well, it's like an hour, like and you're getting on and getting off, so it's probably the actual flight times were like forty five minutes of flying. Right. Yeah, probably right. Like That's yeah. not too bad. But I, the thought are... I thought you lived longer. So I remember somebody asked me, like, for the last XLCon, people were like, do you think GGD will will uh, pay for Quinn to come there? And I was like, I'm sure they'll pay for his taxi. Yep. What do you, what do you think about them not inviting El Kaiser? Not paying for him to come? Yeah, I think that's a bit crazy. I mean, El Kaiser was a bit more brand risky before, but I feel like he hasn't really been the last two or three years. Like, he's been like, Really, really, he's just a really, really great streamer. I also think it's kind of fucked that they're also not doing that for Ben either. <laughs> no way, dude, no. Wait, what? No. Wait, they're not paying for Ben? No. Nope. Wait, seriously? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I asked Ben. I Wait, asked Ben if they're, like, flying him out, and he was like, nope. <laughs> what the fuck? That's so... Wait, he's like a... I feel like out of if you're not in the Twitch sphere, but you do follow like Peely, Reddit, and stuff, you're gonna know about that guy like Giga. He's also right? a very big streamer, so I was I was very surprised by like maybe they're going by the list of people they had when they like did the last XL call. And I'm not sure. Wait, that makes literally no sense. I feel like there'll be way more people who want to see Ben at XLCon than say see me, for example, right? In terms of you know, or or you, or like, I feel like I mean, if anything, right? No, think about it. Think about it. There's a lot of like people who aren't necessarily Twitch fans who would be like part of Excel fans who would be like giga simps, like ultra simps. Like I fucking would suck I, I think it's cock. crazy. I, I want to get I, I want to get a signature on my fuck. I want to get a tattoo on my body saying Ben. If, if Ben won't be there, that's crazy. Yeah, I think I think so. Wait, that is insanity. If they didn't offer to pay for a shit, dude. Like they have they that is like sad. missing an it's like missing an entire attraction. That's that's yeah. like a that could be like five percent of the reason or even ten percent of the reason to go he's there. He's designed so many items. I, I thought it was like quite weird. I, I don't know. I, he could have been lying. Maybe he's lying. I don't know. I don't have any proof, right? He's basically um, an employee, but, bro. At that point, he's like a, he's like a GG but like, employee. I, I asked him in his stream. I was like, "You're gonna make an He's like, "No, it's too expensive." I was like, "Okay." What the fuck? That makes literally no sense. Okay, if they unless he just made that shit up. I mean, I feel like they would have had to make. He must have had to make that shit up, right? There's no fucking way. Yeah, I mean, we would just have to trust him. Jesus Christ. Paper Ben. I'm not. Chat. Rich, Ziz is richer than I am, for starters. Ziz is richer than I am, for starters, okay? So if anyone's paying for a Ziz, don't even get it fucking twisted, brother. Like, I mean, Ziz. he definitely has enough money. He's won so far in Gauntlets. Like, in all the events we've run, we've given away half a million dollars in price pools, and Ben has definitely won a decent amount of that. Jeez. Is that ta he, that's taxable, though, right? He doesn't get that. It's not like some, some uh -huh. shit where you pay the tax first. Or how does that, how does I did not pay the tax on that. Nope. Okay. Well, I mean, if he's got bills to pay and stuff, I mean, I don't know. I feel like he... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This is stupid, right? If you're GG, in what world are you not going to invite someone who's probably going to be one of the most, if not the most popular person that someone will want mm -hmm. to go to XLCon to see? Because... He would be like one of the only people that has unironic like fans, right? Like that, you know, it's like a different level of, it's like actual fandom, you know? Like, so, like you know you know what I'm saying? Like no one wants a uh, fucking, um, wait, they want to get like a Quinn 69 fucking signature as like a, a, a you know, because it's funny. Like, hey, look, I got Quinn 69, you know, or like, a, you know, as this thing or anyone, like a Steel Mage thing or whatever. But they, there's like unironic, like, I mean, you've seen the simps that he's got, right? Mm -hmm. You've seen the Ben underscore simps. There's a lot of people. You had a pretty big meeting great last time, right? No, nah, well, that's just like, that's just like, you know, they've got, you know, they, they, there's, a, there's like, there's, there's a, it's a clown fiesta, bro. They just want to get like, you know, they just want like, hey, there's someone there. I'm going to go to that guy. What the someone point I'm making, there. though. You have a lot of actual fans. What I make, well, the point I'm making is mm -hmm. there's like a different dynamic there where there's more hardcore fans and the people right. who do, aren't necessarily Twitch guys would also want to just be like, oh, he's like the top the top guy. The top, like, like you I know, it's it. the same reason why you want to see like a, a dev, like you want... Um, I don't know, like neon. It's more signature. similar to an actual celebrity, right? It's like Tom Hanks. Yeah, something like that. Mm -hmm. I get it. When is the zoo attraction? Ben is like a celeb. Oh shit. <laughs> okay, dude. Why? Well, that's why I feel. Like, I feel like that's. I feel like that is kind of how it would be for most streamers. I mean, let's be honest, because just because of how like it's like it's like it's like it's like he's like the faker of Poe, right? You know. Yeah. And everyone else is kind of like um. Yeah, we're just like, you know, just doing whatever the fuck they're doing, right? You know what I'm saying? Hey, I don't want to sound like too much of a fucking simp, though, because I'm not. 
Ben's mid. He's not even that good, bro. Like, shit. Shit, bro. Okay. One we one Ben right now. I fucking, you know, he's just got lucky like 15 times, all right, brother? Like, holy fuck. All right, it's a fucking <laughs> sim, dude. Like, shit, bro. <laughs> what about DS underscore Elite? Yeah, wait, they must have, they, no, there's no shot they didn't pay, have DS Elite camera, right? I know she's going to be there, but I don't know if they're flying her out. I mean, you know, well, it depends who, it depends who's making the decision. If, I mean, let's be honest here. It depends who, I don't know who makes the D here. I mean, whoever's making the know. Ds is misplaying, right? I'm going to be honest. Whoever's making the D there, like not, I mean, if the Ben thing is true, um, and if the fuck, you know, okay, so definitely said no, 100%, like, nah. That shit, they, like, that, that, that may have yeah, massively that's what ben misplaced. Said when I, asked. I mean, I think there would be both good people to have there. Do you think Gigi's out of touch at all? With do you what? Think do, uh, what? I think with what? Ruthless, you, they you, are a bit. Well, okay, Ruthless, let's say, let's say marketing. Marketing? With what? What marketing? Like, I don't know, like marketing, like, uh, I don't know, for example, uh, many things, right? Like, uh, MTX, sponsoring streamers, uh, drops, anything, all, all that sort of shit. Do you think they're out of touch? Um, yeah, I, I think, so I think the sponsorships they're doing is good and is very clearly working and growing the game. Like, I do think sponsoring streamers like that is good. I think they could and should be doing more with like drop campaigns. I think there's a very big reason why we see all the biggest companies are doing shit like that and it's very clearly working. Tarkov was like pretty much entirely built on drops. Um, I don't think they should do things like, you know, the KFC sponsorships because that's like, it's, it's actually a good thing for Diablo to do. It is dragging in the, the more casual player base, which I think is what they want to do. But you also saw the backlash for seasons, right? Because those were MMO players, right? Or people that Destiny don't play games. Clowns, dude. <laughs> yeah. So, I don't know. I definitely think there's more they can do. That'd be nice. Like, um... Well, I mean, that take, that take I mean, is I'm like also, a... like, biased as a streamer, right? Because all these things are things that would be beneficial for me. Well, the thing well. is, it's, it's cannibalizing, right? It's potentially cannibalizing. So if they do a drop for an NTX, it reduces the value of the one that they sell. So then they're cannibalizing potential sales. Potentially, but alternatively, they're doing a drop for something that's maybe not yep. even that popular. It's not going to sell that much. And then they're boosting the Twitch viewership yep. by like 10x. And suddenly yep. they have shit tons more customers that are actually yep. spending and at least buying stash tabs. It's true. It's Everyone true. that plays PoE buys stash tabs. And giving us some MTX, like not everybody buys MTX. It's true. It's true. And you know, even if they, even if they give you like three out of five pieces of a set or something, right? Then they're likely to buy like the rest of the set or some shit. I mean, yeah. I mean, appreciate the choir, obviously. I'm just trying to confirm that you also think that. Okay, so you think so? You would say GG generally when it comes to like marketing and Twitch and that sort of shit, out of touch. I think they could do a lot more stuff there. Yeah, and I, I've, I've been like paying them for like uh, the thing I want the most is I want to be able to sell like a, a cloak with a gauntlet on it and have half of the money go to the price pool, right? They're like very hesitant to do stuff like that. That's what I would want the most. Like, that'd be sick. I love like Rocket League, those loads of stuff like that. Dota, a lot of I other would, games. I wouldn't want, the thing is, I would want it to, I, I wouldn't want anything in the game that is like, I mean, for example, the, the, the greatest example of this, I mean, you know what I'm going to say, right? In terms of MTX. Razor footprints? Yep. It's like, you wouldn't want yeah, something in the game. I don't want you, that wouldn't, you, you wouldn't like a Ziz logo fucking item. No, I mm -hmm. want a, a, a fucking. A Steel Mage logo or a Quincy Chan logo, Any, anything like that. I feel like that's just immersion breaking and shit for the game of rule. But yeah, certainly something mm -hmm. that's like thematically, if you know it, then you know it. I don't know about necessarily straight up. Uh, something that, like, re like dip cards are a great example of this. They reference something, and if you know, you know, and if you don't know, it's just an item in the game that makes sense. Yeah. Right, so I would totally be on board with them doing the that, what you're describing, except probably not a one to one logo, right? More like a. Well, actually, maybe they could do it in this style. Maybe it worked. They, maybe the Gauntlet logo would work. But, you know, it had to probably change it aesthetically a little bit to fit in with the game a little bit more, right? Yeah. There's a lot of things they could do. They could even, like, work with creators to design something. Like, a lot of a lot of games do that. Mmm. Mmm. I mean, I've heard things. I've heard things. You know, maybe they could be doing yeah. that in the future. You never know. It's 100%. I've heard, you know, they could be they could be doing stuff. I'm, I'm so jealous that you guys have got a role playing place. Like, uh, we, don't, we don't have any... And we're going to do this. Nothing like that. No one... No, uh, like, I'm thinking about, like, fucking... You know, when I whenever I paid off my bills and everything, maybe even, like, invest investing in uh, some sort of business that does rock climbing just to, like, have one built. Because I bet yeah. you would be successful. Because people like that. The fuck doesn't get rock climbing? Yeah, yeah. And it's like... The, the one we go to is, like, just in a warehouse. It's not like you need anything crazy there already. And then you just, like, build, like, plastic walls. Yeah, we're going to be fucking sucks, brother. Holy shit. See you, Mathel? Yo! The build... <laughs> literally go to rock climbing place just so I can buy Mathel to win the new week. have Mathel and Dorset. Oh shit, he came right to climbs and shit? Yeah, yeah. Someone in That's chat funny. is actually even opening a climbing place as well. I mean, it's a, to be fair, I think you're right. I think they get 
from what I've seen, because the climbing place I used to go to was literally just, again, what you're describing. Like, well, it was not quite a sh big shed. It was like a, it had, it had windows in it. But yeah, it was basically just a big ass open area, like the, a hangar with shit on the walls. Yeah. I have like, I have like 20 minutes left. What's, what's, what do you want to know the most? Okay, wait, 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 wait. No more budding. <laughs> no more budding? Oh, shit, dude. Oh, yeah, well, to be fair, we haven't had your Diablo 4 takes. I've been asking that across the board to get your Diablo 4 takes. Yeah. To, like, uh, you know, rating of it um, and reasoning. And then is there anything major that you fucking hate? Yeah, sure. So I'm pretty happy with my initial rating. I gave it a 6.5 out of 10. I mean, that that is decently high on my scale. I'm, I'm never given a game a 10. Like, I'm not IGM. Um... Yo. But yeah, I think it's a very, very good game for casual players, even right now. I think most people will find like their first 100 hours even is like pretty fun, right? There's a lot to do. You can explore the different classes, uh, etc. But there's like no end game in this game. So once you're past 100 hours, it's getting more and more stale. At 200 hours, you're like, oh my God, I'm playing this as a job right now. And I think that's okay for where it is right now. Because I think most people that are even getting bored right now are probably like, well, I'm going to come back in season one and see what they're adding, right? But I probably wouldn't be playing the game right now if I wasn't a streamer. But there's also not that much else I really want to stream right now. It would be like Tarkov. Have you killed Overlord? Have you killed Overlord? No, I haven't. I died to her. Yeah, but then surely you, as a gamer, you would have, you would, you, you know, as a gamer, it would be your duty. It would be your duty to kill her. She's pretty hard. She's yeah. very, very hard. Al Kaiser said it's harder than any PoE boss ever, and it's not even close. Yeah, I Which... agree. It's not necessarily harder moves, but she's very overtuned, right? And I actually really like the Blizzard way of doing that. I think they do this for WoW too, where it like starts very overtuned and they make it easier and easier, right? Um, I, I think that's really, really cool. I think that's the only thing that Cheat Death makes sense for. It makes sense if Cheat Death only worked for Lilith. Um, but yeah. I don't know. I'd have to level up another character to level 100 because I tried on my Sork and my Sork is almost unrespeckable, right? Because we did the, just the normal dungeons to level 100, so my glyphs aren't level 21. I might as well make a new character. And I'm definitely getting a little bored of the endgame content. Um, so I so don't know. So even if you, so you're saying if you want to stream, you would have just said, fuck it. Fuck, fuck the, uh, fuck Uberloth. Right now, if I, if I wasn't a streamer, right now, I would just be doing, uh, Tarkov or Daisy. Oh shit, dude, oh shit. But, oh. um, since I am a streamer, I definitely, like, obviously, like, taking advantage of drops is really, really good. Um, and I also want to try at least every class to 70, so I'm still enjoying myself doing that. I'm doing a Thorns bar right now, and I want to do some hardcore PvP. Wait, you're not going for the Uberloth kill now? No. You should, wait, you're just not gonna do it. Would you know? Yeah, okay, no. I don't wanna. I wanna be talking about Kaiser Andy, but he. Okay, he insp sounds inspiring. He said, "Is not only is it the hardest boss ever, he said it's the best boss, and it's better than any. Like in terms of enjoyment and fun, the best boss he's ever fought. Um, compared to any PoE boss, not even close. Like just like wow. Literally. I think Uber Elder's a lot more cool. Yeah, that's what I said. I said, wait. I mean, I, but I hadn't done it. So then I was like, I was like, hey, wait. So I, I've gotten. I haven't gotten her to stage two, but I got like 30 40 percent, thirty percent at least. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I I I, I love the fact that they're so overtuned. Mm. Well, yeah, that's uh, his reply to that was that like, you can just tank a builder and trivialize it. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. And PvE absolutely can trivialize it. In and a that's lot what the of, first kill did as well, right? And that's what most kills mm -hmm. do. Mm -hmm. Whereas in Uber, his I guess his main point is that you can't do that, which is what makes it fun. Oh, and if you do it yeah. on anything, if you do it on a necromancer, you're a beta bitch and you suck. No, I, I like that. It's that. actually. Something, something I said that would be really, really cool in PoE, and obviously this is very unpopular because most people feel like everyone should be able to do everything in a game, right? That's so I cringe. don't. I don't. So, yeah. I, I don't think everyone retired. should be able to do everything. I think it's good to like progress towards something. But what I think would be cool if PoE had one boss that had an early gear cap and damage cap. Like, let's say it doesn't matter if you have two million damage or a hundred million damage, right? Just you just can't deal more than a certain amount of damage. And you can't like it just completely ignores your character, and that it's which Lilith is basically that, right? Um, we do see some people killing her very hard with like Blizzard and stuff. Like I don't know if you've seen Sork killing her, but yeah, that's like not that count. hard. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But I think it'd be cool if Pee had one boss like that. That was just a skill check, literal just skill, just one boss. I think that'd be cool. And and Lilith is that at the moment. Like Lilith is like obviously gear matters. It's very hard to trivialize. We've seen like. Uh, Rogue does really well with like the twisting blades. I was trying to do with barrage, no rapid fire. I was trying to do it with rapid fire, which was very hard, and I almost managed to get her in stage two. Mm, what do you think my chances of killing the boss are? Is 
When I hit 100, yeah, I'm 91 now. Uh, I I don't really know because I haven't seen Druid Fighter at all, so I don't even know if you have a good build or not. <laughs> I think there. as long as you have a strong build, as long as you have a strong build and you actually try, I think you have a good chance. But a lot of the time, you don't actually try. Mm. Well, I'm gonna try. Wait, well, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. What do you mean? I'm gonna like try. I'm the, gonna... The, the people. Well, a lot of the time you don't, right? Like the the stuff you do in Pee Wee, a lot of the time is like kind of meme. -y. Like you, you try on builds. I'm trying that are, though, right? dude. You try on uh, builds that are at a huge disadvantage for that's content. That's fun. This is that's fun to do. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not saying. Yeah, yeah. Oh, absolutely. And a lot of people shit on you for it, but those same people couldn't do like a fraction of the stuff that you actually are doing, right? It's true. True. Because if you try it on a metacock build, like you're you're pretty good technically at games. It's true. It's tr yeah, look, he's preaching facts right now. Okay, you know what? Yeah, yeah you fucking big true, dude. Big, wait, like in the drip bus. Wait, there's no drip bus, bro. Uh, but yeah, oh yeah, true though. That is fun. I have true. no idea if this is a good build or not. Like a lot of the times, it seems like you intentionally play a shit build, so no, this is that a good build. You don't have to try. Okay. I, I I got bitched. Well, I mean, Durham, I've tried uh, all but I think it's two setups that I haven't fucked with. Um, and this mm -hmm. is by far, in terms of hardcore, the most broken. It's okay. So this character I'm playing right now has permanent invulnerability to all crowd control effects. He 24/7 refreshes a barrier that has 5k life, um, like every like one and a half seconds. So you're healing like 5k life per second. Plus every time I crit, which is like constantly, I heal for three percent of my life. Basically, I'm unseizable and uh, I have just cracked recovery, and my damage is. Well, you know, recovery it's not doesn't great. really matter because you're probably not gonna be able to tank it. So you just need to, you need to make sure you have as close to movement speed cap as possible. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm gonna respect to whatever, whatever I feel like yeah. is best for the build. Whenever I don't know, if I, if I, I'm gonna try. I probably, I probably should have done twisting blades. I probably would have. I just, I'm so embarrassed that I died to like, I basically died to reflect. Reflect. Yeah, like, yeah, I just yeah. didn't click. Cheat death. That's a classic exist death. That's a, cl that's a classic. That's a very classic exist death. And that's like literally what you. And done I, so I times. even at the start of the kill, I open my inventory and I'm like, ah, oh, there's my cheat death potion. I look at it to make sure that I have it, and then just don't click it. <laughs> Wait, you looked to see if it was there. I looked at it. I, I looked to make sure that it was there and then click it. I was like, ah, oh, there it is. <laughs> Wait, I've done, to be fair, I've done what you, the exact thing you're describing uh, before. I can't remember what it is, but I remember checking a thing to confirm a thing and then going in and immediately dying. And then I was like, wait. And then, yeah, yeah. No, I know what you, I've done that exact thing before. Wait, was it Lava yeah. Potion? Yeah, was it, I think it was a, and, and yeah, oh, was that, in what, was that in Terraria? In Terraria, yeah. Mm. I, I so thought, good. Yeah, I, I like checked, I did a thing, and then I just jumped in and killed myself. And I was like, wait, what? <laughs> is, yeah. Yeah, I feel that. So I feel stupid because I was really, really enjoying trying uh, Lilith on my rogue. And I was like, I was going to try maybe a day more. And if I couldn't get her to phase one on rapid fire, I was just going to respect Twisting Blades because that wasn't actually that crazy a respect for me. What, no respects are crazy, bro. Wait, what would uh, you take on respects in this game? I mean, you need a whole new gear set usually. I mean, yeah, outside of the gear, it's, it's like <laughs> nothing. I mean, getting the gear for Lilith is actually pretty hard. Wait, what? I, I yeah, played it, like every. I played one. almost every drill build, and it, like turn around, you need a new pair of gloves, but and you need aspects saved, and maybe like your one one skill has like earth crit, and the other one has storm crit. But like I don't know, I feel like you just get vulnerable crit attack speed, mm. and then you just have like a skill using which you just have the gloves that have whatever that skill is, and then you're good, right? But like, you don't think it's way too oh, easy no, to respect in this game? Like trivial? Like the fact that you can be you could be like a pa you know you could be like a pathfinder whatever the fuck rogue one day. And then just fully respec, not like you farmed for grits for like five days or something, and just entirely change your ascendancy. I, I think I think respecing at the end game here is easier in PUE than in D4 at the end game at level hundred. I think no. it's worse. Oh wait, no, 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 not level hundred. No, not level hundred in PUE. I mean, I mean like uh, no, like so, like level hundred in D4. Like if you need a new glyph leveled up, that's like that's a lot of grinding. So, what do you mean? All your glyphs are capped. I, I'm leveling up bonus glyphs for fun. Every, well, you have every glyph at 21. Yeah, what do you mean? All my main glyphs? Yeah. What do you mean? If you just do nightmare dungeons, they're all capped. They're all capped way before. I'm not even... I, I, I've had them all capped for oh, ages. I'm, I'm not even 91, and that's with the buff. Well? well it's not, wow, it's, it's if you do nightmare dungeons. That's if you're doing nightmare dungeons. That's just how... It's, well, I mean, it's on top of that, all you need is level 15 glyph. The, 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 the 15 to 21 is like minor, minor gains. For Lilith, you do one of those. But I, I've done a lot. Of, I've done a lot more normal dungeons. I didn't. I stopped doing nightmare dungeons at eighty three. Jeez, you're crazy, bro. Well, I mean, to be fair, fair enough. No, because I've seen your, your your mentality is outcome oriented, so it makes sense that you would do that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just whatever gets you to the one hundred fastest. 
True. Yeah. But then again, you need the gear and you need, you know, like you said, you need the glyphs. So then ultimately, maybe it's a waste of time to do that. Maybe you should just level up. Maybe it is just even, I think actually, okay, it's like it was pointless to like speed level if you don't have any of the gear or the glyphs. Just kind of true, yeah, actually. That's fair. Yeah, it depends what your goal is. Do you just want to get a little hundred or do you want to kill a live? But there's also not that much to do, right? It's only do Lilith or do Nightmare Dungeons at a higher level, which is very... There's no ladder. There's no reason to do it other than to do it, right? So... My, I, I I, mean, it's like one of the things, I guess I want to experience all content. And now I'm hearing all this shit about Lilith. It's kidding me. I, to be fair, I thought like, oh, it's just like Lilith, but they've just tuned up the damage mega and the HP mega and it's actually going to be shit and boring. And I mean, it's like some trash side boss thing. But the more I hear about it, the more it's like, oh shit, this is like some just custom thing, which is going to be fucking... Pog champion, you know? It's pretty hard, and there's actually things that in the fight that can kill you through cheat death. What? Is that like standing on the platform thing? Like that that yeah. dis disappears? Oh shit, yeah. Okay. Jeez. Louise. Fucking hell. Yep. Okay, wait. It's, it's pretty hard. It's a hard fight. So six eight five <laughs> out of ten. Wait, six point five out of ten. What are you what are you laughing about? Uh you had like a top hat on you. Oh, because they, wait, they're still on you right now. Oh, you're helping um, me right now. Yeah, you're giving me uh you're 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 backseating me right now. Sorry. They, yeah, they want me to I'll die, stop. so yeah, they do that shit where they just like zero whenever yeah, you yeah. fucking say anything useful. It's, it's I apologize. Crazy. Well, it's pretty fair. It's a it's a culture that I endorse here, which is like no backseating. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Which is like, you know, fuck that shit. Generally speaking, it's, it works. It's a, it's a very good mentality to have. Yeah, fair. Wait, chat, is there anything I've missed in terms of asking is this? We asked about the Diablo. I'm sure there's something. I'm sure there's something. I'm just trying to think what it was. I'm sure there was like some really big thing that I was thinking about asking about. I'm just fucking... Next PU League. Oh, true. Wait, next PU League, dude. Do you think it's next PU League is going to be complete dog shit trash? Or like like mid because they're saving everything in PUE 2? Or do you think it's going to be poggies? Yeah, I don't know. I think they should have gone a little bit harder on this league because this league was a bit mid, but at least the base game is in a really good state, I would say. But the, but the league itself was like, it was whatever. I, I, yeah, I don't know. Like, but it was, it was enjoyable enough just for the base game. I don't know. I hope next league is good. I feel like, I feel like they really... I don't think they should just drop the ball in this league. I think the league before... I, I don't know how to explain this. You almost go into league depth. Like, the league after Calandra ends up being worse in a way, right? Like, a lot of people are just going to write that off. You really want, like, two good leagues in a row. So you want a, you want a good league before PU2. Yeah. Ramp the leagues. So mm. they don't have to go all out, but it can't be Calandra. It can't be shit. <laughs> Calandra? Was it fair? Calandra? I actually really enjoyed that. Um, not the league mechanic itself, but the league was great. I felt like the game was in a great point. Like it was in a great state, you know. No. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what the fuck? Do you not like? Wait, what did you not like about Calendra League? The actual, so not the league mechanic, but the league. I feel like I just fuck. I can't remember. Were we still having Arch Nemesis issues then? I don't even remember. I just remember I barely played it. I like came back from. I think I played like 200 hours of Calendra, and I was like, no, I'm just not enjoying my time right now. There's so much else I could do right now. Do you think you're influenced um, by negativity more? Like, do you think you, cause you're in tune with your, or, because maybe you're one to one in tune with your audience? If ever. No, but I, I disagree with them so much, right? Like, synthesis is one of my favorite leagues of all time, and a lot of people dislike synthesis. It's trash, trash, fucking trash. The best league. So my my top three favorite leagues is synthesis, sanctum, and um, synth synthesis, sanctum, and sentinel. I mean, I'll, to be fair, they, okay, Sentinel was dog shit, but the combinators were amazing. Like, I love that. Sure. I, 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 do you think I that mean, they Okay, but like, it was more the fact that it's sometimes it's nice with a like, little, like, easy league, like a breezy league. Like, not every league needs to be, like, betrayal level complexity. Sometimes it's nice with just a blasting league. It's like a holiday. Um, so yeah. I actually really liked Sentinel for that. And then they had recombinators that was just, like, absolute Giga Chad. Yeah. Like, I do don't you, want every league to be, like, heist or betrayal level complexity. Do you think... Sometimes though, it's okay to get, like, ultimatum and sentinel. Do you think GGG fucks, like, almost every other league mechanic up just because trade league balancing? Like, for example, Crucible. Yeah. Do you think they deliberately fucking made that shit ultra dog shit to combine yeah. to do it mm -hmm. to use? Because trade that's league why, uses. That's why Sanctum was so much more cool because we had Soulbound, right? Like you couldn't trade them, and that was awesome. Yeah, I mean, do you think they should straight up make? Do you think they should just make all fucking league mechanics and giga OP? But then, well, do you think they should make league mechanics like just say fuck trade league? That's just a clown fiesta anyway. Everyone's just teleporting around, watching everything anyway. Fuck that. Let's just put mechanics in that are reasonable and balanced for SSF that might be broken in trade league. I, I think it's okay to like mix it up. That you have some that are like oriented for trade league and some that are oriented for SSF. 
I think you can mix it up. You can do both. But wait, recombinants were broken for trade league, and they were just really good for SSF. They're pretty ethical for SSF, right? Yeah, but that's like the beauty of leagues, right? They should stop giving a shit about standard at all. Standard shouldn't matter for standard, balancing no, trade purposes. I, I'm in the opinion they should stop giving a shit about trade league and just let them have broken shit. Like balance it as if it yeah, was for SSF, uh, and then sure. just whatever well, happens in trade league happens in trade league, bro. Maybe somewhere in between, but yeah, I mean, people are gonna have broken shit on trade league anyway. What What are you reckon about rebalancing the game? And what about making SSF void? Uh, like it's want to void it. Like it can't transfer back to trade, right? But Why? they have like increase. Do they they modify the end game or they modify the game a little bit so they have slightly different roles. So like for example, they could have Crucible have far better waiting for a solo player. Mm. Or they could have. But then like, you're you know, kind of. I, I don't yeah. think that would happen because they they when when they initially put in SSF they were like we're gonna give you guys SSF but we're not gonna balance around it because this isn't really something GGD wanted right it's something the community wanted. Chris Wilson has said many times the best way to play the game is SSF, which is get true. So it's like I mean maybe maybe they've changed their mind maybe they could change their mind. It's not like what you think is gonna happen as well. I think what do you th do you think it'd be worth it personally? I only remember him specifically saying that about hardcore. I don't remember him saying that about SSF. He says HCSSF. He says he says HCSSF because he's an HCSSF enjoyer. Right. Yeah, bro. I don't remember him saying that. That's what we mean. Question mark. Question mark. Question mark. Captain Lance Nine. <sighs> Chris Wilson. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Best way to play the game is HCSSF. Hundred percent. Look at them all. Question mark. Okay. If someone can find the clip because it exists, and he said it more than once, so um, you know. No, I may be paraphrasing. He may not have said exactly those words, but the, that was what was implied. I remember right? him saying hardcore was a better way to play the game, but I can't remember exactly what he said. Uh, tell me we can get it, though. Whatever, did I mean, you guys can question my Right you want. here. <laughs> That's funny. What, what is this dog shit? What do, you, what do you like? Oh, it's just like a dude holding up a phone and saying, if click, Quinn clicks this twice, we won. Oh, I didn't click it, so you didn't win, buddy. I know. They, fucking, they hate those fucking guys. They're literally the fucking guys, <laughs> bro. Holy shit. Like, what it's do you think funny. about the... What do you think about uh, Shimori Moriori? Um, Two-handed mace. Drop right in SSF. Wait, what? Oh, Mario Erki. Yeah. I mean, I don't um, think he's still like that either. I, I think, like, like, if you choose to play hardcore in a game or choose to play SSF in a game, you're doing that with the knowledge that it is just harder, right? It is just to be a challenge. That's why whenever I'm, like, making anything based for SSF, I make sure that I'm never, like, going for something specific a lot of the time i'll get something crazy for a build and people will be like dude that's so lucky that you got that for the build and it's like no like when you're making a character in ssf you're probably going to get a lot of things that are quite rare and then you build around it yeah i agree with right? that but um you know you say I, I never sense. like i never go for something that needs something what are they re what are they releasing a new ability called frozen legion and you're like holy shit frozen legion boy that sounds lit then you play trade league and and then, and then there's like a fucking item that literally is two times to three, you know, better than anything else. Um, then you play trade league. Well, that's what I did do. Yeah. That's what I, that's I what think I did that's do. The I, I hated it. That's I the play. fucking hate, I fucking hated it. But it's you can awful. play trade league and only buy that and then just why play SSF. Not, why not an SSF create a more reasonable, uh, like say for example, they could modify uh, the woman. This is like one example. They can modify the, you know, the lady who sells Unique's, uh, the expedition lady. Um, to 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 make the Moriori more likely in SSF, and then you just can't trade, you can't go back. So if you wanted to have the, if you wanted to you spend have like div cards and stuff, right? It is farmable. It's not farmable. It's not farmable. It's like trying to farm a mage blood by dropping it, or like buying it, vending it. Rare is mage blood. But yeah, I, 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 I think it, I brought, if, pretty I'm pretty sure now. it is rare. It is rare mage rare. blood. I feel like it's it's very close because there was literally. I, fuck up the drop rates. I don't know. I I think it's fine. I think you just play trade league at that point. I think you did the right call. But like, did you trade anything else? Like, you could just trade that, right? Well, that's what I um, was going to do. Um, but then it's like, you're just a trade lead scumbag bitch anyway. And it's like, yeah, I'm just like, fuck you, bitch. And then anyway, I ended up, I ended up doing a couple more trades here or there, you know, a couple more. Okay. One or two. A couple more. Do you know well, a guy called Ben Q? Two, Have you heard of that guy? Yeah. Do you think he's some weird parasocial freak? No. Who goes around every PoE streamer adding them and trying to get attention from them? No. Does he at you? Does he at you? Wait, go to Ben. Go um, for, you, forward slash user Ben Q in your chat right now. Uh, ben Q, what's his name? What's his name? For, forward slash user like Ben. It's not just Ben Q. Must be something else. I don't know. What it, it's like it's got numbers on the end. Someone, someone will know it. Someone ben Q one three three eight. It's not. It's, wait, oh, nine 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 plus messages. Followers since two thousand and nineteen. Yeah, he talks a lot. What is he? What is he? Blue what name. Do they look that's like? it. What do they look like? Do they, do they, do they, do they, I want to see if he knows you, bro. 
Just died to a revenant in a sim. This shit should sh that this shit should not exist there. Hey, this is funny. We have a mage blood in the Bro SF League, uh, but no enlightened still. Migrate to trade hardcore. Yep. Hey, what are you playing? Oh, cool. With an app? With an app? He's using is he adding you at all? Oh, I mean he says sis a few times. He hasn't added me. <laughs> <laughs> Classic, dude. Yeah, okay, fuck that guy. <laughs> Okay, what? anyway. All right, no, 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 sorry. It's, 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 to be fair, it's inside. He uses a Quinimo here at one point. Quin he's a, he's a, the cunt is, the cunt is prolific. Okay, he's a prolific at Andy. He goes around every, it, it literally, you ask any hardcore uh, guy who's ever touched Ray League, and he will be there, and he will be adding them. I'm telling you. I don't think he has added me once here. Oh, he says he's added Steel Mage in my chat. Classic, yeah. I'm trying to get, he's adding Steel Mage. Whoa, 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 what the fuck? Yo, what the fuck? Yo, what the fuck? I just got giga fuck. Wait, what the fuck's going on here? Those archers are scary. You're doing level 99 stuff. Yeah, I figured the XP would be better, bro. Like, what the fuck? Not really. Three levels above is what you want to do. Well, no, 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 no. Well, you still get more XP, though, for doing higher. Do you? Yeah. Well, the mobs give more. I mean, how do you think P leveling works, right? Like, it's just way more than three levels above you, like 50 levels above. The base XP from the monster goes up, but the XP bonus does not. There's a bunch of morons in chat who seem to think you don't get more XP if you go more than three. No, if you are capable of watching every mob and a fucking uh, like 58 GRTS higher, you'll level up like literally 10 times as fast. You're completely wrong, um, chat. You're like chat. You're completely wrong. It's a it's misinformation spread by a bunch of fucking morons who go around saying you can't. You literally get no more XP from three above. I mean, chat. How do you think P leveling works when someone carries you through a fucking uh, area where the monsters are literally? 50 levels higher than you, your character goes brr, brr, brr. If you go three levels higher than you, your character will not go brr, It'll go tch, tch. It's because the base XP from the monster is higher. You just, you just, the bonus XP caps at three. Wait, you understand what I'm saying, Francis? Yeah, I just don't, I don't really know which one's right. Can you you might be right. What, I, wait, I no, no, I'm don't. absolutely right. Well, I'm absolutely right. I'm absolutely, wait, no, no. I mean, you could just, you could just check, right? Just do the same Nightmare Dungeon twice, once with level 99 monsters. Yeah, and no, just see how much XP you're getting. Oh, yeah, 100% is more XP. 100%. You get measure more XP. it. Well, you, I mean, you, you not trust you measure me, it now when you oh hit my, next level. Oh my god! Oh my god! No, no, dude, this chat, this chat, dude, they're so fucking branded. Wait, but sis, how do you think? How do you? How, what's your understanding of P leveling? Do you wait? Are you, are you aware that you can P level in this game? Like you can get, you can make a level one character and then have it boosted to like fifty in like ten minutes. So it's like an hour now. Yeah. So you're killing has. such a large. You're killing monsters so fast on doing in character too, though. But yeah, you're no, 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 you're probably right. But even if they were doing dungeons, even at like that same speed, but they were only three levels higher than you, you, yeah, you, you, you you're, are, you're will not. probably right. It's not probably. No, it's, not, it's, not, it's, not, it's not. question. It's not a question. Well, like chess for chess. Yeah, for chess. I just I like to, I like testing things. You're you're most likely right. I swear to fucking god, sis. I swear to fucking god. You no, I swear. I, I know. I swear. It is. <laughs> You're, you're most likely right. I would say it's like 90% <laughs> right. Yeah. You, you, can't, you can't say that you're right for sure unless you actually yeah. test it. <laughs> hey, see, I was so consistent here. Oh my god, dude. Consistently fucking illogical and irrational, Zez. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Wait, aren't I really irrational? They want actual hard proof before saying for sure that something no, but is like, funny? Okay, the, proof, nine... the proof is P-leveling works, right? <laughs> The pro that's the proof. The proof is like you can get 20 levels in a single dungeon if someone's like if you're killing monsters at 50 levels higher than you. Mm -hmm. That's the proof. You can't if you kill an entire. You will not. Li okay, have you ever fought mobs three levels higher than you, on your, when leveling up, and level 20 times? It says, has that ever happened? Yeah, my barb is actually leveling really, really fast. But not tw you haven't leveled fucking 10 to 20 times in a single dungeon, have you? It's really hot. Never has that happened. No, either. you're right. You're right. Yeah, you're okay, right. There we go. okay, so there we go. Nice. Okay, thank God. No, I my mean, ego is not massive. He was just not saying probably. And that, that's the verbiage that was triggering me, bro. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. Oh, shit. This is, it could work differently in Nightmare Dungeons, right? Oh, shit. Hey. <laughs> what hey, 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 these oh. fucking chatters are yeah, classic, dude. Hey, yo, let's get this fun. Funny. All right, oh. I gotta go order food and stuff. Yo, Zizzerin, thank you for coming on, dude. Um, thank you. If I, I didn't know how, I wasn't holding you hostage. Okay. All right, just to make that clear, right? You, what, you didn't feel like that, did it? It was fun, right? A good time. Uh, well, uh, okay, ninety-nine percent had a good time. I definitely would have loved to drop the conversation on the Woody thing earlier. But other than that, yeah, I had a oh, blast. Well, we'll do okay. again. Well, I want to almost reopen the Woody conversation. Like just on, we, hey, we'll continue the Woody conversation later. How about that? Okay, sure. Yeah, sure. you know what I'm saying. Excellent. Hey. <sighs>
But no, appreciate it, dude. Appreciate it. It's good. Epic. Epic memes. Epic. Uh, All right. yeah. I hope everyone, you all go to chat. Everyone follows Scissor on Twitch. Yo, can someone do a sh can a mod do a shout out? And I, I feel like you've hit maximum saturation, and I don't think anyone. To be fair, maybe someone will follow you after hearing your good takes, right? Even though you, everyone would know of you. I've maybe. actually, I've actually had like several of your viewers message me in DMs like, "Hey man, I don't know if streamers read these, but much respect for your general vibe." And I actually had like eleven of those. It was very nice. Wait, what? What's me on what? Twitch. Twitch. Do you have that shit open to fucking random people? What the fuck? Okay, so the click. Yeah, listen, of listen, listen, listen. He, first follow guys. He's been streaming Brotato, Diablo 4, and special events. Brotato okay. is amazing. I've heard. I've heard. Alright. I don't know. Bye. Yo, GG's bro. Peace. Because he is. God.